Alright, it's Dead Space, the remake. I believe that is the full title of the game. And this time I'm not gonna say any curse words in the first minute of this video, or stream. I'm not gonna say any curse words until later. I can do it, as a New Yorker I can do it, I'm telling you. Uh, so I played the original Dead Space 1 and 2, never played 3, don't need to, I think I'm okay on that. But I like pulping, it's awesome. We're going to talk about the previous yeah. Dead Spaces. We're going to talk about Callisto Protocol. Five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat. And we're going to shoot really Necromorphs in the face. This so I'm excited. This job you turned down, but six months apart with only fit calls. That's rough. Here we go. Same VA from two and three, I see. So I heard this was very good, and I'm excited because I love Dead Space 1. It is probably the best Resident Evil 4 I ever played outside of Resident Evil 4. I don't remember Isaac talking in Dead Space 1. Oh, he didn't in 1. Okay. I like that Isaac is just some dude. It reminds me of Alien. It's all just people, like, working. Yeah, that's just some dude. Pretty good, um, 3D modeled faces. Looks like Adam Sandler. Jen, no, it just looks like some dude you'd see at the local pub. Automated docking. We're losing control. Oh well, he said the fuck word. Now I can, I guess. Right? It's been how? Has it been long enough? Shit, we're coming in too hot. Alert the. His face is modeled after the VA. Oh, that's nice. Again, I like that it's just some dude and not like Giga Chad Alpha Hero. I like Giga Chad Alpha Heroes too. You know what I mean? Like, plenty of games do that really well. Yeah, rubbing cream on my balls. Like that guy. Visually, game is great. So far, very much enjoying the graphics. I mean, this was one of those games where I was like, I was like, do we need a remake? Same as, as Resident Evil 4. I was like, the game still looks good, and with some mods, you can make it look incredible. So, I was skeptical. Um, this was obviously a more recent, the original of this was more recent than Resident Evil 4. So it's like, do we need a remake? And to me, the answer is no. However, EA like ran this series into the ground. So this gives me hope that maybe more of this kind of shit will be created. Dead Space 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Listen, if they had someone read that to me, like an audiobook, I would have loved that. Vinny, do you think we'll get a Final Fantasy VII remake in like 50 years? Try 10. After they're done with the trilogy of remakes, they're gonna start a new series of remakes. But yeah, I've been saving this game for Halloween time. October. I've, I've been interested in this since it came out, but, you know, and then Resident Evil 4 remake, which was a, another amazing thing. A little contentious for some, but I enjoyed it quite quite a bit. There also is Cal Callisto Protocol. We can talk about that soon. It's funny how things flipped, because people were like, oh, Callisto Protocol is the good one, because it's the original Dead Space creator. That's the one that's going to be awesome, and the evil Empire is looking for money with their Dead Space remake. That was my, like, initial feeling about the two. And then I played Callisto Protocol, and you know, it was a kind of a drudgery, sludgerous experience. It was fine. I didn't hate it, but it didn't do anything to keep me around. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. I know, but you want me to read this, or do you want me to do the damage report? Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and the dwindling supplies of colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it less than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new. But at the time, the only uh, shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura, named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive. 
Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura was the first of the massive Planet Cracker ships. Built in 2446, she has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize shock point drive SHUT UP! for large-scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids, and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of pioneering scan-and-catch technique for harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them inside the ship's massive collection bay for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still a remar in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years, and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of current technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the CEC fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication, the Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It is ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of men and women who crew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. What do you need me to do? Isaac, try that security console. Why don't you try it? There's something on the floor here. Is that? Isaac, I need that damage report. Oh my god! Another settlement needs your help! We talked about Event Horizon when I streamed the first game, the non remake version. I, I kind of love that movie. And this takes a lot of inspiration from that. There's something in here with us. Up there! Oh, God! Oh. Kid! No! Daniel, get the doors open! God, I love the necromorphs. They're so fucked up. We're leaving. It's my favorite line in Event Horizon. Larry Fishburne watches a, a screen of horrible things happening, somewhat like this, and he's just like, we're leaving. Okay, so the visuals here are amazing. The necromorphs look great. Um, this isn't a one-to-one -one remake, right, chat? It's like retooled a little bit, the same way Resident Evil 4 is. It's close, but there's some changes. It's like 1.2 to 1, okay? Cut off their limbs. Um, someone in chat said, Vinny, thoughts on Sony increasing the price of the PlayStation 5? What are you talking about? Oh, the PS5 Slim? Wait, so is the PS5 Slim, um, more expensive? Because they said they're gonna, um, discontinue the, the PS5 once they're out of stock. It's $500 and $450 for digital instead of $400. I mean, it's still gonna be big. I heard it's 30% less big, but PlayStation is a huge console. Maybe they call it PS5 Slim because the game library is very slim. It's an easy joke there, folks. Don't worry about it. I have a PS5. I wish I didn't have to say that. But I probably wouldn't be playing very many games on the PS5 anyway, if they're on PC as well, so. But yeah, um, I saw the Slim. I didn't realize there was a price increase. But... What can I say, chat? If you like Final Fantasy VII Remake, then that's the system for you. Stomp for funny swearing? Okay. That's wonderful. By the way, this game is gory as fuck. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair tech, so how do we do this? Wow. Powerful. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. I always love the menus in Dead Space. So yeah, um, Dead Space 1, I believe, was my favorite, but 2 was really good as well. It leaned a little bit more action, but that was before pulping became awesome. For those that don't know, pulping is awesome is an actual Dead Space thing. I became obsessed with that phrase because the creator of Dead Space 3 was forced at gunpoint by EA to do an interview where he was like, I like pulping things, it's awesome. Do you remember the, the Dead Space 3 interview where the dude was like, oh, we made sure that 
getting pulped was awesome in this game so that when you pulp your enemies pay attention to what's going on here you're gonna get to see necros getting pulped in this <laughs> giant drill which is awesome pulping is really cool oh in this game you can pulp you can just pulp enemies over and over again like they were advertising dead space 3 based on the idea that people wanted to pulp Ugh. Okay, right click plus C. Didn't I die in Dead Space 1 by walking into this door? I've learned my lesson, chat. Oh, I thought about doing it again to be funny. But I'm sure we'll see plenty of pulping soon enough, don't worry. Is motion blur still on? Does this look even better? I usually go down to very low motion blur because I feel like it can help. Not every game's motion blur is terrible. Some games actually do have per object motion blur, which is a lot better, and sometimes they're a little more subtle. And some games just smear a little, like, tub of Vaseline on your on your eyeballs. Vinny, can you turn the textures off? Vinny, can you turn the game off? Also, Mike told me about um, a Vinny derangement syndrome thing where people saw me in, like, a cloud or in, like, fire. Like, he paused the video and people saw my face in fire. Are, are you guys okay? Mike, look at the Vinny face in the smoke in the top right. Vinny face? All right, I'll bite. What the fuck are you talking about? In the smoke? What are you on? Making a clip. There is no... What are you talking about? Yo, his v his VDS is acting up hardcore. No, we, guys, we call that Vinny derangement syndrome where you just see Vinny's everywhere. All right, I, I'm, I'm watching the clip they're talking about. And you need help. Check stream Discord. Well, I should have ignored that person. Why did I even fucking? Why did I even? Pay, why did I even pay attention to this? What? Do me a favor. If this looks like Vinny to you, turn off your fucking computer and go outside right now. Holy fuck! <gasps> Chat told me to do it. Someone said, I see Vinny's face everywhere. What must I do? I can just see it now. Like a cartoon of people like chat, Twitch chat member looking up into the clouds and Mad World, the, the Donnie Darko version plays. All around me are familiar faces. Looking into a tree, seeing my face, the cloud is a face. Looking into the eyes of a stranger, it turns into my face. And like the face has become more and more dubiously me until it's just some like blob of flesh that has like no resembling features to me whatsoever. You know what I like about this game? Every other game I play, I click heads. Not Dead Space. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy clicking heads. Chat, when did I play Dead Space on stream? The original? Was it four years ago? Three years ago? 2019, was it? 2018. Wow. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Someone said, dude, pay attention to the game. I am. I saw that dude's head wobble. But that was a, you know, it came from behind me. No amount of paying attention would have fixed that. My reaction time was as good as it could have been, I think, for an old man. Vinny, when did you start calling yourself old? When I turned 18. And then before that, when I turned three. Oh my god. Oh! Oh man, the fucking necromorphs look really good. And I see there's like different types of the main ones. They look kind of goofy. They're a little goofy. That's a little goofy. I wonder if any game, uh, any objects in this game have um, forbidden DLSS qualities. I don't know why I couldn't say that sentence. Oh, cool map. I like the way this map works. Man, in a year of amazing video games, I wonder if anyone has, uh, whoa. The fuck? Did you see that? It was forbidden meat. Um, I wonder if anyone has this on their best game of the year list. Or, like, actually best game, favorite. Best, beast, best! It's a remake, does it count? Yeah, Resident Evil 4 counts. Oh, fuck! If it counts for you, and, you know, and the game came out, 
I mean, that's my personal rules. You can have your own rules. I don't, I don't really care what you do in the privacy of your own home. You want a jelk, you want a goon, whatever. Opinions on Doom 3. I only played Doom 3 on release, and I never finished it, but I enjoyed it. I just didn't think it was... It was like a survival horror first-person shooter for a good chunk of it. It didn't feel very much like Doom 1 and 2. Like I said the other night, it has been getting a re-evaluation, and now the people have turned on Doom Eternal. Which, to be fair, that game already had plenty of people dislike it on release. Oh, you cock! Okay, here's my unpopular opinion. Doom 64 is the best Doom. It's probably not, but <laughs> I'm just throwing it at you. Yeah, it's a bit of a hot take. It's my favorite one because I have the most nostalgia for it. So someone just said being a contrarian is cool now. It's been cool for years. And it's especially cool if said contrarian things can make you money on social media. But no, Doom 64 is my favorite. Oh! Run! Okay, there's, um, there's something in here I really need to figure out. We need power, though. We need to get some power. Speaking of power, one more thing. I know people want me to pay attention to the game. I am. I'm enjoying it. But you know me. I'm, I'm chatty. It's part of what being a streamer is. I'm not just going to say, look, I am looking to the right now. I am looking to the left. But speaking of power and low power Arnold, Arnold was on Conan. And he was like, yeah, I've got a donkey. And I feed it the cookies. I give it a little bit of cookies, oatmeal cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. The, the donkey is, comes into the house and, and uh, by the pool. And I give him the cookies. I just enjoyed that. I wish I was a rich man's donkey. That's a weird chat comment. Poetic, though. And it's got a nice ring to it. It's got a nice meter to it. I wish I was a rich man's donkey. A monkey. Sitting in the club. I wish I was a little more schlongy. Then he post your um, hottest gaming take. Um, I think Hollow Knight's a little too long. Hope that helps. <laughs> My other one is that I think Zelda 2 is a great game. A flawed but great game. But you knew that already. Oh shit, we gotta turn off the lights. Vinny, do you play Smash or Pass while playing this game? Is that the kind of content you want from me? Thank you, Desert, for the raid. Desert, you will be happy to know. I'll be playing Armored Core after this. I gotta check out the uh, update to see... All the nerfs, but also the buffs that they made. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the dual pistols feel like with a ton more ammo. This game's got a lot of uh, atmosphere. The original had it too, but yeah, this this looks really nice. You know, when you can see it. Offhand topic, do you ever play racing games? F-099? Marior Kart? Fucking die! They mean not a kart racer than F099 or F0GX. I don't I don't play a ton of racing games. Car games? No. Not really. I played Gran Turismo on the PlayStation 2. That counts. Back in the day. Not for years though. Upgrade weapons, unlock new upgrades, etc. etc. Looks like it's being uh the upgrade system's a little different this time around, huh? Oh no, no, it's still it's still doing this. It's the same. Oh, you need to. Okay. They got rid of having to choose to use a node to open doors, which is a big quality of life thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I do remember that. I didn't love it, but I understood it. The game feels good to play. There's some good, some pretty decent spooks in the game so far. Yeah, the pulping is awesome. How much does this make you feel like Isaac? A regular dude in a big suit? Probably a lot. Isaac and his mother.
Where are you? Fuck out of my way, ladder. So yeah, I was playing Callisto Protocol. Um, there's some videos of it on my Full Sauce channel. I never, I don't, did I stream it or did I just do pre-records chat? That was like, what, eight months ago. That was just pre-records, okay. Um, the game was very melee focused, but not in the most fun way. Like it just felt like a slog. Visuals were good. The environments were pretty cool, but I just remember not loving the experience. I know a lot of people felt the same way. It just wasn't like, this game is fun to like actually like shoot the limbs off. I know pulping is awesome as a joke, but I don't feel like I'm like being locked in like tedious melee fights that felt janky and weird. I know they updated it to make it a little bit better, but yeah, it just didn't quite come together for me, which is a shame because they sent me a big ass fucking crate of like a replica of the stun baton. Like I store stuff in that crate now. I got, what else did they get me? Um, like a lithograph? I mean, it was cool stuff. I'm sorry to say though, not even a promo crate could keep me playing that game. Publishers love me. Weren't they gonna put a Red Vox song in the trailer? No, that was a different game. I, I thought it was that game. I forgot entirely because there's just so many games. It's easy to get very confused. Um, no, there, there was a, a game called Negative Atmosphere. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kellyan. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. A chat member's pigeon laid an egg. <laughs> Congratulations. A good flashlight in a game like this is really, really quite important. And I will say I like this game's flashlight. How many flashlights have you disliked? It's kind of hard to remember because I've played so many thousands of games on this stream over the years. Like Sunday stream stuff. Just horror games with really bad flashlights. I hate to say it, the Half-Life 1 flashlight's not that great. It's in my top 10 games, but I don't love the flashlight. 2 has a, has a much better one. The Greyhill Incident, someone said. Oh yeah, that fucking game. Oh my god. Good sound design too. What difficulty is this? I don't know. It just, the game just started. <laughs> uh, medium? I'm fine with medium. I'm scared. No, I just, I would prefer to have the de facto difficulty experience so I'm, I'm good with medium i don't need to prove i'm a gamer you've seen me play counter-strike you know how good i am trying to get into the command computer no survivors eh <laughs> wow what are the odds apparently pretty fucking good baby flip challenge oh like when people try to flip the bottles of water New trend, new TikTok trend unlocked. Dead Space Baby Challenge. Okay, the fact that I did that two times in a row is actually quite astounding, I think, because it's not as easy to do that as I thought it was. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen that easily. All right, very skillful. Again, you've seen me flip baby, so you know how good I am at video games. It's like the Mandalorian. What have you got on you? Is that good? Haley, I need you to listen. The Ishimura's overrun with... the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac... We need the Killian fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. Where's that damage report? Oh, it's literally right there. No, this is a good thing, actually. Oh. Oh, she dead. I can fix her. What's happening down there? Johnson's gone. The 
Kelly and Till. The Singularity Court overloaded. No! Kelly was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased. Even the captain? God. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we. What was that? <laughs> Chen? In Dead Space uh, 3, Tree, in Dead Space Tree, is it true that you would also shoot, like, dudes with guns? So, dudes with guns would shoot you, and you would shoot those dudes with guns with guns. That sounds like Dead Space. Taken over. Vinny, you made it sound dumb. Well, is it dumb? I mean, I was told not to play it. Not that I was told not to, but I, you know, I was recommended against it, and uh, I wouldn't want to waste my time. I like the series, but I was fine to stop it too. I know that it was a, a game that a lot of people enjoyed co-op, but yeah, uh, it doesn't seem like one that I would enjoy as much as the... Because I could play so many other games to shoot. Like Resident Evil 6, I could play. Yeah. Did you like RE Village? It was alright. Yeah, I liked it. A lot of good in there. Speaking of Resident Evil, when are you doing the Separate Ways DLC? Yeah, I've gotten that question a lot. And, uh, November or December, maybe. Plans on doing Lies of P. No, I like the FromSoft games. My, my default answer here is I like the FromSoft games, but not enough to want to play FromSoft style games that much. So yeah, I'm sorry to say I won't be playing that one. I will be playing Jump Rope with Willem Dafoe's penis, however. Ear. The people need the ear. Right, right. Ear duration. Plasma cutter only, then. No. We do, we do a little troll. I mean, we do a little bit of both. I'll end up doing mostly Plasma Cutter, don't worry. I'll tell you what I need. I need a shotgun. Remember when I got a shotgun in Amnesia, and I used it to shoot wood? Good times. It was like it happened yesterday. I don't know why, there's something just primal about seeing, seeing corpses and wanting to stomp them. I don't know. If you like this sort of going around in a spaceship type game and shooting, check out Sulaco. There's a demo for it. It's made in the, like, Doom Engine. And uh, it's incredible. Visually, it looks so good. S E L A C O. Solaco, my balls! Which Doom engine? Um, uh, original Doom, but heavily modified, I think. I might be. It's GZ Doom. GZ Doom sounds like a rapper. What Steam Next Best demos are you doing? Oh, uh, this is a busy month for me, chat member. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm gonna try to do a couple. Send your best recommendations to vinesauce.email, but. I'm gonna try my best to get to at least a couple, but it's gonna be hard. Forgive me, Father 2 looks good. Yeah, the RoboCop game I definitely want to check out. I, I'm surprised I even want to play a RoboCop game, but I just keep hearing about it. Deep Rock Survivors, I did play that already. So I guess I technically did play a Next Best game. There's some good horror-looking games, too. There's a, there's a couple I had my eye on, but um, I will do my best, chat. That was the wrong button. Chat, what was the stasis button again? Not stasis, the move, kin kinetic, kinetic move. F, got it, thank you. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade evil. Was together in Evil. Look room. at that, it says evil. A hydrazine Up top. Might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe Black a div evil. Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Lacordive Evil 6. 
Did you play the Dead Space Wii game? I did, actually. That was actually really good. Like, Dead Space Extraction. Surprisingly good. And, uh, I streamed it many years ago. That That's probably not, um, when I was saving my, my recordings, but I remember enjoying it. It was like a light gun game. It was like on rails with the Wii, uh, wand. The, the, the Hitachi wand from the Wii that you would use to aim to, uh, shoot. Grab loose objects with kinesis, throw sharp objects at enemies to impale them. RNG activated. Oh, shit. I'm looking for sharp rods, chat. I don't see any fucking sharp rods. There's a chair. I mean, that kind of did the trick. Oh, he's standing. Glove dispenser. Chat, remember to use your coin gloves before touching any coins. Any loose change. Oh, I see a rod. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Their arms also kind of work. You could just, just grab those and... Oh, yeah! Like Half Life 2 all over again. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's a Dead Space 2 mechanic, remember? I remember something like that, kinda. You could have told me it was in the first game, I would have believed you. Tissue sample needed? Is there not enough tissue here? Here you go, here's some tissue. Things always go bad when a scientist wants to study the thing that's killing everybody. As Charlie Kelly would say, STUPID SCIENCE BITCHES! Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Isaac, are you hearing things? Isaac, are you shitting my pants? But yeah, I mean, usually in science fiction with fucked up creatures, it's either a scientist wants to learn about it, like the, the thing that is actively killing everyone, despite it, you know, killing everyone, or the military wants it so that they can use it on, like, I don't know, Klingons or something. You ever find it funny that, like, the military is so obsessed with bio weapon, like, actually, like, like, monster flesh things? when they have nukes. I guess the nukes destroy the cities. No, no, monster flesh things are good, actually. Let me tell you why. Here's a 20-minute 20, 20 video on why monster flesh things are good. It's like the military trying to weaponize dinosaurs. All right, but to be fair, you would probably weaponize dinosaurs, right? I mean, if you could. In Turok, which... When is Turok 3 coming out again? The, the remake? Is that November? But in Turok, they have dinosaurs with guns on them. That's pretty much all I've ever wanted in life is a dinosaur with guns. I did play Dino D-Day. It's not that amazing, but it was it was fun for like an hour. I'm surprised they're doing three because three is kind of the one no one played. Three is a weird one because it's more like Half-Life than it is the previous Turok games, and it was rushed. And from what I understand, Night Dive is actually finishing the game and fleshing out some areas a little bit more. Um, and obviously the technical stuff Um, can you get off of my... 
the technical stuff will be fixed as well. So I, I think Turok 3 has potential to be good, and I'm excited for this remake. I hope I hope it is. To the MRI with you. I'm sorry to say this, but your balls are huge. Oh no, Doc, is that bad? No, I mean... You're really brave. You've done a lot of cool shit. What is it like being such a giga-chad? Hmm. Oh my god. Is that guy vomiting? I don't have any nerds right now. Okay, I have one nerd. No. Nerds? Yes, right. Nerds. Reload time. Yeah. The nerd covered ropes. I know, those thick, ropey nerd ropes are really, um, really good. Really good for your teeth, too. Ah, oh, I have a feeling there's going to be more friends to kill in just a moment. Waste bin! Ooh. Boy, this is a nice looking video game. It's almost like the alien happy birthday pose. So the security clearance for some of the, um, the things that you can find on the ground, that wasn't in the original, was it? I assume because now the world is a little more open, that's just like an incentive to go back and look around for stuff if you need to. This fire hydrant is going to get one of those necromorphs killed. Hang. Wait a minute. Hang? Isn't there, like, some singer named Peng? No, I'm not talking about Tepasa Neng. I'm not talking about him. Maybe it was Ping? I mean, this is basically Iron Man now. Okay, decent... Decent zero-G controls. It's the zero-G stuff from 3. So they basically took the best parts of the series and just put them all in this game. From two also. Yeah, but one had zero G stuff, didn't it? Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? Her office is empty. No sign Different of controls though, right? Some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay. Work fast, Isaac. Huh. In one you can only move from wall to wall. Yeah, I have no memory of this place. Isaac, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Isaac, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Isaac? <laughs> oh, motherfucker! Oh my god, dude. Damn. I do like the Zero G stuff. I think it's it's pretty good so far. I'm sure it'll get more complex later, but it's, uh, that was a good showcase for what maybe is in store. Um, what do we have here in terms of health? I have a little bit of health, and I have uh, some pulse rounds. I got that I can sell. Stasis pack schematics. You should check your other missions. It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Find a shock pad. Destroy the barricade. Well, th that's the main stuff. So here's the scientific methods. I have to destroy the barricade. This pulse gun needs an upgrade! In space, no one can hear you pulp. That's the tagline. Captain's death at Chen's that thing. He almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's gnarling like this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. It is fucked up. It's not awesome. That'll solve that.
Man, I have to be more, like, cognizant of the objects in the environment around me. I didn't mean to use another health pack. Oh, man, did I... How much health did I have before I used that? The problem is I press F in a lot of games. You know, to press F to open things. That's going to be a problem, maybe. I'm going to try real hard not to press the F button. Could buy a node. Where's the option to pay for resources with real money? It's weirdly missing from this game. I don't know, chat member. It's weird. A EA published this? And there's not a button that allows you to go to a store in one click? Low-hanging fruits are still fruits. John Riccatello has a lot of free time after getting laid off. Oh yeah, I didn't really talk about that. Um, I don't really have much to say about it, so that's why I didn't talk about it. But, uh, the... You, uh, Unity CEO? I forgot what it's called. I was gonna call it Unido. But Unity CEO, um, is gone now. So he just, like, basically is the scapegoat. Yeah, we feed the scapegoat. So yeah, he's he's out. I know they walked back some of their shitty practices, but I think it's kind of the damage is too... It, it's been done, it's too late. Fuck. I didn't take any damage from that. Made sure to dump all his stock before. Um, already, so he made his money. Well, he, he dumped his stock before they even announced. Is that what you're talking about? Before they announced this, like, weird pricing thing that they were doing? Again, from what I read, I didn't look into the situation too deeply, but from what I've read, people are saying, and again, I'm a little dumb, so please correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, it's mainly the shareholders and less to do with him specifically. So him being removed is not like he was the source of all the problems. He just had no choice. He's still a huge piece of shit. He might be. Um, but he might have just been the fall guy. I guess he could have just, like, what would have been the honorable thing for him to do? Fall on his blade? Like, wharf? Or just quit before and say, oh, here's this horrible thing that they're gonna do, I'm leaving. I think it's dumb, I'm not doing it. Congratulations, John Riccatello, you'll never be hired again. And then all this played out the way it did. Congratulations, John Riccatello, you'll never be hired again. But it just kind of goes to show you how insidious the infinite growth thing is, and, like, share shareholders desperately expecting profits to always, always increase. I would imagine even a dude like that, if he wanted to stop it, I don't know how he could have, other than just saying, uh, shit's fucked up, I'm out. But even then, they probably still would have had to do this, because some dumbass desperately wanted to make this happen. Anyway, Unity, uh, Unity bad. deaths at the colony, the paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is divine. We know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. There is. For unitology, for humanity. Of course our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. That's what worries me. Why did they let this be recorded? Are they stupid? Seal entry. Guys holding a butt plug. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity? It's the Church of Unitology. Without EarthGov here to seize them first, this marker could herald the dawn of a new age. I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comforted me, saved me. Now I'm here, in the right place at the right time, to be of service to all humanity, to repay those blessings. <laughs> it's funny because Unitology, they worship um, John Riccatello and the Unity engine, the game engine. It's weird how that, that, that crosses over. Minus two? All right, fine, I deserve that. What about if I told you um, I was hoping there might be a necromorph in the toilet? Would that also be a minus two? But yeah, just to close out the Unity thing, I think it is a really good engine. And, you know, they were making money, and if they needed to make a little bit more money, maybe they could have found a way that didn't actually, like, fucking tank their company. But they had a good product, and thus they made many millions. And I think that's fine. It's just, I still am so 
baffled by the decisions that they made. I see still so many companies very clearly saying, yeah, no, we've already moved on to Godot. We're using a different game engine. Unity's gone. We're not doing that anymore. So yeah, I, all I'm trying to say is I think too little too late. Is it worth upgrading the pulse rifle? I kind of want more damage. Is that how you say Godot? Is it Godot? It's Godot as in waiting for Godot. Yeah, Godot? We just have to wait for John Godot or Godot or Godot from, you know, the company to tell us how to say it. I remember these fuckers. Ooh. Oh shit, baby lab. Quick, get the flash, he'll save him. Any microwaves? Clerical error. Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over cornea. See, here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to a vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it. Trust me. And before you think about filling an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Zoe. Hippocr <laughs> Hippocrates. <laughs> it's Hippocrates. <laughs> Hippocrates. I tried to give it a high five. Babies! There's babies here! Oh, they're creepy as fuck, this game. Remember when you played this the first time with 60 FPS and it broke the ragdoll? Yeah, kinda. Now that you say it, I remember. Vinny, have you ever farted so hard we could hear it on stream? No, never. What kind of question is that anyway? What are you... What do you want to know that for? Yeah. Chat, what if I told you that my butt is in an echo chamber, a reverb chamber, separate from my body? Like, it's just half of me is out of the reverb chamber, and the other half is in. And every time you hear fart with reverb, it is that. Ah. But yeah, to answer your question, no, I've, I've, never, I've never done that. Usually people don't hear it when it happens, you know? But I'm also a streamer and not a real person. I'm just a voice on the internet. So no, I don't I don't actually do those things. All right, chat. I want to play Armored Core. I want to take a break from uh, this for a moment. Until next time. So far, so good. This is great. It feels like Dead Space. It's a lot of fun to play. There's some quality of life stuff from what I remember from five years ago, which isn't a lot, granted. But game is quite good. It looks great, sounds great. It got a number of, um, reactions out of me. It probably doesn't smell that great, but it is Dead Space. Thoughts on the rewritten dialogue so far? I don't- I don't remember the <laughs> original dialogue. But yeah, this is a really solid remake, and, uh, Resident Evil 4, I've played through the original version of that maybe, like, seven or eight times. So I remember more of that compared to me remembering more of this. So that remake, I was able to be a little bit better of a judge, but um, all I know is I'm having a great time. So look forward to more of this. Perfect game for October. Glad I saved it. And, uh, you know, when I finish this game, we'll do more things. Dead Space begins now. Welcome back, everybody. Listen, this isn't as good as Kong Skull Island, but not much is. But, you know, other than that, this is probably... Ugh, I feel like a vampire being exposed to garlic when I see electronic art sometimes. But we must do it because the developers that made this game put a lot of attention and care into it, and it's actually really good. Look at that. Wow. Straight from the menu into the game. Got that SSD speed. Oh, I love it. Chat, I may need a little bit of uh, help remembering how to play this. Meaning, what was the button to uh, find out where to go? Right, F. Oh, you made me use my health. You bastard. Listen, I've been playing so many games, I can't fucking remember what all the buttons are for everything. It's X. Okay, it's X. So that's the captain's body. We also have a side quest, right? Retrieve the 
captain's rig, and then also side missions. Investigate emergency room. If I retrace her steps, maybe I can find out what happened to her. That might be a little tough, chat, because I don't know uh, track objective show on map. Okay, no, that's not going to be tough at all, in fact. I forgot how to switch the fucking... We're gonna load the game again. Now I know how to switch the fucking horizontal and vertical. Much better. Okay, I think we're good now. I'm up to speed. Man, it feels like I played this two weeks ago, but it was just a week ago. It's, uh, it's been, I guess, in somewhat event... Oh god, it has been an eventful. Many days. We did a charity thing. I had Comic-Con. Like, I, I haven't even considered just how much fucking stuff has been going on. I played Kong. Yesterday I streamed a lot because I wanted to do Kong early. I, I'm sorry I'm not going to be reading all of those out loud. Loop and transmit all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Sissy. Okay, uh, I just turned out the lights here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why I turned out the lights. Someone said the biggest issue with the Dead Space remake is Isaac's face. They did our boy so bad. But, you know, that's just what the actor looks like, right? I mean... <laughs> poor actor. I, I mean, I, I don't, you know, he doesn't look like an action hero. He's not like some chiseled McJaw face, which I don't think Isaac ever was. But, uh, you know, I don't think that's a huge problem. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little different. I suppose. Why do you use this? B babies! I forgot to step on the one earlier. What's melee, um, again, chat? It's just aim and then, what is it? Uh, is it just... Oh, you just let go of aim, I got it. Remember, you can pick up their blades. Boy, I- chat, I absorbed so much, and yet so little, last time I played this. But mainly so little. The recording of Nicole leads to a hint if you watch it to the end. Oh, really? Best looking video game gloves I've ever seen. Uh, what, what, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, yes, stasis to make them slower. What button is stasis? <laughs> if you remember it. See? Yeah, this gun is not that powerful. Th this gun is, it like, the illusion of power. Will you be streaming Mario Wonder early? I will be streaming it when I, when I pick it up. And yeah, I will be playing early on Friday. Vinny, is there testicle in this game? <laughs> they spelled testicle in all caps. Oh my god. Listen, I believe there is testicle. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. I just got the latest report from Agent 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. We need answers, by any means possible. I thought of a, a, another blood bagel. Urethral. Gee, I wonder why there's an O2 tank there. I don't- I don't know. Good surgeon. Precise. That's pretty fucked. I don't remember that from the original Dead Space. That was the same? Oh, I just don't remember it then. <laughs> but still pretty fucked.
uh, chat. It says scan rig to unlock workstation. How do you scan things? Is there a way to scan things? I'm playing so many games that at the same time that it, my brain does not know which game is what. That's for later? Okay. Have you tried finishing a game? I tried, but they take a long time. I like the ice that appears on the suit. Oh, we- we don't have our suits! <laughs> what the fuck is this voice? You don't know about that one? That's, uh, Crispy Glovin in- in Friday the 13th 4. I just watched it for the first time last week, so... And not even intentionally, it was just my friend was throwing, like, a little Friday the 13th, um, Halloween movie night. And that's the one he settled on. And I was like, alright, guess we're watching this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no, by then it's much too late. The clothes have all rotted off. The question is though, do we get to see testicle? What is going on in here? Oh my lord! There's no lord here. Oh man, this is this is not good. I don't have any healing. Now I do. Should probably use that <laughs> when I had the chance. Isaac, what's your status? You have the captain's rig. Fuck me. Ugh. Transmitting codes now. <laughs> I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Oh, security clearance level one. So I still didn't- I have to follow the Nicole hologram, so we gotta go back to that. Those lines get spoken differently if you're on lower health. Fun fact. Oh, okay. If you were one of the crew members, how long do you think you would last, realistically speaking? Three minutes. Three minutes. I'd be one of those Black Mesa scientists that hides in that tiny room in the office. Ah. Well, the military should be here soon to get us out of this mess. Isaac, and then I get pulped by a guy with a fucking M16. Says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Knowing Vinny's lucky to be taking a shit when the horrors arrive. But usually the horrors arriving is the reason I take a shit in the first place. That's just called White Castle. So true, bestie. What kind of Zelda 2 content will you be doing for Thanksgiving? Man, if Hoverbat was here, I could let you know for sure. But I think that Zelda 2 remake he did may in fact have a randomizer. Or it's, it's being worked on maybe? So I could, you know, I could be wrong. Or it might not be done yet. But there will be some kind of Zelda 2. Uh, randomizer content this year for Thanksgiving with me drinking amaretto. What? Do you like video games? Fuck. Oh. Oh. I'd stay in here. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? The engineer pulled something out of the machinery. 
Yeah, I would just stay in there until the moment the specter of, of the Grim Reaper approacheth. How long would I be willing to stay in there? Until my death. No, until I would probably stay in there until I got hungry. And then I would be looking for Chinese food. I have to go to engineering. You can unlock the floor chests back there. I, I'm actually really, like for some reason, I am just not seeing things in this video game. I remember when like rooms in video games were just like big empty corridors and there would be one treasure chest in the room and that was it and one like one grass back in my day at least but at least we knew what we were looking at at all times i need the yellow paint i don't know if you saw my final fantasy 7 video uh for rebirth but i you know the videos on the full sauce channel of me playing final fantasy 7 rebirth and it shows that you can climb up a wall by having some of the rocks be yellow and it it made me kind of laugh a little bit, but then I realized when I'm playing this, I'm like, oh man, if I didn't have like glowy objects or yellow paint, I'd be fucked. Sell at the store for credits. Who the fuck is this store ran by during an alien zombie outbreak? The Monopoly Man. Oh, just e EA. Someone just said EA. <laughs> EA cock. It's in your ass. That's a classic bit. That's an old bit. I like that bit. So we're going to engineering. Um, I guess we'll go... Wait, engineering. You can access it via hangar, your objective marker. Josh, thank you so much. I don't, I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, I'm going for the side quest. That's Jumbo Josh himself. Here, you know what? Check this out. You've been jumboed, Josh. Yeah, I banned him. That's right. No, he's he's VIP now because he's uh, he's very helpful. We don't give a lot of those out. No, he can't. he can't mod. I'm sorry, he mods for Germa, which means he can't mod for me. It's it's a one or the other kind of situation. Are you afraid of Germa or something? Yeah, didn't you see that video of the, the fucking, like, the, the, the chain gang doing the, the finger snaps? How much overlap is there between Vine Sauce and Germa? A lot. Have you fully recovered from the anvil? <laughs> yeah, I'm good from the anvil, thanks. Who looks more like Gigachad? I think I look like Gigachad. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Listen, no more fun. Damn. But all you know, that was from the intro. That's right. We watched that from the other side. Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. You'll need your thrusters. Ah, uh, am I a man? It take you straight down to engineering. Entering vacuum. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Um, someone said check the the ship that you came in on. Is there really anything there? This be it, no? I have a really unique skill while playing this game to just not know what anything is. I don't know, it's like, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I just, oh. That's our, oh. You'll be all right. Patch it right up. If you just like, okay, so the brain is still in the skull, right? If you put a bunch of meatloaf where the face used to be, Technically, you can still, like, that 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 could work. You can still be alive. Just mush a bunch of meatloaf into a face, and I think you'll have, uh, you'll have enough, um, flesh for the body to reignite its electricity. Oh my god. Feels like a sick, like, nightclub. Starring uh, with King Co uh, King Cootie on the on the DJ, dropping his sickest beat to date to boldly go where no one has gone before. Is that like so? Okay, I'm at Comic Con. I see the King Cootie stuff, and then I remembered I got invited to Paramount Plus, had a party. So I'm like, all right, am I gonna go to this fucking party? I got a wristband that that like glows to music, like an LED wristband. It was at eight, and my last vote is at nine. So I'm thinking to myself, do I really want to go to this fucking party for 50 minutes for Paramount Plus? And uh, my answer was no. I, I didn't go. I'm not 100% sure why I got invited to a Paramount Plus 
like club rave dance party, but um, I did. And uh, I was thinking about checking it out. Apparently there were free drinks, but if you remember, I was a little hungover that day, if you watched my uh, Comic-Con video. So I was wondering if there would be like, um, you know, King Cootie at the, the DJ booth or something at that party, but apparently not. They just gave away some like drinks and some weird stuff like yeah keychains i mean um stuff like that what is the weirdest promotional event you've ever been invited to probably the paramount plus one because i have nothing to do with paramount plus and i've only ever shit talked them but no one knows that that had any idea of me whatsoever they probably just saw here's a person with a creator pass we're gonna have him come to this fucking party seeing you in the control room any news on the engines yeah but it makes no sense they're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need the stabilizer orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. Refuel, okay. Oh, I love this. Chat, look at this. Are you gonna post on the Twitch stories? I'm too lazy for that. I don't- I just, It's like you gotta do all these extra things now. I don't wanna do the extra things. They're doing an Instagram slash Twi uh, you know, TikTok thing. Is what they're doing now, chat. They allow you to post stories so that you can be a TikToker. I like featured clips. That, I actually think, is a very good idea. Featured clips are good because then you can just kind of, you know, you can discover someone's, like, best stuff that they want you to see. It's a little bit easier to see them, and things get lost usually, so that, that's a good feature. Stories is just more like, everything's just becoming homogenous. In 10 years, chat, there will be no Twitch, there will be no TikTok, there will be no Instagram. It's just gonna be Twinkstagram, and you can stream on it, post stories on it, eat ass on it, everything, all in one spot. Contains a yellow bile seen in other specimens. I've seen this bile react to dead or bioprosthetic cells. The dead tissue is absorbed, recombined, then reanimated. The bile shares genetic markers with human DNA and that growth on the walls. 360p hologram. It's all connected to the marker from each of seven, but how? No rest easy now, David. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Oh. Man. Find Kynes mining deck hideout. So that's that's a little later then. Did you know that Arnold Schwarzenegger in the 70s was like, you know, when I pump, I come. Every time I pump, I am like always coming. You know, it is fantastic. In uh, Pumping Iron movie, he talks up. he, that's, that's an actual quote of his. He would say that a bunch. Like, you know, the pumping is like the coming. So, I've talked about that on stream before, but did you know, he just revealed on, I think, was it Conan? It might have been Conan's podcast, weirdly enough, that he just said that to get extra attention to bodybuilding and himself. He's like, of course you're not coming when you pump. It's, you know, but you had to get on the news to be famous. Yow. Ugh. What the hell is happening? I don't know. Castle security request. Henderson needs the medical bay. And a shrink. Someone said, I don't want to live in a world where bodybuilders are blast aren't blasting ropes with every rep. Well said. But yeah. Um, it was one of those things that I remember, Pumping Iron was even, when I was younger, I saw the movie on it, like HBO or something, and it was like, the fuck is this guy talking about? And it turns out, yeah, that was just totally an attention-seeking move. 
Oh, there's teeth and pliers in the sink. You were right. Ugh. And it worked. I mean, the dude knew how to market himself. He was, you know, he was really good at it. That movie was also, like, half fake. It wasn't all a documentary. It just looked like it. It was a, a docudrama, they called it. But I, that movie was uh, a bit of a cult classic. It still is. Still pretty, still pretty interesting to watch. The cum was fake. The ropes were fake, yeah. Were there side quests in Dead Space original? Because it's like, between this and Resident Evil 4, it seems like these two remakes of two somewhat similar games have uh, side quests as one of their new features. So it's kind of interesting. You know, I'm shooting ropes. <laughs> what, Arnold? We don't know what you're saying. This is the 70s. Yeah, that's fantastic. You'll know soon enough. My Arnold real voice isn't as good as- Ah, cookies now, Jamie! But, you know, I strive for realism. Thank you for being insane, Vinny. Oh, you're welcome. Jamie, I think I need cookies. I am powering down. Jamie. Jamie, I need cookies. I am powering down. It's also the same as my Vin Diesel bit, so. Yeah, you, you could just do... That's the cool thing. You could just repeat bits. You know, be economical about your uh, bits. That's my advice to any prospecting streamers out there. Out of curiosity, have you ever been approached about voicing a character in an indie game? I know you've been uh, brought on for animations and whatnot. I feel like a game would be the next step for you. Um, I'll say this. There's, I have like three... Th so, I have like three projects that are not out yet that I did voices for. Um, nothing major, but some some decent little little things. But nothing... Yeah, no, no like leading like main parts or anything. I'm open to it if the right project comes along. Be kind of neat. On a side note, I think there's something kind of funny that I read, there was uh, some chat member that was like, Vinny talks about himself too much. Like, well, I mean, kind of on my stream. And people are asking me questions about myself. What do, you, what do you want me to talk about? I'll tell you what I talk about. Arnold coming and pumping. That's it. 24 7. Ah! Oh, yeah! Vinny, I saw you at Comic-Con. You had a really good Leon outfit. I wasn't in a Leon outfit. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I, I love the amount of ways you can kill enemies in this game. I hate to say it, but pulping is awesome. Which scummy Elmo suit were you in outside of the convention? Now, that, that was Times Square. Now, listen, there were dudes giving out their CDs. I saw it happen. I saw, a, like, there were, like, three or four people just outside the convention handing out CDs, and then um, they, they successfully... Because there's, like, people who are a little bit more timid. They're a little bit more shy. And so the guy gives the CD, and then I heard him say, Well, 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 well I'm collecting donations. Thank God. After the bridge, we thought that- Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I've tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. Um, but yeah, no scummy Elmos outside Comic-Con. Inside, yes, maybe, but no, none out that I was aware of. Someone said, I got scammed outside DC by one of those fucks in 2015. I still haven't gotten over it. Why are those random CDs in Times Square bad? Um, because they want you to buy them. They give them to you, and then you think they're giving you a free CD of their music, and then they ask you for $20. And it works because there are people who are a little too shy to say no, and they feel bad, and they kind of guilt trip you a little bit, because they let you walk a little bit of the way with it. It's just, uh, you don't want to ever, ever take the CD. Unless you really want to hear someone's mixtape, in which case, there's a very high probability that they just downloaded some songs off the internet, and or the CD is blank, which I've heard has happened as well. Handing out PS1 demo discs in Times Square. That would be fucking awesome. I hear meat. 
Chat, you know what was funny though? At Comic Con, King Cootie was at the Star Trek booth giving out copies of um, Star Trek uh, Discovery Season 4. And then when you would walk away with the DVD in hand, he would ask for 10 bucks. It was real weird. I don't, I don't know how that happened. Any plans for World of Horror mods? I believe there was some adjusted World of Horror. I, yeah, I got sent- Oh, I got sent an email about um, World of Horror. And I'm gonna look into that and see. But yeah, 1.0 is releasing in like a couple days, so we gotta do at least one World of Horror for Halloween. It's tomorrow, sorry, yes, tomorrow then. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to do World of Horror next week. That would be swell. That would be something. Really would be something. Vinny, are you gonna play Mario Wonder with your friends? Friends? No, I'm just gonna play it solo. No, I would like to play it, um solo and then maybe eventually I'll consider doing a little bit uh multiplayer but I think for me I I honestly didn't love playing Mario the the new Super Mario Brothers multiplayer as much as I did single player I just I think for me a 2D Mario game I just enjoy them better on my own I remember them being too chaotic I know for wonder they removed the ability to run into each other so now you can just phase through each other we'll see but yeah I'm just gonna play solo Actually, you know what? I think I can tell you this, chat. I think I can tell you this. So I'm gonna tell you this. My YouTube network reached out to me saying, um, hey, you know, would you like to play Mario Wonder with three other people tomorrow? And I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. And I'm like, okay, uh, maybe, but like, gotta play it tomorrow. So that's one day early and I get a free copy. However, they uh, don't like if you have any modded Nintendo content on your channel. I said, dog, I just played a ROM hack Sunday. So that's that's pretty much the end of that. So I'm just going to buy the game on Friday. Just don't tell them. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather not even be on their radar. You know what I mean? I pr Yeah, I was. I don't know if I still am. But regardless, I'm just happy to be in my own little world here. I'm a very fortunate lad that I can... Uh, purchase my own video games, you know? <laughs> Having to do collabs you don't plan yourself can be awkward, too. Yeah, I, I think he, he specifically said, do you have three other friends to play this with? And I was, like, formulating in my mind, yeah, I mean, I, I could probably, like, do they get a free copy, too? Which is nice if I could get people Mario Wonder, but I just, I don't qualify. I just plain and simple do not qualify for this promotion because Nintendo wants to work with the squeakiest of the cleanest. You have to be, an, like, Nintendo brand ambassador, which is to say the only people that were Nintendo brand am ambassadors at one point You could only I think do Nintendo stuff on your channel. Listen. I like Nintendo. I like their games I play a lot of their games. I also play a lot of their ROM hacks. I also bitch about them a lot I'm not gonna be subjecting myself to that to get a game a day early like fuck dog I'd rather just play video games on my own time It was cool to be asked. I mean, it's a nice offer, but I'm all right. Someone says, who likes Nintendo, lol? You mean the company or their games? Because, I mean, pretty sure Tears of the Kingdom sold like 20 million. They're, they're doing all right for themselves, them, them, their Nintendos. They're doing just fine. But the company and their decisions that they make, not so much. Someone said, and that's why they get away with everything. Well, I mean, again, you're on an Amazon streaming service right now. What are they contributing to your life? You know what I mean? At least Nintendo has made me happy through their games. I get it, but it's like pick and choose your poison. There's there's all these big companies that make the things we love. Yeah, they, yeah, not great. But Nintendo has definitely been um, tone deaf and actively hostile to its community. But th that Tears of the Kingdom was fucking phenomenal. And so was Pikmin 4. Vampire Survivor devs have never done anything bad. Well, thank God for that. At least there is one game with the, the 100 wholesome chungus. Of course you want it to stay that way, but like, it's also, Vampire Survivor is a very small company. Just a couple people, like it's just a runaway success. So it's, we're not talking about a, like a multi-million dollar, billion dollar company with shareholders and stocks and you know, so many inve uh, vested interests where you, you kind of can't... I, I know I'm trying to enjoy this horror game and I'm talking about companies, so I'm gonna just not do that. But here's what I want to say about that. Bandcamp was the last bastion in some ways. That's not SoundCloud exists, but like it was a really, really great thing, Bandcamp. And they, um, as someone who makes music, were probably the best service to upload your music to. Still are. They were offered millions and millions of dollars by Epic. Epic bought them because, you know, offers so big that the people that owned it could just never have to work a day in their life ever again. And again, it wasn't the biggest company, 
But yeah, Epic bought and then Epic apparently bought them just because of a lawsuit that was coming up, um, sold them to some other company, and then they just lost 50% of their employees. So what I'm trying to say is, yeah, you have a lot of great little indie companies that eventually end up getting scooped up by these mega corporations. And I think only those with the most like godly integrity would turn down a hundred million dollars for their little vampire garlic game. Someone said, gotta love evil. Well, I understand that, but but listen, if you were a little um, indie dev and you made a, a successful game and then like, you know, your life is just set for the rest of your life and your, and all of your family too. You know what I mean? It's not great. Someone said, yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to. I mean, I'm sure there's people that say they wouldn't. And I, I respect you. You are truly a Christ figure of after my own heart. And I, I really, I love that you have that. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. So yeah, chat, it's, it's complicated, you know what I mean? And, and all I'll say is this, um, it's easy to say it until you are struggling to pay your bills and then, you know, something like that comes along and it's like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't even know how I would react to it. Like, shit. And life is tough and everything is overly expensive and no one can afford houses anymore, which is why those guys sell CDs. I mean, scam you by taking your money for the CDs outside of Comic-Con and, and there's, that's why there's scummy Elmos. I have a feeling the scummy Elmos don't have a passion for being scummy and Elmos. Vinny, would you ever sell your Discog? Um, I would, it would have to be... I was offered something and I turned it down and it was a terrible deal. It was a lot of money, but it was a terrible deal because I wouldn't own my music anymore. So no, I wouldn't want to sell it, but I would like to... I Listen, I don't know what it would be like if the circumstances of my life completely changed, but I, I wouldn't want to. However, if I could own my music and just have people help me promote it in some way and make some money off of it as well, I'd be okay with that as long as I still owned it. That's that's how I feel about it. But I don't I don't know how that would work. Indie label, you know what I mean? Like maybe a little indie label that doesn't require too much of, uh, that's amazing graphics, by the way. Really nice meat, really nice lighting, man. It's like the glow of the red on the meat that really sells it. Okay. All right, I'm going to just get back to the game because you know what? This conversation is over. <laughs> thanks for being able to have, um, thanks for listening to my viewpoints on these things. Appreciate it. Now give us 10 bucks. Doesn't work that way, my friend. Though, if you were a therapist, I'd give you 100. Manually ignite the engines. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting. Well, that, the there you there, That's the gravity. Okay. Can someone explain what happened just now? Okay. <laughs> All right. I actually think I did the same thing in the original. <laughs> You're doing great, Isaac. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Now get out of there and focus on the engine. You're doing great, Isaac. Just keep dying. I'm gonna get pulped again, aren't I? <laughs> Someone said he really is the true Vinny. Ready when you are. Go faster. Go faster! <laughs> it wouldn't let me run for a minute! Back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Ready when you are. That didn't work. That didn't work! <laughs> oh my god. Ready when you are. No. <gasps> Looks like the centrifuge is online. <gasps> yeah! Whoa. 
Whew. Vinny, can you turn up the sound effects? I can barely hear you getting pulp. Can you hear me get pulped now? God, I ran out of fucking ammo at the last second. That took Lyric like an hour? I don't believe you're saying that to make me feel better. An hour? Someone just said literally who? Chat, I believe I'm the literally who. An hour of getting pulped in the centrifuge? I, I don't think getting pulped in the centrifuge. Maybe that the penis boss? But even the penis boss wasn't that hard. <laughs> wasn't. That tentacle was from Arnold at the gym. Arnold. Donkey by the pool. Arnold at the gym. <laughs> it is fantastic. I'm coming every day. Someone said, what if we rated every single bit Vinny did and not just the puns? He'd hate us pretty fast. A lot of them are bad bits on purpose. I swear, chap. I swear. But you know what the worst part is of that? There are people who genuinely like Ray Leno. Medium med pack. Mm, we, can, uh, we can buy one of these wacky things. Let me see. Let's see what we can sell. We got... Semiconductors. Question is, do I save up for this? I'm not sure yet. But the the evil violins make me feel like this is the most important inventory management of my entire life. Hey Hammond, I cracked the secure files. DC was here for more than just a mining claim, huh? What do you mean? This outbreak started on the colony after the miners dug up some artifacts. Man, games look so nice these days. That's impossible. But it would explain why Aegis 7 is meant to be off-limits, right? Earthgov's orders? When the miners found the artifact, they reported hallucinations, paranoia, suicides. But the Ishimura brought this marker on board anyway. Like that was a plan. Wait. A marker? Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? Cargo. All packets stuff for delivery. Uh, of course they took the creepy artifact on board the ship. I mean, I generally remember what happened in Dead Space from, you know, my, my playthrough of it. Uh, the original. But even so, just, it's just, it's like when you watch your favorite movie and they get to that thing. You know the thing that happens that pisses you off every time? And you're just kind of hoping they won't do it? It's like the cable guy when Jim Carrey and Matthew Broderick, like they had their friends, they're becoming friends, they're becoming friends. And then there's the one moment where Jim Carrey just crosses the line. It's like, no, they were friends. Fucking louder than the sun. Um, yeah, oh, oh, Anakin, I hope, I sure hope he doesn't go to the dark side. There's plenty of moments in episode three where you're just like, it won't happen, will it? I guess we're still doing narrow hallways. Alright, well, this was a good one. This is a good narrow hallway. I can almost smell that hallway. Engineering log. My last log. My last log was a good one too. Again, I, I think back to Event Horizon where Lawrence Fishburne sees the video of the crazy shit happening. It's like the most depraved, disgusting, hellish things ever. And then he's just like, We're leaving. That's one of those mo moments in a movie where it's just like, Yes, Larry, yes, leave. And then, you know, a bunch of other crap happens and they can't leave. And that is the censored version, yeah. I, I watched a whole video about the uncensored version. There was, like, crazy shit that they filmed. And that footage was lost. Like, this kind of shit. That kind of shit. There was a testicle, there were porn stars they hired, they hired amputees. Like, they- yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff that they filmed, um, to do some- some really shocking things, uh, in that- in that video. But, again, it was- the, the studio was like, you're joking, right? What movie? Event Horizon. I don't know how people are gonna like that movie, if I recommend it, but I want to recommend it because it is... You can tell Dead Space took a lot of inspiration from it. I love it. I- I, I think it's a, a- like, it's a cornball movie at times, but I think it's genuinely got great sets. 
and I think there's some really good scares in it, and I like it a lot. So I'd recommend watching Event Horizon. It is a horror, like, movie where they go to a spaceship that's orbiting around Jupiter or Saturn, forget which one, and they have the tech to open wormholes for the first time. However, they opened the portal to hell! Oh no! And then, you know, oh, it was Neptune. Okay. Good, you know what? Good movie for the season, too. Like, I'd... Whoa. I'd recommend watching it, you know, like, as a, as a Halloween movie. Not specifically Halloween, but just it's, it's, it's a good movie for this time of year. So, how about Sunshine? Sunshine is also similar. It's got Killian Murphy, a.k.a. Op, uh, Oppenheimer. And it is a spaceship horror movie in a different way. And it's also very good. Better than Event Horizon in many ways, I would say. Love those flame graphics. Holy shit. Man. God, I love this fucking smoky atmospheric lighting so much. These poor bastards. Oh, I see what they're doing for that red glow on the meat. I get it. Okay. Like a, a shader. Doesn't really hold up that great when you shine the light directly into it, but it's it's a really neat effect from a little bit of distance. Subsurface scattering Andy. Yeah, um, I guess everything is a shader, isn't it? There is- oh, you, you know what? I watched a really good video on Counter-Strike 2, uh, the water graphics on- what's the level I'm thinking of? Not Aztec. The shit water, yeah, the shit water in Overpass. And it's- it's genuinely incredibly impressive if you, like, actually look around at it. And it's all just layered, like, shaders. It's not 3D in the slightest. There's that burning. Look at- look, 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 he's burning in the crotch! Ooh! Oh, I like that! Oh, what's going on there? But I- oh, meat is stuck down there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm on a timer here. Well, not a real timer. It's a- it's a wacky gaming timer. For a dramatic effect. Ah! No, not that! Don't pick up that! Ah, babies! Warning. Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. I don't know, I vote we let Isaac crash this thing into the planet. I think it's just gonna, like, do everyone a favor in the long run. Better yet, launch it into the sun. Burn, motherfucker! Holy shit. Fuck, they hurt. What, what do you think this room smells like? Oil and ass. Isaac, you did it. The Ishimura is moving again. No thanks to ever sabotage the fuck out of these engines. You bought us time to figure it out. Autopilot's taking us into geostationary orbit. Wait, you're flying us through the planet crack debris? That's what the asteroid defense system is for. But the ADS is offline. I've got the system readouts here. Hammond, the Ishimura is in rough shape. A couple of bad strikes could finish her off. Shit. Daniels, give me all the data you have. I'll try to adjust course. I'll open up the bridge station. Meet me there. We need to work on this together. Where's that, um... Sorry, I need to mute my sniffs. That's become someone's fetish, I'd imagine. Uh, real, real... <laughs> Just ignore all, all that. Uh, I, I want to do this at some point. That's the mining deck. Okay, so at least I don't think we've gotten to that yet. So I don't think I missed anything. Nicole? I'm here. Nicole! Damn it! 
make this hole again, Isaac. Now that I've gotten back into the game and uh, remember how to play it and kind of know what the objectives are and I'm like really getting into it, it's, it's really great. Especially the evil violins that are accompanying my uh, intense inventory management. There's something about Peng. At least these look kind of comfortable. Like you could sit on these and wait for your, uh, your train to arrive. Makes me wonder, how long though? How long would it take for, to get from one end of the ship to the other? There's a casino. Yeah. Let's see. So yeah, now we're, we're actually finding out exactly how long this would take. Okay, consider this. From this end to that end, it's, let's say, let's say 60 seconds, and it's, it's less than that. And then you might have to wait for a couple other stops. You might end up waiting in those chairs, in those seats, for three minutes, four minutes, if multiple people are using them for different stops. Some good seats for a very, very short wait. They're a mess. I'm gonna need your help. I am not losing the Ishimura. Not now. The Ishimura hammer or the marker? That artifact they found? Don't bullshit. CEC knew all along about the marker, didn't they? Isn't that why you're really here? Corporate wouldn't send the Ishimura for some off-the-books mining. But alien technology, yeah, that fits. And how does losing my team fit into this theory? Hey, knock this shit off. We're into the debris field. We get the ADS back together, or it's over. Then meet me at the captain's nest. Daniels? Fine. But I'm going through the ship reports, Hammond. I'm getting some answers. Hmm. I love this kind of aesthetic. Like, that is not a particularly bright light. That's not even lighting this corridor, really. But it's there, and it looks cool. It's a nice little ambient light. A little bit of a creepy sign. Probably no real reason for me to be shooting at that, but I can't help it. That was just a scare. You are beware! You are in for a scare! It is I, Dracula! Damn it, that wasn't it. That's not it either. That's not it. That's not it. Did I get rid of it? Yeah, I did. I had a good Dracula bit. I don't know. It's fucking gone. Oh! You okay? At least containment and life support are holding. So far. I like how it shows you a picture of where you are, but all of the pictures are just facing save stations, so it doesn't help you know where you where you are, just from the visual. Isaac. Sorry. Shit, you scared me. No, no, keep that rifle close. You upset? The one that attacked me. I managed to trap him in here. His face. I'm not seeing things, right? That's Chen. You can't help him, Hammond. He's... You're right. I should... the hell with it. Escape pod 47 launched. I worked with him for years. Johnson, Shit. too. At least she was spared becoming a monster. I listen here, 47. For them. Yeah. Cannons. Could have had Isaac just like stomp him a couple times. You didn't have to waste an escape pod. And it's gonna be like Alien 2. Someone's gonna pick up that pod one day and they're just gonna like try to study that corpse until they turn into the Zambies. <laughs> Here. All I can tell is the ADS power routing is shot. Well, the administration systems aren't doing much. We could redirect power from there. Good. Isaac, about what Daniel said. I don't know about any illegal mining or the marker. I swear, I'm just here for a repair mission. Look, Hammond, I don't know you or Daniels well enough to judge, but CEC Talking while not looking at each other. The company made it, but shit like that's above my pay grade. And Isaac? I heard something up there. Something big. Watch your back. The 
captain chair. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be good. For a ship this big, it's got to be a good captain chair. It's like King Kuti was, um, there, I saw his Star Trek video and he was sitting in like some generic captain's chair and he was like, this is a dream of mine to sit in the captain's chair. It was like, they built this out of like cardboard for this promo. Are you reviewing captain's chairs in video games now or something? Like, am I part-time? Part-time. I'm eager to study the marker, understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. That's exactly my reasoning. What's happening down there is just too unprecedented attack. And cautiously, we need some time to study the causes and effects. This is a mining ship, so the captain's chair has a rustic look to it. A little rock and stone. Oh, fuck. I don't think I have a lot of ammo. I got a nerd for that. The marker must be delivered to the church, whatever the cost. God's sakes, Ben, listen to yourself. The issue more is in crisis, you've cut us off. By Maritime Law Article 5469, I, Dr. Terence Kine, hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. Heretic! Hold him. Ben, you're, you're not yourself. Let me help you. Traitors, get your hands off me! This is my ship! Oh my god, he's... You... Ben... You saw I was trying to help him. Doctor, you... You just killed the captain. We have to take you in. Can't. But the others from the church get a hold of me. Stop! Just ran away. Just straight up fucking ran. I'm reading electrical hazards on the floor ahead of you. 60-year-old deck lady doesn't play well with power surges. Watch your step. Just in this one stream alone, we got three new weapons. That's pretty, pretty good amount of weaponry. This should be fun. This one plays pretty differently from the original, but it is still good. It's a good thing I don't remember the original. Oh. Holy shit. It's so good I became Rodney Dangerfield for a second. I'm surprised you don't remember old Dead Space funny ragdolls. I kind of do. It's weird because playing this, like I kind of remember Dead Space 2 more than one. Maybe it's because I played it more recently, but there are like areas in this game that I remember. Like that, um, the one we were just at, that one was very familiar. But I think, yeah, I think I just overwrote some of my memories of Dead Space with the sequel. I remember when Peter Griffin showed up. Oh my god, Isaac. That's what he did, he just went like that. This is just like the time I joined the Church of Unitology, Lois. I wonder if there was ever a point where I did one too many Peter Griffin impressions and someone just left forever. You think today is that day? I think it's possible. Like someone who's been watching for like seven years or so and, and they just like, they hear me do the Peter Griffin and they're like, no, no, that's just too much. I don't need that in my life anymore. The time you, Germa, and a bunch of others all made Peter Griffin impressions at the same time. That might have been, yeah, that was probably the last straw for some. Oh, that got nasty for a second. I didn't even fucking see that feller. It's another one of them waiting rooms. Extremely, uh, long seats. 
Yeah, I don't know why I became a chair reviewer today, but I'm just thinking about like, gee, those are like, you probably sleep in those. Might be a little frustrating to sleep in, but like those, I mean, yeah, those are sleepable chairs. I'm less concerned with the doors, but definitely, definitely interested in this game's chairs. Not good for your back though. Why a scream? Uh, it's just... It's anguish. Just a little bit of anguish, chat. What's that? A recording? Huh. Must be the marker they dug up. So it is the same. That marker. That's the symbol of the Church of Unitology. It didn't take you for a believer, Isaac. My mother was. But if they found this on some alien planet... What does that mean? That Unitology's onto something? Unitology's full of shit. Forget it. United We Ascend. Is Unitology a new hope or just another scam? If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims $78 billion of stock in multi-global companies, and owns two of the Earth, Earth's largest financial institutions, GPSG Financial and Unitas Energy Investments. From its beginnings as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected, established religion. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a respected geophysicist, blew the whistle on what he claimed to be the biggest cover-up ever instituted by Earth government. The discovery of an artifact, or marker, which proved beyond any doubt that there is alien life in the universe. The government labeled Altman a kook, but his claims struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that inter interest along with civil unrest and demands for action. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key for eternal life, through rebirth and ascension to heaven, and the kicker is you have to die first. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer, or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower, and these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money's bad. The church also requires their members to donate their bodies after death. Why? Well, what they do with them, nobody will say and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With their emphasis on transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, dis uh, despite their huge size, continued on page blah blah blah. That's a cool thing, though. Does anyone want to join a cult? I mean, religion. I can't wait for uh, a new podcast. So I accidentally joined a cult. It's going to be 500 episodes. It'll be quirky. There will be wine. No, oh, bitch! Oh! Oh, no. Yeah, that was that was not what I wanted to happen there. That's fine. Reload! Oh, oh. <coughs> you know, maybe I'll just just stop here. I don't know why I didn't heal. But I'm just gonna stop here. I wanna I wanna play some armored core and make some progress. Otherwise, you know that that's not as good. All right, chat. Thanks for watching Dead Space. It's really great, and it's it's got like a good spooky atmosphere as well as Resident Evil action, and I love it. We got two in a row here, chat. I enjoyed my time with this game yesterday, and I figured while I remember what is happening in the game, it might be a good idea to um, strike while the iron is hot. Because the way I've been streaming, it's like play a game, play it again a week later. You know. By the way, that Alien game I really like, Aliens Dark Descent, I think is on sale at the moment. And I say that just because that game is somewhat underrated and really good. I just, I'm a fan of that game. And uh, if you like 
Aliens and like XCOM, but like real time. I streamed, uh, not streamed, I did like half of it on the Full Sauce channel and I really, really enjoyed it. You streamed the first episode. I did like four, four or five. Play the game, didn't finish is a hell of a recommendation. Yeah, but I, there's so many games. I think Tears of the Kingdom came out like a couple days later or while I was playing it. I died in here, didn't I? Yesterday. Remember to shoot through that one room's window. Oh, I did. <laughs> did. Oh, you can stasis these? Oh! I don't like this one bit. No. Come on, 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 Still took damage for that. <sighs> Drop the node. Okay. The Ripper has, like, really, really good, um, ammo conservation. That's not the right way to say that, but the, the Ripper is exceedingly good at being efficient at having ammo. That's also not a great way to say that. That is... That's not an economic way to say that it's good ec ammo efficient. Vinny, you're missing boxes. Am I, though? On the wall? Oh my god. How did I miss those? They're right there. They're glowing. Oh my god, chat. I really like these pu little puzzles that they have. I was missing these, too. Do you think this game would be better if everything important was covered in yellow paint? I love the yellow paint debate. That's one of my favorite topics. Well, they already have little glowing lights on the things, which is a little bit more, let's say, in-world. I say pressing a magic button that shows me exactly where I have to go. But yeah, yellow paint um, does take people out of the game, doesn't it? Well, even if it's not, if it's not like that big of a deal, it, it is something that I've talked about. I feel like it doesn't bother me too much, and I get why devs do it. It's because we're stupid. I mean... I'm speaking for myself here, but, uh, not everyone is a pro gamer, you know? But it was weird in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the demo I played, there- <laughs> You can see it, like, it's just, like, yellow painted bricks on a wall. It's a little bit weird. Isaac, like, not a wall, but like a mountainside. It's a little strange. They're a fucking horror show. These things mold any dead tissue into a new form. One kind infects corpses, and the rest- Make more corpses to infect. That organic shit on the walls. That's dead tissue, too. The crew thought it was a... habitat changer. Isaac, I'm gonna run some diagnostics. I think that's death spreading. Life would be a little bit better if everything was painted yellow. Like when you're going across the street, they should have lines on the street to show you where pedestrians should cross. They have that? Where? If you lived in Night City, where would you live? Uh, ask me when I play Cyberpunk, and I can tell you the locations, because I can't even think of them right now. Not Pacifica, because that trash near the sea make you sick. Warning. Multiple security protocols have been corrupted. Some areas may be inaccessible. Recommendation. Acquire department rig permissions, and compile master security override at this console. You are not authorized? It's Metroid Other M. Okay, I can't even do these missions right now. This is gonna be like an ongoing thing, I think. You can currently find the rigs that have yellow boxes. The red ones are inaccessible, right? Meow. Oh, wait, yellow? Yellow? So we're going to water purification. We're going up. He's regretting that so hard. What, right, meow? You never saw Super Troopers? That's also how the chat members spelled the word now. There it is, they said the line. They said the line. Meat co snacks. It's just meat snacks. It looks like the admin staff went to the mining deck to meet up with the other survivors. I'll head there too. If you aren't with them, I'll you're against them. Oh. You. I promise. Still. Still! Oh man, the 
flamethrower just kind of blows, doesn't it? Power transferred from auto purification to ADS cannons. We got it. The ADS cannons are back online. We... Wait. Auto-targeting offline. Calibration data not found. Fuck. No auto-targeting. The cannons are useless. What about manual targeting? If I give the cannons enough targeting data, it'll recalibrate the system. You got a better idea? Christ. I'll open exterior access. I hope you know what you're doing. Flamethrower is really good, actually. Use it as support or walling off necromorphs. Yeah, it just doesn't... It doesn't do as much damage as it would seem. But I guess using it strategically is probably the better option. I agree with that. And also upgrading it. What's the plan? I'll seek a few ADS cannons. Blade wall tools. rooms. I target an asteroid, and cannons take it out, and I recalibrate the system. We're out of options. Do it. Is there a name for this type of architecture? <laughs> Pain? Scorn? A mistake. Hellraiser. Deadly. Brutalistic. Sinking targeting system. <laughs> Isaac, are you okay? This is pretty different than the original sequence, no? Calibration complete. Data migration complete. ADS recalibrated. Auto targeting systems enabled. All right. <laughs> Someone just wrote Among ADS Us task. Are online ship wide. Thank God. Engaging autopilot. Get yourself inside, Isaac. I think I figured out our next move. There's an Easter egg here. Wait, there's a side objective or, and or an Easter egg here. What's what? There's a rig to get. Really? It's at the end of the trench. Oh man. All right. Looks like we're going back out here. Someone just said there's a vine sauce reference out here. It's just a white dude with facial hair. Uh, shiny in the alcove. Oh. The BG music almost reminds me of Interstellar. So the B the original came out before Interstellar. I love the chat when I say Interstellar. It's either Murph or Tars, Flat Circle, just word association. I do the same shit. This is why you do it, I, I suppose, because every time I say Interstellar, I have to say Murph. I like getting quotes wrong. We're going to space, Murph. Like, Murph doesn't go to space with him. That's not how the movie goes. And yet, that is my, like, that's my Beam Me Up Scotty. Where Beam Me Up Scotty was actually never in Star Trek. It was always Scotty Beam Us Up. Or Beam Him Up. Or, you know, Ready to Beam Up. Isaac, Hammond, I just intercepted a transmission for medical. Someone's down there? Well, eventually Maybe Murph went to space. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. <laughs> Medical is a sanctuary. All survivors, please join us. Nicole. I'm going back to medical. We were there earlier. Thanks. I'll head to the crew deck and look for survivors from the bridge. I'll be in touch. Wasn't she the one we followed in the hologram? Wonder if you know something we don't. That's Isaac's girlfriend. Oh, right. That is. Oh, man. Shows you how much I pay attention. Did that happen because I stepped on the sack? They just spawn here. Isaac. So that Binding of Isaac multiplayer? That's gonna be in, uh, Isaac Rebirth? It's pretty fucking cool. That's gonna be fucking chaotic, though. Because, I, like, seriously, they have to balance that out for multiplayer. Just visually, even. Because if you do a run long enough in Isaac, it usually turns into, like, screen diarrhea. It does have multiplayer. Like, yeah, it, it has the, um, you get to play as, like, a little floating sack. Isaac 99. <laughs> don't, don't even put the idea out into the ether. Holy fuck. All right, you know what? No, that would be pretty cool. Okay, you have 10 minutes to go through as many levels as you can, find as much stuff as you can, build your Isaac, and then fight 99 other Isaacs. Oh, I'd be down for that. Never mind, that's a great idea. <laughs> Melee not efficient. Foot is better. About like five Isaacs of different colors, and some of them are secretly enemies. It's not, I mean, that's interesting, I suppose. I, yeah, but then that's just among I, I, us, among us Isaac, I guess. Do you remember in Perfect Dark, there is something called counter op mode, mode? I think that was what it was called. And basically, the other player would spawn as a random enemy with less health, and the weapon they normally spawn with 
it yeah it played like shit in theory it was like one of the coolest ideas i'd ever heard at the time so yeah one it was basically anti-co-op one person is joanna dark the hero the other person just if you die you just spawn as another enemy and again you have low health and you have like one weapon awesome idea it looked like shit but also it kind of like just didn't work for me like i remember oh, that was my most exciting revelation that the game would have that and then i, I played it and it was kind of it's fine for like an hour. Left 4 Dead versus mode was almost that, but zombies. I think if it was a little bit more thought out and there's a little more to it, that could have worked. Do you remember um, a, a source game called Zombie Master? Basically, one person had a top down view and could spawn zombies in the levels, and it would be a bunch of like um, survivors fighting off the zombies. You were an evil DM. Yeah, pretty much. There was one level with a giant like cyclone that would suck up players and zombies alike. That was a really good early source mark. You little bastards, get off of me! Um, I was hoping to... Oh, God. I was hoping to find a store. No store down here. Daniels, the door to medical just locked behind me. Hello? There's one right here. Another survivor. At last. You'll be safe here. I'm a doctor. Is Nicole Brennan with you? You're not here for sanctuary, then. Well, Dr. Brennan's currently engaged. Shall I send you to her? How about you unlock these doors, and I'll find her myself? Are you that selfish? You might let something in. Or out. Shit. So, you've decided to be difficult. Take a seat. I'll deal with you momentarily. Not ominous at all. Contact beam uh, increases your inventory capacity and provides 10% armor. That's that's a given. It's like Metroid when he gets new suits in Metroid. Very good. Um, we can sell some of this. Sell bronze semiconductors. Who's buying this stuff? I don't know. They give you a free node when you do. Um, I might get the Ripper upgrade. I'm gonna buy that. The Gripper. Chat, I, uh, I got a, an offer to play the new Slender. There's like a, a Slender remake. This is, no, it's not a new one, it's a remake of the old one. It's like a, an upgrade visually. I, like, they told me, I got an email about it. And I get emails about a lot of games and I just kind of don't have the interest or time. But I was like, am I gonna play a Slender game? So I said, um, I applied for the key. I didn't hear back yet, but I might. At some point, you may see me play a Slender game for a little while. Just because I think it would be, be kind of funny. It's only two hours long. It fits Halloween, yeah. I mean, well, what do you even do with a Slender game at this point in time? So yes, remaking an old one. And there's a lot of Slender games, so I don't even know which game this is remaking. <laughs> so, find the pages. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm so close to finding that missing factor. Are you not on just one staff? These people are pretty much dead or dying anyway. Oh, come on! Oh, dude! Holy shit. I didn't expect to get one-tapped from that thing. They can one-shot if you get too close. Well, I know that now, clearly. Damn, I have to learn that the hard way. That did it. Good advice. There we go, got an upgrade bench. 
That's the same sound effect from Dead Space 1, right? When you pick up the items, like, more or less the same sound effect. As someone who came to Dead Space late, I was like, man, why didn't I fucking play this earlier? This is really good. Uh, so suit. You've got different suit upgrades. Oh, we don't have any suits! Sorry, I have to do that every time I see the word suit now. It's just one of those things, you know. You should play 2 as well. I did. It's on the Full Sauce channel. I'm not planning on playing Dead Space 3, don't worry. <laughs> but Vinny, you played Kong and Gollum, why not? I love that that's, that's been a thing. I saw- I heard that yesterday, too. Vinny, why not do New Game Plus Plus of Armored Core? You did Kong. Why not play more Gollum? You played Kong. Vinny, you ate raw chicken once when you were five. Why not eat more raw chicken? <laughs> I didn't, by the way. I just call it medium rare chicken. You better not be completely out of ammo. I wonder if the devs had to find some way, like, if player ammo empty, put pickup next to meat. Like, that's- that's in the code. That's actually how it is written in the code. They give you melee attack for a reason. No, I meant for that meat that's in the distance. That's- uh, that's plot meat. Distant Fair. plot meat. What a great band name that is. That's terrible band name. The old memory, you know. As I was saying, the new treatment I'm developing should be just a ticket. The trial is very promising. T trial? Uh, you'll be back at your post in the jiffy with CEC none the wiser. Unless... you don't trust me. No, uh, of course I trust you. Let's, uh, give it a shot. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Don't trust him. Volunteer 9 is a young male. Testing my new tissue regeneration formula. I expect death within the hour, but the changes to the vascular system are very promising. One moment for the cleanup. <clears throat> it's quite vascular of you. For the last time, get a trauma team in here. Yes, I called. Treat ice. My patient is crashing. Get off your smoke break and help me. Yeah, yeah. Mercer with the best acting. Who here feeling vascular tonight, chat? Anyone particularly varicose? That's right. Vein sauce is upon us, everybody. That's the new season of Vine Sauce. Vein sauce. Get the nostalgia direct directly injected into your veins. We're going to talk about childhood TV shows that you grew up watching. We're going to talk about games that you loved when you were a kid. We're going to talk about music that you loved when you were younger. Peng. We're going to talk about Peng. Dream of the childhood. That's another stupid thing that I say that sometimes like pops up at random times. I'll give you an example of one. And it's funny because it was fine. I'm pretty sure the original dream of the childhood was related to Cloud in Smash Brothers. So this is extra, like, fitting, but when I was at the event, they invited me, so it wasn't at Comic-Con, it was at a hotel in Times Square. There was some conference room they had set up with Hamaguchi and um, the people on Square's US, like, press team. And when I got to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and then they invited me to the panel for the voice actors, I genuinely thought to myself, dream of the childhood. Like, of course I enjoyed the moment, but I also, like, had to be ironic about it in my head a little because of the dream of the childhood thing. I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, I don't- again, I'm happy I don't have to thank Square every 20 minutes because I think Square is just a mess of a company. Sometimes they do things pretty chill and sometimes they're bizarre. We'll talk about it in a minute. But I'll, I'll tell you where this is going. Oh, did she just, like... Is it's- she's a hologram, it's fine. Whoa! Office is this okay? Please join us. I think she's on a loop. It's chat, it's intentional. It's a recording on loop. Yeah. All I was gonna say is, though, it was- I really did think back to how Final Fantasy VII was my favorite game when it came out for, like, a while, and how much that game meant to me. I know it's silly, but it's just one of those things that really meant something to me. Um, and... Being invited to an event by Square, I had that moment. I genuinely had that moment. It, it sounds kind of corny, but it actually did really mean something to me. I was like, wow, this this is uh, this is pretty cool. I did something right. I don't know what, but... Just a trick. Oh my god, you got got. You got got! Dr. 
Brennan's nearest and dearest. We were colleagues, you know. Dr. Chalice Mercer. Are you the reason the marker won't begin? That's it. This is a really cool cutscene. Convergence is installed. <laughs> She's meddling. How is the question? But even if I was to ask, I suspect you're not the talkative type. Well, maybe not in the original game. And I haven't fully explored the cause of death as that missing factor. Dismemberment. Now I think you're on the right track there. <laughs> Try and relax, Mr. Clark. Convergence is so close. Maybe your death will tip the balance. Oh my god. Fuck. Motherfuckers regenerate. Oh, that was an abrupt ending to the bad violins. Oh, fuck. Yo, what the fuck, dude? This game has its very own nemesis now. Holy shit. It always did. Hey, listen, dog, I'm sorry. I don't remember so much. My summation of this game so far is why Mercer a bitch though. I just want to, you know, be clear about that. You think Unitology has their very own Tom Cruise? Calm Trues? Isn't that a band? They had like a hit song, didn't they? That was a good ricochet. Ooh. I don't know which one. I don't know which one. That one's the light. It's okay. We don't need to. Attack! Attack her. Yes. Rage is good. Yes. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in here now. I'm stuck in here. I live here. I live here now. This is fuck, chat. Surgical log. Dr. Charlotte Mercer. It's a shame. When I began my research, Terrence's kind insight into the marker were invalid. Now he's going to be descending little loops of stuff. Huh. Oh my god, what happened to the lighting in here? The lighting's fucked. See what you've done? I agree with Amelia. If this is unitology, I'm oh my god. No part of it. 
My diagnosis? Poor Terence is suffering from the same dementia reported on the Aegis 7 car. Emilia <laughs> After all that, I kept forgetting that I had stasis, which, you know, would have probably helped quite a bit. Yeah. I missed a door, and there's probably some good stuff in there, including healing. It's even funnier the second time. Is it, though? Dude. Oh, how about this is shit. Is it still funny? Was I funny? No. Is there an explosive tank I could chuck at it? Uh, I'm out of contact beam and there's no explosives. Chat, I'm just dedicated now. I am just dedicated. I have to do this. Maybe I don't. Maybe we'll just go find that door. Emergency equipment. The line gun! Oh, yeah. Please, a crumb of healing. A, a meager crumb of healing, please. Oops. Boy, I sure hate those enemies. Someone said that you could use that as a mobile laser if you put it on a prop. Tissue regeneration experiment five. The children of the marker kind necromorphs have provided all the material I could ask for. And the infector variant has provided a key insight. Implanting the material directly into the plane render is optimal results. Of course, oh my God. that requires puncturing the frontal bone just above the glabella. Please, please, no. Don't worry. It's been sterilized. Oh, it's been sterilized. Thank God for that. <sighs> Convergence, where the bodies of the dead will rise, united undying, made whole by the marker. So we're taught. But all this raw material, all my work in the marker remains inert. Ever since that first contact, as it were, words repeat in my head. The markers must be absorbed. A divine insight, perhaps, that creating my hunter is a part of the answer. And yet I deleted. No, I will not doubt. No unitologist has ever been so close. To cheat death that Withered old tyrant. I must have a matching tenacity. That's all it is. It's just he just wants to beat death. Not that he wants to play God or anything. He just wants to, you know. Who's there? Oh God! Hold on. I can help you. Not me. Save hydroponics. We're all dying. There's poison. But there's still time. Her enzyme will work. <laughs> she just needs liquid nitrogen. Save us! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Air quality is dropping shipwide. Something's poisoning the oxygen and hydroponics. If we lose our air supply. Oh man, please clip that. Looking for liquid nitrogen. There has to be some in the cryogenic lab. Okay. Not like we have a better option. Yeah, the melee. I, I probably, yeah, meleeed him. And it gave it a little bit of momentum. That was incredible. Need oxygen. Oh no. Is my friend here? Where's my buddy? 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 I went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh. 
All I have to do is follow the goddamn line. The, the miracle line that shows me exactly where I have to go. Oh. Okay, it's clearing. Bertha, pump that gas in from hydroponics. Is the air's already that bad? I'm gonna need a faster way to cryogenics. I'll open the other door from the chemical lab. It'll take you straight there. <laughs> we need to get you to hydroponics. That's one of your best wastes yet, Finn. Oh, I've wasted better than that, for sure. It's a good one, but I mean, it's just an oxygen tank. I can live without that, I suppose. Streamer stops breathing on stream. Do you remember when, like, Hydrate Bot existed? Or, like, just there was this meme of telling people to hydrate as if people need water to live? That was sponsored by, like, Big Water. Probably Coca-Cola, who bought all the water of the world, as you all know. Wow. Glad I did that. Really glad I did that. But anyway, the, the point is, we should, like, get to a point as a culture where we can tell streamers, don't forget to breathe. Right, that's a bad bit, but I tried. Vinny, you're starting to remind me of my Chum Keanu, minus the impressive charisma. I'm surprised that, like, there hasn't been gamer girl breath, where you just buy a jar of someone's, like, exhale. Streamer oxygen. There is? Oh. Oh my god. A famous singer once considered making perfume out of her backshot wind. Backshot wind. It's it's like when you hear stuff like that, like and especially the way you said it just now, it makes me think Lavos is an okay alternative. Someone said I'd buy I'd buy jarred Lavos gas. There's an OnlyFans girl who got sick for forcing her farts all day to sell them. I just need a minute. I just don't I don't- I don't know what else- what else to say about that. I thought- I thought I was making up the exhale. Like, breathable, like, air from someone's exhale. And people are- are buying this. People are buying this. People are buying this? Don't worry, she pivoted to selling NFTs instead. <laughs> oh, man. And people are buying that, too. Oh, thanks for teaching me. I'm not gonna ask any more questions ever again, chat. I think I'm just gonna remain ignorant. I already, like, I already know too much. Taking- he's taking ideas for new Vine Sauce merch. I am. I'm- I'm learning. I really, genuinely just want people to live their own lives and try their best to make lasting connections with people around them and not focus so goddamn much on people like me. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you like to watch my streams. That's as far as I needed to go. I, I- it's just insane to think that someone's buying people's farts. <laughs> oh, fuck. Smart feller is now fart seller. Seeing my husband unleashed is almost worth losing my other patients. But you and Dr. Brennan have delayed me enough. If you've heard Nicole, I have never anything but courtesy to Dr. Brennan. Can you say the same thing? I can say I'm not a fucking murderer. Speaking of courtesy... <laughs> if I had you back fixing the Ishimura's engines, our homecoming will be... truly divine. And I doubt even you can stop a convergence event fueled by the entire population of Earth. You take these things to Earth, it's all over! Only for the faithless. Humanity will be made whole, Mr. Clark. With or without you. Oh, I hate this motherfucker all over again. I'd say... Love that ricochet, but how do you use uh, the stace, the fucking liquid nitrogen again, chat? I don't, uh, what was the, what, what button? What button? 
You just freeze him in there? There's a button in the control room. Oh, he's in the control room now. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I, I, I didn't realize I had access to the control room. Come on. Get that shit. Get that shit. Yes! Seal the nest, but I haven't been able to reach Hammond since he went to the crew deck. Isaac, our air quality is falling fast. If you've got liquid nitrogen, we gotta fix hydroponics. Want it. Keep trying to reach Hammond. Mercer, I don't think he's done yet. Isaac, the hydroponic tram station is sealed off. You'll need another way there. Take the tram back towards the hangar, then head to the repair. There's an access door in there that'll take you to hydroponics. Got something, Isaac? It's... let's call it a tissue sample. From Mercer's pet hunter. Careful. Who knows what mad science went into that thing? Maybe I could find out. Figure out what Mercer's up to. If I'm fast, there has to be a DNA scanner close by. Oh, it's maybe this way? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna do this. Um... The oxygen is failing shipwide and you are playing scientist. Yeah. This is really good information, I need this. Yeah, keep following the path. Don't think, only follow path. I say, loving that there's a button that can show me path. So I have word from Wrinkly Newt that there are currently 10 people playing the King Cootie Star Trek crossover map. So it worked. Star Trek is saved, everybody. The kids love it now. It's cool again. <laughs> Just, yeah, the attempt to save Star Trek or like get it into like, you know, some kind of, um, main- mainstream appeal. Like, right now, I don't even think- Oh my god, oh my god. Right now, I don't think, culturally, people even want Star Trek, anyway. Like, younger people, maybe. I mean, I think there is a market for it. I think people, you know, they eventually come to Star Trek if they want to. I just- maybe I'm a little bit more nihilistic about this sort of thing, but there's a part of me that just feels like- Present company excluded, of course. Even if it was done as good as it was when DS9 was on the air and TNG, I have a feeling, you know, it would find an audience, but it's never going to be like what it was, where it was on network television getting tens of millions of viewers. So, you know, I just want to see Star Trek feel like Star Trek again. And uh, the fact that they're trying to do Fortnite maps and, and like, you know, they're like pairing up with a rapper as like in a way to get interest. It's like, dude. Mining contractor. Aegis 7. Registered physician, Dr. Charles Mercer. Warning. Severe DNA abnormalities found. Yeah, oh shit. Quick tracking is available to trace possible contagion. Authorize. Harris, what did Mercer do to you? Authorize. Sinking logs and points of interest to rig locator. Mine Harris's ICU bed. Um, here's what I'll say, just to con conclude my thought. The people that like Fortnite and Kin Kudi probably aren't going to watch Star Trek then and be like, wow, this is my kind of thing. Maybe a couple, but I just feel like they're not, like, trying to get the right audience. So finding out there's only 10 people in the Fortnite map is not really surprising. It's Kid Cuddy, holy shit. Yeah, I know. Good comment, King Cuddy's alt account. Someone just said J.J. Abrams really managed to fuck up two franchises. I, I understand why he did what he did, but yeah, it's it's just not, it's not great, is it? I mean, listen, I, I have my issues with J.J. Abrams as much as anybody, but the guy was hired to do a very specific job. Episode 9 is unforgivable, but, you know, I get Star Trek 2009, and I get um, Force Awakens. I understand what he was hired to do, and I believe he did it, you know, very well. With lens flares, no, you know, no doubt, but he, he did the job. It just, the ball was dropped uh, multiple times in both franchises from there, however. So yes, now we have, um, cool Fortnite maps. Star Trek and Kin Kud Kud. <laughs> that one chat member's really not liking me for saying that, huh? He has a grunge album as well. It's bad, but still. Even if the grunge album was awesome, I would still be like, well, it's like if 
Star Trek TNG did a promotion where Kurt Cobain was captain. Like, what are you doing? Don't give them ideas they might use AI Cobain. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm laughing like this t tonight. I'm, I'm very, um, I'm very tickled by a number of very dumb things. I, I'm, I'm a little moldy tonight, but I, I find that concept to be, uh, very depressing. Thank you, chat member. Vinny, would you eat an elephant mushroom? Ask me tomorrow. Just a sliver of bone between us and the Marcus secrets. Relax. It won't be like Age of Seven and that unpleasant nurse. Was it the nurse when I took This errand you want me to do in ore storage. Ah. The miners won't like it. They're probably as narrow-minded as the miners of the colony is. Tormenting someone for being a little different. Don't have to Good spirit. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I'm ready. Oh, that looks fun. Meat noises. The Martin Skulls, it's, it's been trying to show me. They're hungry. They're coming. They'll make us whole. Doctor. I see it now. The marker speaks. We can answer. Tell me how. Oh my god. This guy is huffing some fucking serious fumes. Has anyone recommended Roblox horror games? Yeah, yeah. I gotta be honest, don't really want to play Roblox, even as a joke. Ah! Could we not? Could we not? Could we not? Could we not? God. Don't shoot those ones in the stomach. Yeah. Not a good enough piece of metal. Alright. I needed, like, some nice metal, and it was just a suitcase. Vinny, did you see that rim jobs are being added to Halo Infinite? People were saying that last night, and I thought they were just trying to get me to say the word rim job, and then I found out, like, they actually are adding rim jobs to Halo. They knew it would make headlines. They knew people would talk about it, because it's funny. All it is, is an item that fixes broken vehicles. That's it. It just fixes your broken vehicles, and they're calling it rim jobs. Someone just said Master Cheeks. They should do... Okay, here's what they should do. They should do a promotional crossover event with Fortnite and Drake. They did. Oh. No King Cummy? Nah, we don't... King Cummy doesn't do promotions. Only only Star Trek. Do you remember? It's really Fortnite is the convergence here, everybody. Because also Star Wars had that hilarious promotion with Star uh, with Fortnite, where they had Palpatine announce why he's back. Like they they issued somewhat vital story lore in Fortnite. I know it pisses some people off to even remind them, but for those that don't know, and there are plenty that don't know this stuff, in the movie, they say somehow Palpatine has returned. That's the explanation to why this villain, who was in a Death Star that blew up, is now back. But they gave more lore in Fortnite. At last, the work of generations is complete. The great error is corrected. The day of victory is at hand. The day of revenge. The day of the Sith. 
and people were playing and they were like, J.J. Abrams, Abrams was doing an interview while people are like shooting and waiting for the Palpatine announcement. It was one of those moments where I, I watched a video of it and I was like, this isn't real. That's just Mike Stoklaza doing a Palpatine voice. It, it was real. Someone said, I want to see the island boys as an alien species in Star Trek. No, you don't. Someone said, I was in another tab just hearing this. I needed a moment to process it all. It's fun, right? But that's the convergence. Halo, Fortnite, Star Trek, Star Wars, Fortnite. It, it's Fortnite is behind it all. Wait, 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 wait. Because of Fortnite, Epic bought Bandcamp and then sold Bandcamp. And now Bandcamp is down 50% of its employees. Wait a minute. It really is all Fortnite's fault. Epic didn't initiate the layoffs. No, but they bought and sold the company as a chess piece for their legal pursuits. Oh, we didn't bring our suits. Let's not forget Fortnite killed Unreal Tournament. That I'm very upset about. I was hoping we would get a new Unreal Tournament. It's like, okay, I, I understand that the arena shooter isn't as financially viable as character-driven Battle Royale. I would even go as far as to say, I know I'm being a cock about this. I have enjoyed Fortnite on occasion. I have. It's solid. Especially no build. I'm sorry. But, um, I have enjoyed Fortnite, but you'd imagine with the amount of money it has made, they could have just kept Unreal Tournament going, you know, for the fans, for like goodwill, and just to say, all right, well, maybe this isn't going to make as much money as a BR, but we can put some money into this because now we're billionaires and we can release the game to uh, to the fans because we've already put a bunch of work into it. And there are people that wonder why I was getting shit, like not me personally, but like why the EGS was getting shit. Like why, why not play games on EGS, Vinny? It's like, I kind of fucking hate this company. Like, sure, the Radiohead game was on there. I used it for that. I will use it for a couple things from time to time. I don't want to use it, but also, I can't believe we're doing this again during Dead Space. I'm sorry. I know people are just trying to get into the game and enjoy it. And if this pisses you off in some way, I understand. Feel free to bounce, whatever you got to do. But it's frustrating. And, you know, you could raise the argument about Steam, too, because it's like Valve stopped making games when Steam made them a bazillion dollars. But St Valve is a really different company. Their their culture at their company is all kinds of fucked up and weird. And like, they probably have a dozen or so games that got a certain amount of way, like finished and then just abandoned. S someone say, I'd say Steam is better compared to most other shit. Yeah, I would say so too. They also introduced hats and um, skins for your guns in Counter-Strike. Uh -huh. But yeah, I'd prefer Valve. I feel like they have passion for what they create when they create it. I just wish they created more, because Left 4 Dead 3, w with the technology that we have now for gaming, like maybe 2 was a, a tad too soon for Left 4 Dead. I remember that was like a common sentiment. Left 4 Dead 2 came out like not long after the first one. I think it delivered, and then they eventually added so much to it, and with mods and stuff, Left 4 Dead 2 I think is, is great. But when it was first announced and it was like, hey, this is coming out like real soon after the first one, that was a bit of a rarity rarity for Valve anyway, but I would love a Left 4 Dead 3. I'm a little disappointed in Counter-Strike 2. I enjoy it. It's just CSGO, but a little prettier with some better gameplay and, you know, some balances and a couple nicer maps, but it's, you know, it's not Counter-Strike taken to the next level. It's missing stuff even, so it's, it's a little unfortunate, but uh, I hope at some point we'll get more Source 2 projects. At least it has good shit water. It is the nicest shit water I've ever seen in a video game. There it is. Once you have a button that allows you to see where to go, you, you really just kind of get, like, a little too used to it. At least I do. It's good for streaming, at least, because, you know, I can occupy my, my brain a little bit while I'm backtracking by talking to chat. Vinny, if you were in the Dead Space universe, what is the first thing you would do? Die. Definitely. Instantly. Even if it wasn't some kind of, like, necromorph, like an asteroid would probably pulp me. Second thing you would do? Pinochle. You've done way too much damage to me. Whoa, God. How are you still alive? I also, um, I like that this game, it's nice that this was remade. Like, EA is uh, being the company that was like, single player games are not worth anything. They didn't say that exactly like that, I'm paraphrasing. But, but essentially, they weren't so hot on just solely single player games because they weren't um, as easy to monetize, like over-monetize. So I feel that it's it's nice that the single-player game is being thought of as a viable, worthy 
you know, endeavor for companies, and especially for a game like this. I do wish we got Unreal Tournament, which again, multiplayer. And I hope we get a Quake game, a Quake single player game with that like gothic feel that I want. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I hope so. That would be really cool. I have no healing, by the way, and I don't want to spend money on healing. So just gonna just gonna die a little bit. Quake is Bethesda, though. No, I know. I'm just talking about um in general. This game gives me a little bit of hope, and I'm really enjoying it. And I feel like this is a great game to remake. And they did a really good job with it. And it is just a single player game without like weird battle pass stuff. <laughs> Isaac, if you're near hydroponics, check your helmet filters. That air is not safe to breathe. Yeah, I smelled it. The whole deck's rotting. I'm reading a huge mass in food storage. Too big to be anything they grew. It looks like the source of the poison gas. That patient in medical. <clears throat> he said something about creating an enzyme, right? Maybe the scientists left the workstation open. Got real culty up here. Oh god, we got a skibbity! Uh, sorry, I don't- I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that's blood. Okay, wait, 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 I- I was... Almost positive. Yeah, I mean, no, there- no, that's not just blood. That's not just blood, that's fecal. Please remove skibbity from your brain. It's too late for me. It's stuck in there. Can you, chat? Can you forget about skibbity? Once you know of it, it- it feels like it's impossible to forget. Again, consider a plunger. Why do those sprinklers sound like, again, New York City subway mixed with a scream? It's just some screaming pumpkins, yeah. This is Dr. Elizabeth Cross. To all survivors, turn back. It's all gone. Everything we grew. My team. All dead. That monster. Please, leave. Get somewhere safe. If I can find a way to kill it somehow. Jacob, if you're hearing this, you know I have to try. That hologram tech is very Blade Runner 2049. Warning. Liquid nitrogen supply depleted. Did. Enzyme synthesis complete. Caution. Do not ingest. Oh man. Any luck? Yeah, I finished the enzyme. It's been modified to digest something big. They must have been trying to kill whatever's in food storage. Let's hope it works. Vinny, do you like cassette futurism style better or cyberpunk? No, 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 no. Go back. Cassette futurism. <laughs> uh, cyberpunk. You, you're Elizabeth Cross, right? This Leviathan. Is that what's poisoning the air? The air. It's a funny name. I don't really fully know what cassette futurism is, though. I've got some of that enzyme here. Oh my god. How? Listen, we need to inject it into the Leviathan. You can't get into food storage, but there's another way. It's risky. Riskier than running out of air? My team has been altered. They're all connected to the Leviathan, breathing out its toxins. That connection goes both ways. Okay, so if I get to your team and inject them... The enzyme will be carried right into the Leviathan's heart. Bind the... Weezers. Mm. And they're suffering. And when the Leviathan is weak enough... I feel... Just like Buddy Holly. What's your opinion on YouTube forcing people to remove their ad blockers or pay $14 for YouTube Premium? I don't know how they're going to enforce that. I don't know what's going on there. Um, no one would watch ads if they had the choice not to. I, I think it's just as simple as that. My answer is, I don't want fucking ads. Even though I make money off of ads, so I'm on both sides of the fence here, I also would feel really gross if people didn't have the option to block them, because I would want to block them. So I guess that's how I feel about that. Well, yeah, YouTube is kind of going through a little bit of something else at the moment, too. So this is this is probably not even that much of a controversy compared to the other um, interesting thing that they're doing. Premium is worth it for YouTube music. I mean, 
you know, whatever, whatever you have money for, because again, you have to have a million streaming services and now Netflix wants to be like $22 a year. So it's like, how many things could you pay for when the cost of living is already so high? So it's like there, people are getting to the point of, it was just too convenient. I know, I know the younger generations may be a little bit more afraid of piracy compared to when I was growing up. It was like, just sail the seven seas, motherfucker. At all times, people were going mental with the pirating. But I mean, maybe, maybe that's what's going to happen again. It's just going to get too goddamn expensive to have all these fucking streaming services and then also have to pay for YouTube. Um, pirating has never been easier considering things like Plex as a chat member i agree but yeah i think just scummy decisions like that are just gonna lead to um why would i do that people will find a way to watch the things they want to watch without having to uh spend thousands of dollars it's not thousands but i mean yeah it's just or it's gonna end up with um you know less streaming services and it's only gonna be like four or five big competitors or even less than that because there's so many like remember when there was a game launcher for every company that's still a thing, but it's becoming a little bit less of a thing. Now more and more things are coming to multiple services, which is the way it should be. Okay, how, how, how do we do this? We got, we got the line launcher. Line gun, rather. Really eating some shit here, and it's my own goddamn fault. Quite dead. Yes, med pack. Good. Oh, you can you fucking. Oh. Come on, go up. Go up. Liz Cross again. I never asked your name. Isaac Clark, systems engineer. Engineer. God, I am... I am doing very poorly. They recorded different voice takes based- that vary based on how much health Isaac has. That's a nice touch. It's the orphan of Koss. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. You know you want to die. Okay. Okay. I'm- I'm really, uh, really getting into this. Oh my god. Always some shitty baby. Damn piss babies. Fetus deletus. That's what needs to happen. If you carry a bunch of different weapons with you, you get ammo for all of them? Like, what if you only carry one weapon? Will you get ammo for that one weapon? If you want specific ammo, carry less weapons. I thought that was a thing. Okay. Where- where is- where is it? WHERE IS IT?! Weezer number three has been injected. I did this a little out of order, but it's what had to happen, I suppose. Okay, what fucked up nightmare creature is going to appear now? Dang old Porky's butthole. You know what lesson I've learned from this game? The subtext. Chat, it's here, the subtext. Don't forget to brush your teeth and floss before bed. 
I should follow that advice. Okay, I brush my teeth twice a day. I don't floss before bed enough. I need to do more of that. That, I, I usually do the one floss a day, and I don't do it before bed. Dental pick? I have a lot of dental picks. People know that Mike is the toothpick guy. I'm the dental pick guy. I don't always have one, but I do, I do have them um, in my car. I have them when necessary because it's, it's uh, I, the worst, one of the worst things, it's like one of my nitpicks, is having um, some weird substance between my teeth. Do not enjoy that. Vinny, it's okay. Chad is not, is not your dentist. You can be honest about your rot mouth. <laughs> I'm also a, a little obsessive about, like, breath mints as well. I can't really do gum anymore because, um, oh! Wrong button, wrong button, man. That's not the healing button. Oh my god. I can't do gum anymore. Because when I went to the ENT in regards to my tinnitus, they said that TMJ, which is the jaw thing that can make tinnitus worse, uh, gum usually makes it worse. So, I'm now, um, I, I try to avoid chewing gum as much as possible because I was chewing gum, like, pretty much constantly. Not constantly, not while I'm streaming or anything, but, you know, I'm, I'm like, very concerned, and so I would have gum. But, uh, now I just do breath mints. Do you clean your tongue? I do. That's a weird conversation to have. I don't know why we're having it. It's my fault, sorry. But yes, it's true. I do, I do that. I think, um, that's a once a day thing, sometimes twice. So instead, I'm very addicted to chewing gum. It helps calm me down. I can see that. Gravity well, okay. Probably don't want to step on that now. The throat goat made the scrope gloat. No, it's bloat. The scrope bloat. This is like Shakespearean dialogue. You should get it right. Security. This is Dr. Cross in hydroponics. Something just hit the hole near food storage. We think it's a rogue asteroid. I have people injured from decompression. We need medics and crowd control right away. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Everyone out of food storage. It's alive. How can it be alive? How can it slap? Is the better question. I mean, the force gun is kind of cool. It takes a little while to, uh, it takes three shots to get them, but I mean, it fucking dismembers them. Just, like, eradicates their limbs. I don't know how efficient it is. It takes, whoa, Jesus. All that flying meat. I mean, that's pretty neat. You still need another gun to really do much with it. It's a very, very specialty item kind of thing. You can pull them into a line gun laser. That's kind of neat. And flamethrower firewall. Oh, I guess you could do, yeah, combo, combo things. But how nice is it to just shoot three bullets at the same time and then go like this? Head empty. Oh, that's a good one. We just got 10,000 big ones. 10,000 big dicks. Big plumpy dicks. 10,000 of them. I'm just gonna start calling them plumpies. Because I don't want to be gross. Elizabeth, as requested, I've attached the latest test results for that organic growth we've observed on the ship. I know you're busy, but we really need to run a joint study with Dr. Howell. The substance is absolutely fascinating, given its affinity for dead tissue. At first, I thought it was some sort of fungus, but the cells most closely resemble bacteria with viral behavior. This organism infects other cells through osmosis, then mutates and reproduces agamogenically? Agamogenetically. Whatever. Uh, what's most incredible is the speed at which it grows. Of these bacterium reproduces, one of these bacterium reproduces 20-fold in just one minute. That's why we haven't been able to pinpoint any specific origin, I think. It just seemed to be in multiple points on the ship all at once. I've never seen anything like it. I won't stake my reputation on it, but I think this may be a genuine alien life form. Professor Hawley theorizes it's a habitat transformer. The levels of gaseous discharge are tremendous. 
which is why it smells so bad. But to what end? We simply don't know. What organisms might exist symbiotically with it? Are they out there? Could they be sentient, even? I'll keep you posted, Heinrich. These fans move so slowly, and they're kind of exposed. Like, I don't think this is safe. I know this is an old ship in this game's, like, universe, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's moving pretty slow, so it's not really filtering air all that much. And yeah, you don't, you don't want to be anywhere near that, even by accident. Maybe they moved faster when the ship was fully operational. Maybe. Suddenly, I'm an exploit. It doesn't really need to move fast, it just needs to help circulate the air. Yeah, but it's so slow. Come on, we can do better than that. Seems to me we're the expert, Mark! Not a good time. That sucks. Isaac, I looked up Cross's notes on the. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Kendra. It is him. Two you. Wait, who? He, he's gone. He waved at me and. Uh, sorry, Isaac. Keep going. A glitch on the camera. It looks like my little brother. Stupid, right? That's just. That's not possible. That's the event horizon angle. Kind of reminds me of, of that movie because they have the, the fucked up like hallucinations of things personal to them and it's just projected into their minds as it is hell oh, ah, oh. i don't want to spend too much in case there's a suit upgrade on the horizon but that may never happen no that that prob that will happen but who knows when i don't love that force gun or the foreskin all right chat i might end up might well let me clear out this room and then let me see where i'm where i'm at because i might uh go i've been streaming for a while like i said i've been putting in some extra hours because there's just so many games but um i know i'm gonna be live early tomorrow for mario I think it's dead. How early? Um, afternoon. You're close to the end of the chapter. Please keep going. So, so what is that? An hour? Half hour? Or less? What, what? How close is close? Twenty minutes. Yeah, they made some really uh, interesting sound effects for this game. Everything is extremely, extremely chunky. Like, they broke some real fucking bones for this music, I would, uh, for this game sound effects, I would imagine. Real bone breaks. It's okay, they got Jim over at accounting. He, he loves having his legs broken. They put a microphone in his leg, and then broke it. Did I get the thing? I got- no, I don't have the Security thing. Card required. 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 Well, it's either in here, or it's back up this elevator. Oh my god. Just the repair mission, they said. Not this. Not seeing my dead brother on the fucking camera. All this death. Imagine what the marker could do in the wrong hands. This is about CEC again. Just thinking, if some corporate asshole tries to take the marker, you and me could do something about it. You're leaning pretty hard on that if. Oh, come on. Where's Hammond? What's he doing? I don't know. If I don't focus, we'll run out of air before it matters. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh. Well, I'm glad we got to see that. He'll be okay. All right, Dead Space. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, where were we in Dead Space? Have you seen the $13,000 Final Fantasy VI model? I have, yeah. Of 
Terra on the mech, the Magitek. I'm not. I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't know if I have to say that out loud. It's cool, but I'm. I'm good. There's also a Samus figurine that looks pretty cool, but I don't really have room for figurines. I think they're a neat thing to look at, but ultimately I found myself feeling even maybe more empty after buying them than before buying them. So uh, I don't I don't think I need any figurines. It sounds like a personal problem. Chat doesn't want me to, this chat member wants me to consume. Uh, there's uh, the Skies of Arcadia figures do look cool though. Of course there's a part of me that actually wants to, you know, grab one of the Skies of Arcadia figures because they just look so cool. There's a, a Vice one and it's just rare that Skies of Arcadia gets anything. So there's a temptation for sure. You know, like Theros jumping on that shit day one. Someone just said, what the hell is a Thopter? Chat member, we've moved on from the Thopter. It's like a Thumpy. You know what a Thumpy is? Same thing. I remember now. Ah, so many random fucking things just lurking. Oh, you little bastard. Thumpy equals dumpy, says a chat member just now. Chat member, that conversation was three hours ago. Someone just said Internet Explorer in chat. That chat member is on a modem made of yarn and two paper cups. I never quite understood how that would work. And I tried it one time and I was very disappointed that I wasted my time. A rope and two tin cans. No, like, I did yarn and two paper cups. But does the, the string have to be taught that isn't the same? Well, no shit. The string has to be taught. Oh, okay. And it needs to be tin cans. Did Mythbusters ever cover this chat? Is there an episode I can watch? Otherwise, I'm going to want to recreate the experiment myself. I'm never going to do it. Oh! So they, that's what they call them. Thermodynamic purifiers, I see. Burn the impurities out of the air. That checks out. Oh, God. Hold all the regulators from the purifiers and crank them up as high as they go. Fucking crazy, but all I can do. It should burn off at least some of the gas, I think. Ah, fuck, I don't know. I have to try anything. Seeing Hidaka puke up her own lungs deleted. Can't. It can't be me. Oh, God, help us. Chat, what if you were dead space? What would you do in this situation? Die horribly, shit and piss, die, currently am dead space. But you know, there is something that a lot of streamers are afraid of. You know what that is? Dead air. I try to, uh, sometimes, you know, not have to say everything. Every second. You know, like, I'm playing a video game. It's okay, I'm not, like... This isn't just the radio where someone's driving and if there's dead air you think the radio channel is broken and you switch the channel I and mean, i'm sure that could happen with streaming too but this is also a visual medium so there are times where i know i talk too much and I'm, I'm very well aware of it but i also you know sometimes i have a lot to say and sometimes the chat gives me interesting things to talk about like piss uh but there are other times where i try to allow the game to just be played and not be afraid of a little dead air Vinny, every time you stop talking i think it's my yarn cups have broke. Oh. This game does undulating meat better than most games I've ever played. Oh yeah, no, no, Scorn does the best. Scorn does the best. Did you know that the original name of John Wick was Scorn? But Keanu apparently kept call- I just read this today on some spurious website. But apparently, um, Keanu kept calling the movie, I'm in a movie called John Wick, and I have a tremendous cock. And so they just called the movie John Wick. I kind of think John Wick works a lot better because it's, uh, because it's more- I don't know, it's just a little bit more interesting. Scorn sounds, like, really generic for an action movie. John Wick kind of stayed in my head when I first heard it. I'm like, wait, why is it just John Wick? What does that mean? And I ended up seeing the first- I never saw more than John Wick 1. I want to watch John Wick 2 and John Wick 3 at some point. And 4. I thought someone said that there's a John Wick cartoon. 
And in my head, I thought it was the same art style as Clerks. Remember the Clerks cartoon? Or like the Spaceballs cartoon? Ugh. Ugh. For the record, I've never actually seen the Clerks cartoon past like one episode. Yeah, I don't know, chat. Um, I hear another one of these fucking things. I, I just don't know where it is. And, and the game and the, like, the fucking magic button isn't helping. And, uh, the map isn't helping either, really. Follow the meat? I mean, you might be joking, you might not be, I can't tell, but, uh, I don't really know what else to do, so... Oh, in here! In here! Okay, this opened. This opened. It's confusing because they painted the whole level yellow. Exactly. How am I gonna know exactly where to go unless there are only some things that are yellow? Vinny, by the way, what chapters of the Bible do you intend to read with my mom this weekend? Oh, the Scorn chapter. Cool. Book of Scorn. Porn Scorn Industries. Oh, that's where this fucker was. The only piece they know is Skull Crush. Cross. Something's up. It must have worked. You gave it enough enzyme to dissolve a freighter. Okay, I'm unlocking food storage. Quickly get back there and space the bastard while we have the chance. Vinny, what will you be dressing as for Halloween? Um, I already went to a Halloween party and... So there, my friend um, had an early one and I had no costume because I'm uncreative and lazy and I was also busy with a wedding so I didn't really think about Halloween so I just wore all black and put on an alien mask and I brought Norts that was my my costume was me bringing Norts it worked it's a costume I mean I could go as VLC media player again but I decided that uh you know that that one was overdone that was uh, I did that one already um the problem is the alien mask was like actually impossible to breathe in and to hear people and then for people to hear me when speaking so the alien mask let's say was worn 0.3% of the party i would say at most 0.5% 0.5% so yeah it really wasn't much of a costume a friend of mine went as um the government owes you more money guy with the question marks on his suit. Remember that guy? The government owes you money! Matthew Lesko, I believe was his name. What about Leon Kennedy? Oh man, I, you know, I forgot I had the Leon jacket. I did use that last year for one, but I do have, I, for those that don't know, I do have the Leon Kennedy jacket. It wasn't the super expensive one. It's pretty good though. Honestly, it's a nice jacket. No Rem Lazar costume. No, I, uh, I wouldn't want to have to wear a dance belt. That's a pretty high effort costume from, you know, well, not that high effort. I mean, you could probably come up with that pretty easily if you just spend... If you have, like, an iota of creativity and patience, you could make Rem Lazar pretty easily. At the Rem Lazar movie premiere, there was a chat member there who was wearing a Rem Lazar costume, and it was very good. Can you expand on what a dance belt is? Okay, watch my interview with Jack Mulcahy, who is the Rem Lazar actor, and he explained it to me. Ah, uh, fuck. But if you want, I mean, you could just Google dance belt, you'll probably get the answer. Do you want me to? It's a, it's a belt that, uh, uh, oh boy. Ask your, ask your parents. And if not, if you don't have parents available to ask, ask your local pastor. Any community steward and or priest would be the perfect person to ask. Listen, all you have to do is go down to your local sex club. Don't oh, fucking litter. Man, what an intro. Oh, that fucking sucked. I 
think I wasted all my explosive barrels, so that's cool. Needed that shit behind me. Come on, that can cut through the meters. Oh, I should have waited. I love the lighting here. This is this is like really really good shit. Ooh, okay. Trying. Press the wrong button. Dude, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, man. I, I pressed a lot of wrong buttons, like in a row, like a lot in a row, like, man. Someone said, that was close, you almost ran out of air. Well, I consider that a draw. Because technically I won by not running out of air. Man, I was close though. I, I think, I really, it was just one more hit that was needed, right? Expel your smelly smells. Come on, do it. Do it. Like the bathroom at a fish concert. Ooh! Sorry, the porta potty at a fish concert. See, the problem is I wasn't shooting these enough. Because, oh God! Oh my god, it, it didn't look like, to me, it was- it was hitting. I just thought it was hitting the other bulbuses. Well... Yeah, I mean, it is. It's doing that, too. But you can also- there's a little bit of clearance room. There's a little clearance. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Really cool boss fight. I didn't even mind doing it twice because it was just so fucking cool to look at. Someone said, okay, but who's gonna clean this shit up at the end? Uh, Viscera cleanup crew? DLC? With Viscera? Jacob, my Jacob, last I heard he was on the mining deck with some other survivors. He said they were building an SOS beacon. Did they finish it? He said it was nearly done, but I haven't heard from him in a while. I can't leave yet. I need to make sure the air is safe to breathe, but if you can find that SOS beacon, call for rescue. I will. Mining deck. Okay, got it. And if I meet Jacob? Tell him. I'll find him. He's all I want to see. Isaac. Jacob. I just wonder where my, my buddy Ezekiel is hanging out. Probably at the bar with Cain and Abel. A couple names that you don't see a whole lot anymore, like Judas. You don't see Judas a whole lot. I mean, you see it Judas Priest, you see it. But yeah, not a lot of people are named Judas. Someone said, wonder why. Hmm. I got a good one. Adolf. Judas. Satan. Caillou. <laughs> now that, well, I like that guy. I like that guy. Ju <laughs> Corbin? Like, J oh, Corden. You mean like James Corden? For a second, I was like, is this guy referencing Corbin Dallas from the Fifth Element? Like, what, what's wrong with him? I can do a really good Fifth Element impression. Chat, do you want to hear my Fifth Element impression? I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Hang on. Corbin. Corbin, my man. Corbin. Corbin. Corbin, my man. Corbin, my man. Corbin, my man. Corbin. 
high effort memes. I mean, that is on the same level as Germa Dollhouse, at least. It's probably somewhere in the vicinity. That just straight up be like a skeleton with meat bones. All right. Oh, there's still some meat on the ribs, at least. Is the vicinity in the room with us? Who's the vicinity? Is that my wrestler name? That could be a good wrestler name because it's like, when you least expect me, I'm near you in the ring. Like, like you don't see me. And I can come out to the song. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait a minute. He's in your Anyone vicinity. Be exactly. Like before I suplex you, I'm like. Anyone there? Hammond? Where are you? In the vent. Hopefully they don't hear me. Yeah, I'm like, I'm in your vicinity. So that was worth waiting for. That was real good. Do you think ghosts exist in this setting? Do you think the ship is haunted? No, I don't believe in fucking ghosts. What, are you crazy? Yeah, alien ghosts are real. But ghosts? No, I don't fucking believe in that shit. Also, alien ghosts are time travelers. And reincarnation can happen in the future. So you have future past lives. But ghosts? You gotta be some kind of dope. You gotta be on dope if you think those are real. You know what I don't think is real? Eels. Have you ever seen an eel not on your plate? Yeah, neither have I. Wow, all these chat members, everyone is saying that they've seen eels. Big eel is paying them. The, uh, the eel from Mario 64 is paying the chat to say that they're real. Vinny, please tell me you haven't talked about Skibbity today. I haven't, but congratulations. You just brought on a 10 minute Skibbity diatribe. What's the craziest thing you've been bit stung by? Smooth criminal. Probably. Then you look at your corruption stockpile 55 thumbnail. It's solid snake coming out of the toilet. I know. Ah! Of course they're dropping in from above. Every game needs an elevator sequence where enemies drop in from above. God, the fucking ripper is so good. Beware traps ahead. Humans stay out. You can actually destroy those. Chat, did you see that the Callisto protocol is like five bucks right now? Still too much. Are you gonna buy it? I streamed it. Or not streamed, I did a pre-record. A couple. I got this fucking massive press kit from the Callisto people. I- I've never expressed interest in that game. And they reached out to me. Here, I'll take care of this for you. I gotcha, I gotcha. But, uh, yeah, I got a- I got a big crate that I used to store things in now, which is nice. But, um... I didn't think the game was was terrible. There were cool things in it, and it looked nice. There was some stuff in it that was... Uh, there, there were things that could have been good, um, but it just didn't pan out. But now it's $5, and it came out this year. That, I, I don't think I've ever seen that quite like that on that level. I almost kind of feel bad, because there are developers that put a lot of work into it. As misguided as the game was, there was some genuinely good work put into it. I mean, not enough for me to want to finish it, but... The graphics and mocap were gorgeous, yeah. And some of the sound was good. I mean, the gameplay was was pretty bad. It's boring. It's boring. But it was... I, I, we've talked about this recently. This isn't the first time I've talked about Callisto during the Dead Space remake. But um, the comparison is impossible not to make sometimes because the person that made it literally made the original Dead Space. So that's how they marketed it, too. They did market it as such. Lingen is out of action, her medications run out, rest of the supplies are holding so far. Wired external access, all uh, accesses, all the mining bays are online now. Lingen unconscious, nothing we can do. Tree 3, they broke through the floor vents, one of those fry flying fucks. Went right for Lingen's body, then we were fighting six instead of five. Cut them up and then shipped them all the way down to the smelters for quick cremation, can't take any risks. Survey charge went off too soon, lost Schlegel. Fike and Zittel. Never seen the inside of a head before. Took them to the smelter to be cremated, then supply inventory. Can't sleep. 
too dangerous here. Took some gear to hole up somewhere safer. McSweeney followed me, yelling about being selfish. Me? He was the one leading those things right to me. Update. Fixed McSweeney. Visited Smelter. Can't sleep. Entry 6. Can't sleep. Cold. Can hear the others yelling. They're going to get me killed. Update. Lingen's right. I need peace and quiet. And the Smelters need fuel. Ooh. That was pretty eerie. Certainly worse ways to die on the Ishimura than incineration. Yep. Oh, that's another good wrestling name for me. The Vincinerator. Why is chat repeating me saying Vincinerator? Vinteresting choice. Thanks. Vinny, you're the only real person here. We're all AI. There actually... There was a game that did that. Where it's like you're in some server and the chat room is all just like AI or something. I forget the name of that one. Planet Crack of Aegis 7 was conducted today. Everything went smoothly from our end. There seem to have been problems planet side, and we've temporarily lost contact with the colony. But tethers are stable, torque well within acceptable parameters. First rock ball was extracted from the tectonic load approximately one hour after planet crack. It has been processed, refined, and smelted for sampling. Results exceeded even optimistic initial estimates. Normal recovery is around 35% mineral, 5% fossil, 60% waste, but material from the first ball was 65% mineral and 0% fossil in line with expectations that 6.5 tons of ore from a 10-ton ball. Full production is now in progress. Focusing on EQL5, assuming it is not an anomaly, we've hit a mother load. Congratulations, everyone. You get a raise. Except you still have to work on this shitty mining ship for the rest of your life. Sorry. Um, Finally getting somewhere with the mining are you? systems. Got the SOS beacon? No, and the launch tubes are sealed. Are, I need a deck administrator for are, to get them open. Are you moving? The deck admin is... You're I've a teacher? I feel like Dead Space could make for a good TV show. We got a Fallout TV show. I think it's in, in April. It'll be launching. Uh, for those that don't know, I visited the set of the Fallout TV show. Uh, what I mean to say is they filmed on Staten Island and I looked at it from afar when they weren't filming. So, you know, same thing. I, I met the director, basically, you know, that same thing as meeting the director and being a part of the show. In fact, I was in it. You know, the air I breathed was probably somewhere floating around there, so... I mean, the set looked good. It was like Super Value Mart or whatever the fuck the name of it is. I always get that wrong, but... No, I wasn't. I was not, in fact, in it, and I did not, in fact, meet the director. So just please, nope, this is a joke. Nope, this is a joke. So that's happening. And, uh, I feel like Dead Space could make for a good limited horror series of some kind. They just probably have to rename it. Call it, like, Alien or something. Oh, there's an animated movie. A uh, bit of a tangent, but also, there's apparently a new Alien movie. And Ridley Scott said it's fucking amazing. Now listen, Ridley Scott is producing the movie. He's a, he's a producer on the film. He didn't direct it. It's not like him saying the movie is good is, like, a vested interest and his money is at stake here. No, 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 no. I kind of feel like after Alien Covenant, keeping quiet about the movie and just hoping that whoever this director is did a good job is probably the smartest move. Like, don't hype it up. Just get close to release. The movie releases. If it's good, it speaks for itself. If it's bad, we'll get him next time, champ. I just don't know what else you can do with Alien. Like, the most in exciting thing that happened to that film was Alien 2, which was a, like a completely, almost a completely different genre. It's Jacob. Um, Aliens in Vegas? Cheap. Perfect. If you find this, I'm off deck, but I'll be right back. I got a call from another survivor. He sounded terrified. I'm gonna lock up the SOS beacon and go and get him. Best launch window is not for a while anyway, and he sounds like he's worth the risk. He's a doctor. Uh, Mercer, I think. No, not him. About time. We got a fucking break. I love you. Please. Here. Raising aliens and wielding them as weapons with laser pointers on guns. That reminds me, I sure hope that for this alien movie, the government tries to use- the space government, sorry, or a corporation like Wayleen Yutani tries to use them as weapons, while simultaneously using nukes as weapons. Well, again, bio-weapons. They can leave stuff, you know, we- this is a topic that has been discussed. I get the idea that with a nuke, you're destroying all the stuff there, 
and the resources and the buildings, but with an alien, you could just have it go through uh, an entire population, and then congratulations, that planet is fucked. Why would you ever want to return to the planet? They're going to reproduce. There will be millions of aliens on the planet when you get back. Your planet is fucked. Congratulations. You have created an ecological disaster by trying to avoid an ecological disaster. Yes, millions. Of course it would be millions, because if the aliens have face huggers and there's millions of people on the planet, the, you know, they would just, I mean, it's a little nebulous, but I think that the face huggers would just create new ones within the people. And then there would also be eggs and stuff. I mean, you saw, in Aliens, and, and that game I played that's based on Aliens, it's like this game. Like, when the aliens take over a section, there's like a whole, like, um, weird chit- chit- What is it called? Like, chit- this Titan? Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. At some point, someone taught me how to say that word, and I forgot. So, and this place, like, uh, in this game, it's meat. In Alien, it's, it's a uh, strange, bony, leathery, meat- meatish substance. So what I'm saying is you have to then clean up the aliens when you're done, which the cleanup crew has to be stronger than the aliens. <laughs> and then remove all that crap from the planet. So yeah, then you're just using a nuke again. No, wait a minute. We've done scientific research on these aliens and we've created an Omega alien. We'll send that in to kill off, kill off the rest of the aliens. Yeah, now it's just Metroid. What do you do with the Omega alien? Uh, you nuke it. There was a text message on the wall somewhere and I, I ran by it because I was busy talking nonsense. There it is. Donald's here. Security to the mining deck now. Dr. Kimes lost it. Get back! I know how to use this. Uh, uh, he, uh, he'll live for uh, the rest of his life if you give me codes to the cargo bay. This is processing. Why the hell would we have codes for cargo? I must get to the marker. We're running out of time. Give me those codes. Christ, is this what you did to the captain? No, no. Ben was an accident. Don't you dare compare me to someone like Mercer. I'm trying to save you. The markers are only home. No, let him go. He's armed. Where the fuck is security? Someone in chat said, I can't believe the Federation in Metroid used the X-Parasites as weapons. They're worse than Xenomorphs. I mean, it's, you know, good for a video game plot. But those tropes do come from somewhere. So, I almost feel like there is some... some believability. It's like, oh yeah, the whole weaponizing thing. To me, the worst one, though, was the Jurassic World one. <laughs> They wanted to weaponize the raptors. <laughs> Vincent D'Onofrio shows up. He's like, that's a mighty fine raptor you've got there, Chris Pratt. I think we can use it to kill people. Chris Pratt's like, these are my animals. Yeah, but they could be killing. The administrator's rig should be in the processing control room, but someone tripped the failsafe. The control room door can't open until gravity is restored, but the system won't reset the gravity while there's loose to break. At least the processing beam's still running. Stand by. <laughs> Oh, you son of a bitch. Whoa, okay. Uh. Oh, that I got mesmerized by that fucking thing. That was the UI for landing in that spot. Hypnotized by graphic elements into his fucking eyes and get mesmerized. Wow, they really let the freaks out. What was that noise? That sounded like a noise I would make. It went... Oh. That was Roger from American Dad. Chat, I thought Roger from American Dad was voiced by John Mulaney for years. Supervisor Dallas. Final log. Now, I've made sure they can't leave this subject. But neither can I. Clearance confirmed. See what they do to the bodies. What they become. And I cannot 
let that happen to me. At least if I don't have any limbs, <laughs> and I can't kill anyone when I'm infected. Please, tell Dawn and the kids that I love them. But have you considered perfectly good hit of death? Okay. Someone just said he might still be okay. Let me check with my foot. No, really, this guy, he could have went like this. Could have went like this. Jumped in the no gravity. Right in this perfectly good bright death beam. I mean, it wouldn't make for as good of an audio log. And we already got a death beam death, so I get it. I, I understand it. You know, from a video game perspective, but let's pretend we're in universe for a minute. No, we were just kidding. Someone said seriously working on the spaceship would be absolute hell. It looks like dog shit. You don't like the razor walls? Where if you accidentally trip, you you end up getting sliced up by razor walls. I mean, this makes me yearn for the fucking carpets of the Enterprise D. Make fun of the carpets and the beige wall all you want, but there's something comfortable about it. This this shit is just this is just this is like there's one comfort. There's a couple chairs that look comfortable, and there's this little alligator here with a leather jacket. That's it. That's all you get. Everything else here is an OSHA violation. Someone was saying that these razor walls are potentially heat sinks. Cover them! Cover them! I guess the the only good thing is, if you are Isaac, you're wearing a suit that will probably counteract the razor walls. Someone said, I'm not Isaac, though. And there are a lot of people on this ship that are also not Isaac, that don't have access to a metal suit. So yeah, this place would really suck to work. It's like, if there was a utopian society, no one would want to work on this ship. Unless you're insane. In which case, I guess there probably are some insane people. You know what? No, there would be people that would want to work on the ship. All you have to do is make it seem enticing and say a world of adventure awaits. Join the Ishimura, where we find the craziest shit. And we're gonna mine for some hey, sick rocks. Bro, the rocks are gonna be sick. We're gonna crack planets and we're gonna go across the galaxy. On the Ishimura, motherfucker. Look at these razor walls. How dope is that? There would be volunteers, even if there was a future like Star Trek with no currency. A new life awaits off-world. You get your own Isaac suit. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I, I just feel like there would be people who would be more about this life than just sitting around, like, in the infinite J.O. chamber. Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. Space ghost is real, though. What was it saying? Oh, the infinite J.O. chamber. Well, you have to imagine in a future this advanced, there's probably some very interesting relaxation rooms. And I would imagine there are people who would probably get kind of bored of the infinite J.O. chamber. The problem is this. With a lot of the speculative sci-fi stuff, we tend to insert humanity as it is now into the future. And one of the reasons I love Star Trek so much and yes, you're gonna hear me- that's right, Jay, you're gonna hear me talk about Star Trek again, but specifically TNG. 
and uh, DS9 and, and, and Voyager to an extent. Um, well, it's all the same future. It's all the same future. But, you know, they don't speak... Like, when you watch those shows, they, they don't speak like humans do now because... Oh, God. They're very, um... They're just, like, competent people. They're very competent at their jobs. And they have infinite J.O. chambers. They solved that years ago. They don't even have currency. If you serve aboard the Enterprise, that means that you are competent. You are interested in exploring the galaxy. You're not doing so because you have to be there. And, um, you know, unless you're Riker, you've evolved past the infinite J.O. chamber. And you moved on to chocolate, like Troy. And, uh, I just like that the world of Star Trek is a little bit more... Like, especially TNG, like I said. You know, they don't really have, like, petty squabbles with each other all that much. They kind of move past a lot of that shit. It's, it's a comfortable, like, aside from the beige and the carpets, it's a comfortable show to watch. It's a comfortable world to want to be a part of. You know, aside from the fact that every other week they're in some kind of, you know, threatening situation and there's families aboard the ship. We don't talk about that. You mean it's not a dystopian future unlike 90% of sci-fi series? And I like dystopian. Blade Runner is my favorite movie, as you know, and I, I'm, I'm good with dystopia. Trying to listen to my log, goddammit. It's your fault, Isaac. That is fucked. Vinny, can you tell me about Deanna Troy's mother? The uh, horny old lady. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I don't really have much more to say other than... I feel like there are people that would want to be aboard the Ishimura. Just, like, Nicole there. And, uh, I, you know. And even do so not for any specifically amazing pay, but just because this is an interesting job for them. Um, it's fucking weird, but... Just think there are people back on Earth playing like future video games and they are also in the infinite J.O. chamber, but life gets boring. You know, you need a little danger, you need a little excitement. Everyone's famous back on Earth because social media has made it so that everyone is always famous by this point in the future, you know? Oh, you don't even choose to be famous, you just are. It's a, a mandate from the, uh, the government. Government issued clout, yep. TwitchCon is 8 billion people. Well, that's, see, that's current amount of people, but... Yeah, it's just eight billion, <laughs> just eight billion people walking around in a pyramid in Las Vegas. They built a bigger pyramid by then, chat. Like, the pyramid reaches the clouds. And they all have COVID. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. At TwitchCon, in the year of this game, everyone has super COVID all of the time. In fact, it's not just COVID, it's everything. You know how, like, when you catch a cold, you're unlucky? Well, in this future, if you catch a not cold, you're lucky for like two or three days out of the year. It's a really cool future. I'd recommend it. And that's why people serve aboard the Ishimura. <laughs> because they make home life so fucking weird and terrible that people are like, oh God, put me on the mining ship. There's knives in the hallways. Great. Future TikTok just like records you at random intervals. There's like little drones flo floating around your house and in public areas and private areas at all times. Taking like candid, you know, TikTok moments of your life. Oh, hey. Yeah? What's up? Oh my god. I can't believe you're here. I thought I'd never see you again. I'm gonna get us home. There's an SOS beacon nearby. We can call for help. The beacon, right. They locked it in the workshop, but my clearance can get us in this way. Someone said, isn't this endgame? Um... Yo, no, not really. I know. We'll have I guess time, not. I promise. Let's get you that beacon. Everyone's counting on us. 
I gotta go though. Chat, it's late. So it's next save point. I mean, it's over. I would say it's over halfway by a little bit. If my memories of the uh, first game suffice, which they sometimes do not. Maintenance ducks. Yo, they got ducks working on this ship too. You see any more? Hide. Okay. Trust my heart. I love you, Isaac. You can do this. You'll put things back to where you again. What'd you say? What do you what, what do you want me to do? Make make you whole again. Nah, that sounds. No, I that's I think she means our relationship. Like us to get, you know, they say like you're ha two halves of a whole, like a straw. I think that's what she's referring to. It's probably chill. Oh, someone said, is it supposed to sound unsettling or is it shit voice acting? <laughs> uh, well, just, I, I just would say keep watching, you know, just, just enjoy the stream if you can. Isaac, I lost your rib signal, like Hammond. I'm good. I got the SOS speaker. Nicole helped me out. N Nicole's there. We got separated. She'll find her way back. She's a trooper, huh? I'm heading back to the mining control room. I'll launch the beacon. You watch out for Nicole. Assuming the system doesn't take a lot of it. Stay sharp. It's hoping for a nearby save point, but looks like we have a little time. They changed this a little bit. Used to just have to ride the gondola back. Meat Foley. Oh, so anyway, infinite J.O. chambers. But you can't, you can't just have infinite J.O. Because you can't, you gotta have a little sweet and sour. You know, because one without the other is, well, it's just, what is, what is that? that that's a single-celled organism. And we're multi-dimensional organisms that are going to have multi-dimensional orgasms in the J.O. chamber. That's what we want. How about this, chat? Here's the perfect happy medium. You work on the Ishimura in the knife chambers with the cold, disgusting meat steel. It smells like rust and like dried semen everywhere. But you also get one hour a week in the infinite J.O. chamber. In fact, that technology has not even been made available anywhere other than the Ishimura. The pay is shit, but you get an hour a week. Uh -huh, I don't know, maybe. I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a stream. Yo, what the f- You want penis enlargement pills? All right, chat, we're back in dead space. Now, it's not like we just spent a bunch of time in a scummy space station. I hope you like meaty, scummy space stations as much as I do, because today we are just a full stream of it. Uh, for those that don't know, if you're just joining or if you're watching on Full Sauce, I played a game called Cosmo Dread, which is a VR, like, survival horror dead space. God, it's weird going from VR to, like, a screen. I'm not as immersed. I have to, like, force the immersion again. Vinny, are you trying to shotgun a bunch of spoop games before the end of... before Halloween? So, incorrect use of the word, uh, which is, you've learned that from me, because I use it incorrectly, so... Well, no, you know what? When you shotgun a beer, chat, that's... I use that word, like, as if it was to shotgun a beer. Oh, anyway, yeah, I'm just trying to do my spooky stuff, um, and maybe try to finish this game, uh, before the end of Halloween, and I want to mentally pre prepare for WarioWare, Mario RPG, and, uh, the return of Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty once this is, you know, once this is finished. Uh... Why, why did you not shoot correctly? Oh my god. Ah! 
That was the best Ripper Blade I've ever seen in the game, ever. Vinny, are you gonna s s play Five Night the Freddy uh, movie? Uh, I don't have any real interest in Five Night the Freddy, but I saw Jack Skeptic Eye say that he didn't really like the film all that much. And, uh, listen, was anyone expecting the Frederick movie to be, like, award-winning? And I'm not saying Jack Septic Eye is the, uh, the preeminent authority of what is good, but, you know, there's a part of me that's like, I saw the trailer, I said, wow. Someone said, shit up, leave Freddy alone. Well, Freddy didn't make his own movie. You know, Freddy can come out of this unscathed, and we can all blame the director. They made it PG-13, that's the issue. Oh, man. Well, a lot of, uh, that's been happening. I've never really played, um, FNAF. I played it when I thought it was called Friday Night Pizza, but I thought that PG-13 was the target range of, of that particular franchise. I guess I was wrong. Um, here's the thing though, chat, here's the thing. This has been a movie problem forever. You played two and VR. I probably played like a combined total of three hours of Friday Night Freddy, like, and that's it. It's not enough to want to see the movie or know what's going on in the lore, because that's the other thing too. I know there's so much lore that people get really into, and I read that the movie doesn't have that. So I'm, you know, I'm not really, I don't think I'm the target audience for that film, but um, it does piss me off genuinely when they turn a film PG-13 to try to get a wider audience and they end up like ruining the point of the franchise or the, the, the story or whatever. It's happened over and over and over and over again for years and it has actually ruined a lot of really great potential movies. So yeah, that's not just a Freddy problem. That's unfortunately just a Hollywood problem. Numbers guy who sabotages the numbers. That's true. But yeah, PG-13 was actually invented for Indiana Jones Temple of Doom and I was watching some of that again recently just because it was on and you know what I can see why they invent oh why they invented um, a new thing for that because that movie's got some pretty pretty nasty moments it's not just scary it's also a little bit fucked up Vinny have you considered toning down the maturity of your content to reach a wider audience and rake in the more sweet ad money I don't think as a New Yorker I can stop saying fuck I, I really don't think I can do that can't do it. What was that? The miners must have booby trapped the launch tubes too. They're scrap. Well, that's great. We can't just toss the beacon out a window. The asteroid. The one in the mining bay for smelting. If I attach the SOS beacon to that asteroid and then launch it away from the ship, we'd get a clean broadcast. And you'd get yourself killed. The machinery in there is still running, Isaac. Then it probably kept those things out, too. This is our best shot, Kendra. I'm taking it. Destroy the gravity tethers, okay. Um, true story, though. My first, like, big viral video, which is probably... It's like, what, a three or four minute Mario 64 corruption video. That does not have a single fuck in it. Chat, why did you give us a goatsy flower? Or Vinny, why did you- I didn't make it! Why are you fisting the Mario flower? Someone said, I thought your Mario Krat video was more viral. I'm not really sure. I, I remember it as such. I remember Mario 64 Corruptions being the first, like, big one. And that was a very short video. It was a different time on YouTube 11 years ago, of course. But yeah, that didn't have any fucks in it. And it was incidental, too. I didn't have to cut any fucks out. All the best moments didn't have fuck in them. I remember that. Just a little piece of information. Someone said, I think the appeal of Vinny is that he's an adult boy. Like Pee Wee Herman? Wow, that enemy just pulped himself. I'm- I'm Pee Wee Sperman. <laughs> wow! This is crap. It's not cool. It's not base. It's cringe. Elf plus ratio plus no maidens. Cringe bit based tastes. What- chat member, are you- What are you talking about? <laughs> what- what is the- Or the base take- what, what's the take? Oh, that crack is not uh, cool and it's cringe. Oh, I I, I agree with that. What? <laughs> Vinny, please say cringe contrarian cope in a Pee Wee voice. Cringe contrarian cope. I, that's not even Pee Wee anymore. I don't know who the fuck that was, but. One shot with the line gun. Put that guy down. One shot. Vinny, you should do the Harris side quest as soon as you can. Uh, the problem is I don't know when the side quests become available usually, but which one- which one's the Harris one? Apparently you can only get the master level clearance through a side quest. Oh, okay. Well, at the moment, I don't know what that chat member's talking about, but we'll, uh, we'll- we'll do this first and then I'll- I'll take a look. 
So chat, I, I've decided I'm gonna pivot into drama um, as my main like source of commerce. Did you hear what, um, oh man, what's that YouTuber's name? Splingen? Did you hear what Splingen486 did? Crazy. Yeah, he totally changed. He, he used to be so chill and then he became a drama man. <laughs> what, a, what a shame. Vinny, talk about infinite J.O. chambers again. No, I wouldn't want the conversation to get too interesting. Remember, I'm here to talk about Splingen487 and his crimes against uh, humanity and all that. Oh, right, right. That's how you do it. Right. Someone just said Splingen took a shit on my dog. I really, that guy used to just take shit shits on on uh, squirrels. And that's that's why we don't like him anymore. A little busy here right now, so... Uh, destroy Tether 1. Oh, I see them. I see them now. Oh my god. Caution. Gravity tether disengaged. <laughs> Why though? I mean, I know that the fucking the rock has um I see it. There's spiky things. I see the spiky things that are turning. Like, you have to kind of avoid them. But it didn't look like they hit me. It's rather, uh... Rather interesting. Caution. How are you even out here? What a fucking tremendous waste of ammo this one enemy has been. Destroy exterior tether number two. Oh, I didn't know there was a tether number two. Oh, very close to having died just then. Like, that was moments away from disaster. Warning. Payload 8772 is no longer tethered. Okay, chat, that time, that was 100% bullshit. I don't even understand what happened there. Like, I haven't had very many glitch issues with this game. And then out of nowhere, that shit happens. Untrained personnel must survive Yeah, well, that worked out all right. It's working. The beacon's online, broadcasting wideband. I'll align the receiver. This will take a minute. Head on back to the tram station. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Quarantine ship with that hunter there. The system can't lift the lockdown. Override the beetle door release. I'll try. Damn it! The explosion's right half the circuit. Almost there. Hold it off. Oh my god. I got it. Get the manual release. Manual release. ready. Where is it? Where is it? Wow, nice horror hallway you got here, game. You still- still? Oh my god. Vinny, Resident Evil 4 Remake is currently on sale. Do you recommend it? I- I recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. Vinny, you're the cool older cousin many of us never had. It's cool. You gotta come to my club. Club sauce.
Bad time to do a side quest. Really, I have to listen to this while the monster's in here. Really fucking cool! I, I can't. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was absolute buffoonery. Oh, buffoonery. Security request retrieved. Security, we got some freak called Harris stealing from ore storage. Dr. Mercer sent me for Osmium to complete his work. Yeah, I don't care if God Almighty sent me. You skim from CEC's profit margin, we get screwed. So you can put Osmium down, or I can break your arms first. I worked with people like you on Aegis 7. They steal my power nodes. Leave me to dick with no light. Hey, hey! Get off me! But when they abandon you in the dark, it's not empty. The marker whispered its revelations there. Now I understand them. Do you want to hear? Warning. Untrained personnel may not use suit kiosk. No, wait, no, stop, please! I said please when they shut me in. Screamed it too. I promise I won't laugh like they did. Warning. Suit kiosk is obstructed. Serious injury may occur. Oh, God! You help me! Oh, no. Oh! Enjoy that. Okay, so that's one part of it. Um, then find report on the bridge. You can see the broken shop where he got pulped. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ow. I hope it's this way. Away. I'm aligning the. Wait. The ray receiver not responding. Oh shit. The comms ray. Right. We never fixed it. Guess it wasn't a broken encoder. Then let's hope that 48 hours estimate was wrong too. No comms, no rescue. <sighs> Take the tram to the bridge. I'll hack open the door to communications. You see what's happening with the array. And don't worry about Nicole. Like Kevin said. Do the thing. Chad, all I have to say is, love that sound! Has anyone done love that sound and then the gnome fart? Hmm. Wow, I just typed love that sound Mario, and this is the first recommendation I got. How do I unmute it? Oh. Finish! I don't think I did that right. <laughs> it's me! It. And it's not one that I posted. It's someone else named L. Who, who this guy L? Why he post my music and my stuff? It's not my music. It's just, yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking for love that sound, but no, it's just, all right, never mind. Did he at least give credit? I didn't see it, but I don't really care. It's fine. That clip, any of the choices voice stuff has gone so far beyond me. Um, some of it we have posted and a lot of it was just posted and it always like seriously, almost every single time it's posted, it gets millions. <laughs> it gets millions of views. Why that? Like, it's just bizarre to me. Flow. I'm just gonna put it back so it doesn't look weird. There we go. It's the funny algorithm. But yeah, that flower emote is, uh, I just keep thinking. Someone said it's better to come in the sink than to sink in the cum, and then they posted the flower emote. Very appropriate flower posting. Chad, have you ever put mint in your orange juice? What about olives? Have you ever had pick pickled orange juice? Oh shit. It's a New Jersey thing. Yeah, it is, it is. We did it. Hep, Isaac, 
A ship just shocked in. The USM Valor. They must have heard our SOS. That fast? What's a military ship doing way out here? Out on patrol? Whatever, right now I take a rescue from a fucking magpie. Head for communications. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. A magpie's not big enough to rescue you. Silly. Find report on bridge. It looks like I'm heading the right way, right? Vinny, have you ever been swooped by a bird? No, I, I have had a bird fly into my um my passenger side my, my driver's side window while it was closed. So it just went thump. It ate shit and then flew away. Come on, shoot through and hit that. Oh, God damn it. Someone said use your teleport grenade. Be nice. That's gonna leave a mark. Log retrieved. Log retrieved. That's that's what I hear when uh in my head when you know when uh when I reach into a toilet with my hand. <laughs> ah. Yeah, suplex. Do a suplex. Someone just said, first stasis use in the game after 19 hours. It, it is objectively a fact I have not used stasis ever. Another one. I'm getting weird feedback spikes on local comms. If whatever's wrong with the comms array is spreading... No, that's not it. So, uh... Uh, the door to communications should be open. You can head down to the comms control station. And Isaac, watch what you say. I think someone's listening in. This is a ber uh, very, very <laughs> backtracky quest. Oh, so I was watching, uh, I finished, uh, I didn't finish, but I, I was watching the Bear television program because I hadn't finished it and I was still, you know, I, I put it off for a while. There's a really good episode with Saul Goodman and uh, Bob Odenkirk just plays a prick, and it's really insane. Like, it's a great episode. It just reminds me of dysfunctional family holidays in a way that is obviously exceedingly uncomfortable. But yeah, really good show. Really good show. And then it does like a lot of stuff that I like. I watched the one after that, too. And um, I just really like the characters and I like that the characters aren't just these one dimensional, you know, people that kind of stay static. I mean, that's the mark of a good show, which it should be the very least, is characters that have a little depth to them, but um, you don't always get that. But yeah, it's just a really, really good, good written show. Well written, I say, being the English major I am. Someone said that episode gave me a fucking panic attack. I can see it. I can understand why. I yearn for the sweet release of death. Very, um, what's that game? What was the... Fake Muppet game. Chat, I think VR broke my brain. My friendly neighborhood. No, seriously though, I, I kind of feel like when I stream VR, I end up feeling like I streamed for four hours instead of two. It's a lot more stimuli, yeah. And also a little bit of motion sickness. Remember, I had motion sickness pretty nastily when uh, I first started doing VR and I couldn't move around like in smooth motion. And it took probably, I don't know, what was it, like a month? Maybe a little less than a month, but it took some, you know, some practice and it took a little bit of, um, just getting used to it. And now I can kind of do it, but I still feel like it takes a little bit out of me. VR legs are a real thing. They are. They are. Motion sickness incapacitates me for a whole day when it happens as a chat member. It can be a real bitch. It really, like, you, you're, you kind of plan around it if you get sick. Like, don't plan on doing anything extracurricular after a VR experience, if that's the case. You use the word wrong? What word did I use? Wrong. Shotgun? Oh, uh, this fucking room again? Extracurricular? Well, yeah. You got what I meant, though. I mean, it's it's like, um... After school, if you do extracurricular activities, that's like... It's, it's shorthand for, you know, activities. Yeah, I was just being a pedant. You, shallow and pedantic. This chat member is shallow and pedantic. And I reject the notion entirely. I hope this side quest is worth it. Because, uh, at the moment, it kind of is taking me pretty far away from... Ah! Or I need to be... 
Someone mind me recording to you. Cool fucking religion. The upgrade you got makes stasis deal damage over time. Oh. Well, that's pretty useful. Do I have it now or do I have to install it? Harris is the regenerating necromorph. He feels whole. I, I have it already. Okay, that's that's neat. I get it. Oh, God. Almost snapped one off under that door. You know, when you were in school and there were like all these urban legends about like some some crazy stuff that happened that someone did that you didn't actually see? There was one I remember where someone got expelled for J. Owen in class. I think that one was true. And then another one I don't think was true was that someone was J. Owen in people's lockers. So, yeah, because the lockers had like um, vents. So that was that was one that uh, I heard about. Like you, you, you might wake up and like the Jo Bandit will have left a gift in your locker, you know. So yeah, really, uh, really gross, cool stories, all involving semen, of course. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was. I don't know why this this like something reminded me of that. I guess. Um, is it worth doing these other side quests or or no? I mean, someone's gonna say yes, of course, but. So where's this one? Communications array. This one's at communications array. This one is at communications array. There's an optional ending in New Game Plus in Dead Space uh, that ties into Dead Space 2. The engineer side quest is nearer where you are now. We got some uh, some eager chat members. Let's see. They love side quests. Chat, don't post the flower and then point to it with the word eager. Note that I said chat, even though it was one chat member. I guess since I'm playing this, uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the Metal Gear Solid 3 footage, the remake. I've seen um, some mixed reactions to it, but my only real complaint, again, I don't know what the gameplay is going to be like. Obviously, the details are incredible. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's extremely um, technological. It's very technological, in fact, yes. I just feel like the color correction that Kojima had intended, sure it was a little brown and weird, like, you know, obviously that was intentional, like it was like muddy and brown in spots and some other spots where like the color correction was done in a way that was more to set a mood, and I'm not seeing that from the remake. That's the only real complaint I have about it, because I kind of associate Metal Gear Solid 3 with that piss look. But, uh, you know, with Kojima, that's, you know, obviously not around to direct a new one. If they're going to remake Metal Gear Solid 3, that's like the best move. I don't exactly have any faith in Konami because there's just been like a whole lot of nothing. And even the, the fucking collection that just came out was bare bones and poop, according to many. I haven't played it. So that said, I can also give it some compliments and I can say that it looks, um, it, the graphics look nice. Snake looks a little strange to me the character model but the detail is definitely there and uh you know whoever's developing it is trying to to make a higher fidelity version of metal gear solid 3 and i think they're succeeding even if it doesn't have that piss filter <laughs> so yeah uh i'm i don't know i mean i'm probably gonna play it when it comes out unless it's a huge dumpster fire because i do love metal gear solid 3 no piss no buy it's also really 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 early but um here's the way i view this game I have my issues with Kojima, I, but I do love the man, you know, tenderly. And uh, I'm sad that, you know, everything happened to him the way it did, because the guy is very talented. And obviously Konami is, is you know, not my favorite company, but I still really would like to play a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake if it's good. And this game is like a really good blueprint. Like this and Resident Evil 4 remake, I know uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake has its detractors because of it, it being 
it strays from the source material quite a bit in a lot of spots. But it's also a sequel. But I feel like this is like pretty much, to me, this feels almost as faithful as you can get, just in a higher fidelity form. So I would like this approach to Metal Gear Solid 3. If they could do what was done in this game, I would be, I'd be up for it. Someone said, I'm less worried about Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake than Silent Hill 2 Remake. Well, Konami is just going to keep doing remakes, because that's all they have left is, is remakes. So they're just, this is going to be now their future, is remakes. It's like someone in charge didn't realize that the thing that got them there in the first place were these like really amazing IP and really great games that people care about. And you can't just milk that forever. Like, you need to keep that happening. thing I remember clearly is that engine inspection. I went into the chamber, and instead of the primary engine, chamber. there was, was a heart. A heart the size of the room. Just something and something. And Anderson said something, and when I looked back, it was a machine again. But I can still hear that pumping. Wow, everyone likes to die as soon as Isaac gets here. This has, like, happened an extraordinary number of times at this point. And yes, there are um, other Silent Hill games in the works at the moment. I'm aware of that, too. Um, obviously, none of it's done in-house at Konami. Like, this is all, right? I, if I'm not mistaken when I say that. A lot of it, I think if I remember correctly, watching that Silent Hill presentation, a lot of it was just gimmicky. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, at the Silent Hill 2 remake, I'm a lot more worried about because they want to put their own stories in the game, they said. And uh, I think James Sunderland does not look good. What does that mean? That means that they, they feel like they, as a developer, that they can do a really good job and add their own unique uh, stories to the game. I don't know what that means either, actually. <laughs> That's just... That seems to be what their statement was. I, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but that always worries me with a game that's like, or any kind of thing, a movie, a game, whatever, a TV show, whatever it is, it always worries me because it usually ends up not being quite that great. Unless it's coming from the same people that did the game in the first place. And even then, Final Fantasy VII Remake, a lot of the same people, very contentious, that plot ghost shit. So, you know, you gotta be really careful when you change up something that's beloved by many. And uh, I think Silent Hill 2 is a perfectly flawed game. And I loved it when I played it, and it actually affected me emotionally. And as an adult, mind you, as an adult. Like, not having played it with any nostalgia or anything like that. Just playing it at my then age, my, my young age of 34 or so, whatever it was, 33. And uh, I would really enjoy a Silent Hill 2 remake done faithfully, with a lot of care and attention put into it to preserve that, like, cheesiness and also to get, like, that mood exactly right. And, uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little worrying. Remakes are a funny thing. They are. And I, I'm all for them. Especially, like, games that need a little extra help. Talked about this a million times, but Turok 3 is coming out in, like, a couple weeks. Um, and it's not a full remake, but they're... They redid textures, they redid models, they redid gameplay stuff. They changed up the levels a little bit. They are, you know, fixing the game that kind of shipped unfinished a little bit and kind of broken. Mario RPG Remake looks fantastic so far. It does, yeah. We'd be playing Zelda 2 on Thanksgiving this year, you bet. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention was um, City Skyline 2 is out, and uh, I talked about this a little bit, but yeah, it runs like dog shit on people, people's rigs that have 4090s, and uh, they're like, oh, no, 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 we're gonna get 30 FPS, we're gonna achieve 30. Well, on what rig? On a 4090? With, like, a modern G uh, CPU? Or, or like, how how is it gonna be... They were like, we thought it would be better to release this game now than make people wait, because some people can play it. That is, a paraphrasing, once again, something that was said about City Skyline 2. Now, I want to mention, when the problem with that is, if people end up buying that game a lot, you know, that sends a signal, oh, we can release 
broken games like CD Projekt Red did. We, we can release the game because we need to put it out now. Even if we get rancid performance and it's glitchy and it's not done and it's not feature complete. Hell, even CS2, I feel, needed another like six months to a year just to add all the content back that was missing. Skylines 2 is fine. It just has RTX by default. I've seen different stories about that. I, I've seen people say they disabled all kinds of shit and that it ran like absolute dog shit with a city that was empty. So I don't know. I haven't played it. I'm going to wait. I was really excited for that game and now I have no interest. Do you think we're heading towards another gaming crash? Um, I do see problems with the way Sony and Microsoft goes about their... Like, we gotta do these giant prestige triple... quadruple A titles. And, like, you know, just buy exclusives. And then they, they have, like, a couple games. So, I mean, I think you need to diversify. I, I, you know, I don't think there's a crash coming. I just think that there's, there's room in, in the market for smaller games. Why do you think the boomer shooter shit is happening? They're easier to make. People like them. They're fun. I play a ton of those recent boomer shooters, and they're fucking great. They're just so much fun to play, and if they're well designed and they have like a unique little gimmick, it's it's like, oh, I'll spend 15 bucks on that. I'll spend 20 bucks on that. We're in a game crash. Studios are laying off tons of people. I did see that too, yeah. Well, I can't say I know as much about it as some folks would. Folks. Why am I saying folk? I guess I'm getting old. It's fine. But I do feel I do feel like there's room for a lot of mid, or, uh, mid to lower budget titles. And uh, and going for quadruple A or and or releasing a game that's not in like a finished state. It's not a new thing. We're in a post boom readjustment towards norm. Reminds me of that guy. The Valor's in a holding position. How's the comms array? <laughs> Fry. Someone hot wired the dishes together and blew up the system. So we're screwed. No, it was sloppy work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, we could broadcast a signal. Short range only, but it should work. Okay, do it. I'll uh, keep an eye on things here. And Isaac just gets stuck doing everything. Communications log, first comms operator Bailey reporting. I want this on record. The ship is under attack, but Captain Matthias has refused to issue a distress call. And we all know why. This whole operation is illegal. Agent 7 was sealed off. They knew it, we knew it, and we all kept our mouths shut. That ends now. Oh shit. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is USG Ishimura calling C. Wait, what the hell? Jesus. He took the whole comms array offline. It's over. Damn. They wanted the evil Satan artifact. Yeah, press the button. Find out where to go. Press the button again. Find out where to go. Press the button. Find out where to go. No thinking. Just pressing button. Unsent message retrieved from array buffer. Progress report. Captain Benjamin Matthias to Paragon Jordan. Una. This will be my last transmission. Afterwards... I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. We have successfully brought the Holy Marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original Marker, is deciphering its secrets. Uh, forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but they're suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, Planet Crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Let's see Earth Guard try to cover this up. Altman be praised. Matthias out. Yeah, so that's how this happened. Anyway, uh, chat, there are good games happening. There are games that are being released finished. This is a good example. Capcom is doing great work. I was just a little disappointed to hear about City Skyline having, you know, really bad performance on launch and i hope they can fix it and if it's just a matter of turning rtx off i, I kind of feel like i would have heard more about that but maybe you're right chat member and there's so many great fucking indie games and uh, listen i hate what nintendo is doing to their fans with the tournament stuff i their business side of things are scummy but this year we got pikmin zelda mario wonder even advance wars it's like there's a lot of good stuff to play that's releasing full com you know feature complete without microtransactions and shit like that so there's good stuff happening you know there's plenty 
This is the, still, whether it's a crash or not, this is the best year for games I think I've experienced since 1998. So yeah. I'm, I'm just, you know, I don't get to live in Star Trek in the infinite J.O. holodeck or live aboard the Ishimura in the one hour J.O. Uh, <laughs> chamber, but I get to live at a time where everyone hates each other, but the video games are fucking preem. This is preem. Not universal. No, no, of course not. There's good people and, and there are people who don't who don't want to hate. There's there's you know, there's a lot of, of good. It's not worth uh, focusing. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes you have to, but a lot of times I find for me, what works is to try my best to just live in the moment with the people I care about, um, or just be alone, which I like a lot too, and and try to just enjoy the time I have on this on this fucking planet and uh, and play some games and share that with you, the chat, uh, play some music, share that with my friends. It's like communal things are nice, and uh, and also just just to be you know enjoy a nice day, go for a walk, and just try to like as much as possible, save the brain rot, like, uh, doom and gloom, for when I can handle it and not want to puke. So that, that's, um, that's been one of those things for me that's, that's helped. But yeah, I also, I also find that I'm, I'm a rather lucky person, and I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that, so. Looks friendly. This is USM Valor, broadcasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. Thank you, Metal Skull Man. The escape pod. Oh, fuck. The pod Hammond jettisoned. It had shit. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Oh my god, there's a payoff to that. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. Oh man, I can imagine that dude like, oh look, this is a nice escape pod. And like they don't even bring any like people with guns. Maybe they got like one guy with a gun. It's all just like doctors, and then suddenly five doctors get pulped, and then five turns to ten. 10 turns to 20, 20, 40, 40, 80, 80, 160, 160 to 30, 320, 320 to 640, 640 to 10,000 something, 10,000 something to something more, and then the ship is fucked. Will you play Alan Wake 2? Um, I, I've never played Alan Wake 1, and I'm not overly, weirdly, I'm not overly interested, so, no. Spider-Man 2. I was supposed to get a, uh, what are you forcing me to play, Dave? Control? Oh, no, it's not happening. It's too many games, man. Too many games. Now I have to go back. I know Control is good. Spider-Man 2 is, uh, I was potentially going to get a key for it, but, uh, I'm not that into Spider-Man. He's fine. He spoods. He's fine. I was more interested in New York City. The key didn't pan out, so I'm just busy playing all these other games. When I'm done with Dead Space, and then I'm done with Cyberpunk and Mario Wonder. Then Mario RPG comes out. Those are the, the big ones. But I may have some time after those. So I'm going to continue seeing what games I want to play that I've missed. Or games that are, you know, coming out. But I do want to play some older stuff too, of course. I, I like to uh, revisit some classics once in a while. No Spider-Man because they didn't put Staten Island in the game, huh? Listen, if Staten Island was in Spider-Man 2, I would have actually... Yes, I would have bought it. But I've never played a Spider-Man game before. And uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm not into superhero stuff all that much. But again, I have my hands full. Oh my god. Some, I think there's some glitch meat. A little bit of glitch meat. Oh, there it is, the weapon upgrade I wanted. So I have to go to a store. Oh, there it is, yeah, 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 yeah. Final plasma cutter, what is it? It is ammunition, no, no, no. Uh, it is melee attacks can knock enemies prone. Oh. Eh. Uh, I'll get it. Didn't the original light enemies on fire? Oh, I have that one. I have that one. Has there been any games you played you liked so much that you want to play again except Zelda 2? Well, oh, World of Horror. Um, I've played Chrono Trigger a bunch on stream. Final Fantasy VI, a lot of RPGs, Super Mario World. Most of the my favorite RPGs I've played more than once. Resident Evil 4 is a game I've played a bunch, right? 
RimWorld, which uh, maybe next year we'll do another RimWorld. I want to see what the release schedule is like early to mid next year. Oh, that is useful. But, um, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna say maybe. There's a DLC I haven't done, and if I do mods, it's gonna be less mods. It'll be, like, five to six mods, something like that. Like, just the best ones. As opposed to, I've modded my Rim World, and now Scoots can smoke weed. Just a floating cell phone, huh? Or whatever that is. That's just vanilla. Oh, Smoke Leaf. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think it was more the, the Smoke Leaf production was the mods, right? Guess that'd be me. What's happening with the antenna? It's blocked by it's the Leviathan. It must have snagged on the comms array after we spaced it. It's not coming off without a fight. Isaac, there's no time. There is if I use the ADS cannons. Manual targeting like before. I can shoot it right off the hull. I got this. You focus on the Valor. Will do. Chad, I'm not finishing this game before Halloween. Yeah, I realized now I was using my ammo and not shooting the cannon. It, it took me a minute. I'm good now. Warning. ADS cannon destroyed. It's a tough fucking ship. Take a lot of damage. Just a lot to concentrate on here. Oh my, oh my god. Of course the flamethrower wouldn't work in space. God. Like your own pimples? Is it dead? Dead and gone. I'll try the antenna's manual release again. Do it. This wasn't in the original at all. See, I, again, I don't. I just don't remember. I remember the Leviathan, but not all the specific fights. But that that was cool. I like that you get to use the turrets and also move around at the same time. It was, but it was very different. Do you like this better, chat member? It was a turret-only section in the OG. Then you go to the center of the Leviathan. Wait, really? Is there actually anything there? Um. Okay, the lights broke. It's like cyberpunk. They removed the god-awful turret sections. Um. Yeah, there's not much inside the Leviathan's goatsy, so I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and head back now. <laughs> Chat is having too much fun with that flower. Okay, so Isaac has 90 seconds of oxygen. Well, can he hold his breath? That's at least another 60 seconds. Depressuriza depressurization. That's not how it works. He's a smoker. Hold your breath for 60 seconds right now, says a chat member. Okay. Okay, here we go. Not yet, not yet. Here we go. Wait, I got the timer. Yes! 
Finally! USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Do not open the escape pod. Repeat, do not open that escape pod. Do you read? <laughs> Sixty seconds. I timed it. The trick is to let a little bit of air out once in a while. I learned that because I used to. Um, I don't have the best lungs, but um, singing more has has increased the lung. I think it's made it turgid. Daniels, what happened? Something shook the whole crew deck. What hit us? An asteroid? So the thing got onto the Valor, a rescue ship. They found your escape pod, and the one. So I probably could have gone for another God thirty to forty seconds. I pro you know what? I think I could do two minutes with a little bit of practice and a lot of like no, that's what I was telling you. I found an decent on the uh, breaths. And the log says that shuttle's missing its singularity. I'm not gonna do it. I don't. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Wait, maybe it can. If the Valor singularity core is okay, I could salvage it, install it on that shuttle. We're fucking out of here. Where's the Valor now? It's near comms. Keep us stable, Isaac. I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Meet me there. We'll find that core together. Let's see you see clean up their own mess. I'm saving what I can. I'm not surprised the Valor crashed, by the way. Uh, someone said David Blaine can hold his breath for like two hours. I, I don't think it's two hours, chat member. How long can David Blaine hold his breath for? 17 minutes underwater. World record. That's what it says on the internet. I don't know. It's kind of like two hours. Same thing. I used to um, hold my breath a lot. It is harder to hold your breath when you're moving and actually doing something. That's true. But I used to, when I would like go swimming, I would try to hold my breath for a long time. And uh, yeah, I was never that great at it, but... I also haven't smoked cigarettes in years, so I think my lungs are in, in better shape now than they were years ago, at least. Someone said there is some record that was 24 minutes that was not David Blaine. You know he's seething right now. You know what's happening? David Blaine is getting lung adjustment surgery. He, that, that dude is getting, like, additional flesh sewn onto his lungs so he can do 30 minutes. Isaac, I'm on board. The trapped, it, maybe even adding a third it. lung. The hell was that? I think adding more lungs is a lot easier than increasing the capacity of each one. Probably. They, we should just have, like, external lungs. Like, like, testicles. Like, you can get, like, four lungs sewn onto you. Like, one on your stomach, one on your back, one on your leg. Isaac, we have a problem. The Valor's carrying a 12 megaton warhead. The crash hit the torpedo bay hard. God. I need you to handle that nuke right away, before something sets it off. Handle 12 megatons? You know I'm not a nuclear engineer, right? I don't need you to be. Just stabilize the warhead and eject it away from the Ishimura. Christ damn it. No one trained you to carve up monsters with a plasma cutter either. You haven't let us down yet. I mean, this motherfucker can't catch a break. It is a little different. Like, just pointing a gun at an enemy's arm and shooting is a little different than disarming a nuke, but that's okay. We could we could do it. I'm I'm sure it'll be cool. Maybe we could play um, a pipe filling mini game. Oh wait, we did that already. This fucking thing's glitching. What the fuck? They glitch now? The soldiers must have had stasis units on their armor. When they were turned, those units. Merge right into their bodies. Change them. They're fucking fast, Isaac. Stay sharp. Oh. Yeah, that's my thing. Okay. Eyes only. Uh, Operation White Light. Theater Aegis System Aegis 7. Deep Cleanse. CEC Vessel USG Is Ishimura in breach of EarthGov System Isolation Order. Believed to have recovered Marker 3A. Special Ops has confirmed the system, but unable to provide, provide planet location. Special Ops Advisory follows. Exercise extreme caution. If Marker 3A has been recovered, onboard infection is a credible threat. Operational orders. Shock point to Aegis system. 
Move to position out of local scope range and await signal from Ishimura to confirm location. Objectives. Secure marker 3A. If infection is present, initiate sterilization. Protocol Eurydice. Eurydice? If infection is not present, initiate containment protocol Apollo 4. All personnel must, without exception, submit to full psychological examination during debriefing. They know. They know what's up. Hollow keyboard. Imagine a holographic keyboard and you don't even know, like, what you're... I guess you get used to it. This is Commander Cadigan to all hands. We have been boarded by hostile forces. Hostiles are aliens. Repeat, aliens. And extremely dangerous. All personnel to arms. Fire at will! It did not take long for this crew to get infected. Even using a phone touchscreen keyboard is awful compared to the tactility of a physical keyboard. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I got used to phone stuff, but also, like, speech-to-text and, like, uh, swiping and, like, kind of just getting used to the patterns of, like, you know, when you... Uh, like, I was using swipe for years before it was uh, implemented, like, officially on a number of, like, phone keyboards, like, keyboard apps, and uh, before it was cool because I heard it was a lot easier, and now I don't hey, type. Hello? Like, I, I, I don't press the you. buttons, I just swipe where I speak. Dr. It's a little Terrence easier Conley, that way. The Ishimura's chief science officer. I, I studied the marker for the church. I'm done talking to unitologists. But, but, but the planet won't rest until the marker is returned. You, you can't leave. Watch me. <laughs> the appropriate use of Giga Chad there, chat. I'm done with urologists. Isaac, your cock is infected. Go to a doctor. No. Put sunglasses on, hear the who scream dies of inflated elephantitis of the testicle. <laughs> Isaac, go to a urologist now. Don't go down there. Oh. Let's see. Seven lucky ninja kids, chat member. Did that just float? Okay. The warhead's clear. Damn it. This doesn't add up. If the Valley was just on patrol, why bring a nuke? And if they had a target, what's out here except us? Yeah, I know. I'm downloading a munitions report right now. I'll clear your route to the engine room. Grab that singularity core and let's get out of here. How many years was this game in development? anyone knows. I remember seeing like little glimpses of it for a while, but 45 years, 20 minutes, 3 months, 38, 69, a few, starting in 86, 20 minute, 15. Ugh. The original or the remake? Uh, the remake. 2.5 years? Okay, I was just curious because there's still, there's a glitch. They didn't fix this. The, the E button still hovers even after you've uh, got the item. So game is kind of broken, you know? It's a shooting range? Shooting range online. Caution. Live fire exercise. What many fucking ammo? Oh, I think that was a civilian. You son of a bitch. Come closer. Uh, well, no achievement there. I thought it was gonna give me a new weapon, but it just wanted- it wanted me to, uh, use that- the rifle that I don't use. 
Because it's not very dead spacey. I don't use it. It's not that great, but it's also not particularly dead spacey. Um, this is a joke of how tedious this was in the original. Oh, okay. It was an actual mini game in the OG. I wish I remembered. If I had played Dead Space when it first came out and then streamed it again years later, there's a lot more I would remember. Like, I remember a lot of Resident Evil 4, but I've also played that game like six times, so. Six, uh, actually, no, I would say like, well, the original, I probably played seven times, and then there was the remake. So yeah, I've, I've played a lot of uh, Resident Evil 4 compared to this. So that game is fresh in the mind. I can recall things. This game, I remember Isaac going through a daycare center, and I'm not even sure it was Dead Space. That was two? That was two, okay. It was either two or it was Sulaco. Thank you, game, for being generous with your checkpoints. Seriously. These fucking things are horrifying. They can teleport so good. That was useful. Glad I did that. Isaac, you hearing this? It's Chen. There, on the ring link. Did I lock him in alive? Chen's dead. You know that. I know my own fucking corporal. Chen, come in. That was fun. Oh, that was good. I, I, I like to see that. It's Chen. It's there, not him. On the ring link. Did I lock him Fake. In alive? Not real. Have you watched the Glizzy Overdrive TikTok? <laughs> yeah, I have. Make us mold again, Isaac. It's just a guy doing gang gang shit, but he's like, engaging Glizzy mode. That's all it is. Just eat hot dog. I don't even know how to explain it. If you know what it is, you know what it is. It's just not. He's eating a hot dog. It's not real. But he makes money from pretending to eat a hot dog. And then he goes like... <laughs> Always with the fucking babies, and I just... The problem is, I... Ah, the problem is I keep shooting them in the stomach, and then like, the babies explode, like that time the person had the spiders in their cheek. Ah! Don't make me tell the spiders in the cheek story again. It's probably not real. Probably. It's not. Oh my god. I know, I know how to kill him. Just gotta go for the little, like, um, the, what are they called? Lingans? What are they called? Tendons. Gotta go for the nice sinewy, soft lingans. Ligaments, yes, thank you. Yeah, there you go. The cheek spider story is, is just something I read on Snopes. I talk about this, I think, like, every fucking year I talk about this, but it, it you know, it's relevant today, somewhat. But there was something I read on the internet when the internet well, first it happened. Look. It wasn't just a nuke. It ain't loaded for war. about the Ishimura. Someone knew. We were all dead from the moment we arrived. You knew? But yeah, it was it was a um it was a girl who had a puffy cheek. It was getting red and itchy and she ignored it a little bit and then she goes to a doctor and the doctor the urban legend goes that she went to a doctor and the doctor like poked at it and then like a you know Hundreds of baby spiders popped out of her cheek. So that's an urban legend. It's shown in a movie? Of course it is. Uh, but I- that was one of those things that freaked me out as a kid, because at the time, the- the website, I think it might have been Snopes or like urbanlegends.com or something. I was reading about as many as I could, and the websites were so primitive. And it wasn't presented like, oh, this could be... I mean, it wasn't said this is real, but it also wasn't like, this is... This is definitely fake bullshit. It's like, maybe this happened. But then there were variations on the story where she's looking in the mirror and she doesn't go to the doctor and she pokes it herself and then the spiders pop out. The story's called The Red Spot. Okay. But yeah, that one and then also I remember going to uh, parties 
when I was in grade school. I say parties, but it was just you know, people hanging out in, in the 90s. And uh, one of the things that people would do is uh, Bloody Mary in the mirror three times. Smart. Really glad I did that. Did you get the story of the girl in the frozen hot dog? No. Great. What? What's the, uh... There's another box that you can use. Okay. Did the game glitch? Or did it just, like... Is there a babby mode if you fail? I don't want babby mode after one failure. Oh, come on, man. Let me attempt that again, as intended, by God. Wait, it's working now. Thank you. Chat, this is a glitch. It's gotta be a glitch. Did this happen to anyone else? Happened to me, happened to me. I think it's time for me to sleep, chat. What's this frozen hot dog bullshit? Oh, well, chat, it's, it's done now, so it's fine. <laughs> well, that one wasn't fixed. I just, yeah, I, I listen. Babby mode or not, if there's a big fire in the middle of the screen, I'll walk into it. Again, it looks like other people got it too, so I think the fire section is was probably playtested to shit, and uh, either, I don't think it was a glitch. I mean, it could have been. Maybe it is a glitch. Maybe it's a pretend glitch. But to me, it seems like, you know, an anti-frustration mechanic, which would be fine if it gave me, like, two more attempts. Unknown biohazard detected. Lockdown initiated. Another malfunction. Athia Shimura's in the red. Someone get the door open. <laughs> Chen? Christ, what's that thing do to you? Help me get him to the Kellys. It's not Chen. Shoot him! What? Come on, you know better by now. It just how do you not know better? Oh yeah, the marker. It does wacky things to people. I forgot about that. Vital they just flatlined. He him and Chin. Oh my god. Ah! Warning. Critical overload. Ooh. Main electrical grid. This is not a time to look around for collectibles. Or ammo or whatever. Collectibles. Dead cards. Ooh. Well, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, oh, Principal Stray! Oh, Chen, Johnson, now Hammond. And I'm tracking movement from the valley. What's his name? I think some of those mutated soldiers made it on board. What about the Valor's Singularity Corps? It's covered in blood, but I got it. God, I hope Hammond was right about that shuttle. He said it was on the crew deck, along with every unitologist on the ship and their marker. You need to... Wait, someone's opened the door near the bridge atrium? It'll get you to the crew deck, but who's left with that kind of clearance? Isaac, mm. something's up, but we have to get that shuttle. For God's sake, be careful. We're all that's left. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to a delightful dinner. I uh, yes. I hope that clam bake you've made is quite good. Oh, delicious. Oh, dear gods. 
clams. It's, it's, it's been burned. I'm reciting it from memory. I have a delightfully devilish idea, Seymour. I think that's... I was just trying to remember it. I think I got it pretty accurate. And then he says steamed hams, and then the house is on fire, and there's Aurora Borealis. I gotta go to bed now, because I think my brain is damaged. So, yeah, ending a little bit early tonight. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed video gaming tonight. I'm just tired as fuck, and, uh... There's only three more chapters? Well, that's good. I might be able to play this, um, one or two more times. There's also side quests. It's a very good game, but, uh, I don't think I'll be able to finish this before Halloween, and that's fine. I mean, maybe. There's, there's, there's always a maybe. This is Dead Space, everybody. Welcome back to it. Um, I tried to finish this before Halloween, and I could not, because this game is longer than I expected. And, uh, and I wanted to play Cyberpunk and do Mario Wonder and also Wario. So it's just this, this, like, breakneck pace of amazing video games make it hard to play everything, so. And it turns out Robocop is good, and then also Suica game is good. Um, get ready for me to ask how to play this game. That actually scared me. So yeah, tonight's gonna be kind of a chill stream night. We've already had the chaotic stream night a couple days ago, so I think tonight's gonna be very chill. Chaotic is an understatement. Yeah. Yeah. Fister Roger. We don't talk about Fister Roger outside of Mario Kart. And you know what? I barely got a chance to, like, process the new maps. Listen, I had a good time, but I did not have a moment to actually think about if the maps were good. I just kind of was trying to, like, not get last place, but also, you know, had to talk about very important topics. Are you mad at Jolly? No, not at all. Are you Jolly? I haven't been. The seasonal depression is, is a real problem, <laughs> to be honest. I have my methods of coping. I'm doing fine. But to say I'm Jolly would, oh, would not be 100% truthful, so I'm not going to say that. Am I? What must I do? You can just just watch the game. <laughs> like I'm okay with that. I'm almost dead. Oh my god. What a fucking corridor to come back to this game to and not having played the game in over a week. What, uh, what was the first time you met Johnny? Um, at PAX, briefly, and then we spoke because I like his work, and I just said, let me just say hello, and uh, Johnny was very kind to me, and we said, one day, one day we'll collaborate, one day we'll do something, and uh, when the Mario Kart thing, when the DLC was announced, you know, I reach out to the, uh, the creators, <laughs> the, cre the creators, and I, and I just said, hey, Johnny, do you want to be a part of this? I had no idea I was going to mention Mr. Roger. But uh, other than that, it was it was a good night. And uh, I'm glad he joined in. Him and Scott were a good good sports about the whole thing. Who was Johnny again? Oh, he's... Uh, who was, oh, who was Mr. Roger? Oh, we don't... I don't have any answers. I don't... I blacked out. Sorry. I was... Yeah, I entered a fugue state. Did that actually happen or was it a random bit you spit out? Chat member. Chat member. Chat member dot dot dot. Why would I do a bit? Chat member dot dot dot. It's a very serious guy. I am a very serious guy, that's right. Very serious. Watto is very serious too. Here's a question for the people who've played this. How much of this game is left? Um, I personally prefer to confess my deeply hidden trauma for the first time during Mario Kart sessions in front of several thousand people. And, oh yeah, oh absolutely, yes. <laughs> yes. If I could do a good Jeff Goldblum impression, that would have been the time for it. One or two more streams, got it. Because Mario Wonders also, I'm pretty much at the end of that too. So we're, we're getting, like, it's good because uh, when Mario RPG comes out, expect me to be really playing the fuck out of that one. Yes, when it comes out. Chat, even if I got the game early, let's say, you know, like, <clears throat> the five finger discount, I still wouldn't be able to stream it. You know that. You know about them Nintendo ninjas. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Have a productive day. I'm reading... God, because of this fucking Robocop rabbit hole, I've been going down chat. I've been reading things as Robocop. Okay, I need to... Vinny, but... Vinny funny, but is your head working or hazy? It's a little hazy. Anyway, I've done a lot of talking about everything but the game. 
So this is a good game. Uh, I've enjoyed it. I'm excited to finish it um, because it's one of those things that has gone on a while. It hasn't decreased in quality. It's actually stayed very consistent quality-wise. I got the rig. Build Master Security Override. Oh, okay. Vinny, Halloween is over. It's time to play Christmas games now. Thank you, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, <clears throat> as we all know, is the, the arbiter of Christmas. She wakes up from her slumber and she goes like this. She goes, uh, hang on. Let's see if I can do an impression. I think I can do a good impression. Hang on. She goes, it's Christmas time! And then it is Christmas. I remember uh, in grade school, my friend Frank was like, man, Mariah Carey is hot. She's got a nice ass. I said, Frank, hot Frank, how could you? That was actually the first time I ever heard of Mariah Carey, was my Frank telling me that her ass was nice in like 1995 or, or like 96 or whatever. There's the there's the song, it goes doo 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 doo, doo 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 doo. Remember that one? That's the one that was being played on MTV. And then Frank, turns out, was not a devout Christian, and I had to learn that the hard way. Vinny, have you watched the new Nathan Fielder show? No, I haven't. The Curse? No. I'm gonna check it out at some point, I'm sure. Ah! 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 Someone said, I haven't caught a live Vine Sauce stream in almost three years. Well, chat member, you're not obligated to do so, but they've been happening. How dare you? I mean, you're, but you're not obligated to do so, but how, how dare- Welcome back, you son of a- But thank you. Three year breaks to keep things fresh. These streams fresh? Not really. The guy, he comes back after three years. He's like, is he still doing the meat bit? Cluster security override generated for Isaac Clark. All access I did it. The Rock is using his sweaty pecs to tempt me into playing Overwatch 2. Yeah, don't don't listen to his lies. The Rock gets paid a lot of money to use his sweaty pectorals to tell you what things to to like. Don't let him. Wonder if Shatner still plays WoW. I don't even think Shatner's ever used a computer. You know, there's the there was some time where people were like upset with William Shatner for his tweets, and then I believe there's hard confirmation that he does none of his own tweets. Like, there was actual confirmation that he does not make a single tweet. It's just some guy. I don't know how true that is. I mean, that could just be what is being said. But, yeah, it could be one guy. Who knows? It could be two guys. Allegedly, he didn't write some of his own books. Well, that's the thing about Shatner that is interesting. He wrote a bunch of Star Trek books where Captain Kirk was like a Jesus. Like, so Kirk dies in one of the movies. God, what is going on with your arm? Oh my god. And, uh, no, he has Ghost Riders. He wrote a- he also wrote a series called Tech War. So, yeah, Shatner has been involved in a lot of authoring where he, you know, he just tells people, I have a great idea. Here's what we're going to do. Kirk is God, and the universe is going to blow up without him. That wasn't really even him in Star Trek. He doesn't write his own books, he doesn't write his own tweets, he doesn't act his own movies. Shatner is, as we know it, is a concept. He doesn't fuck his own wife? <laughs> no, probably not. That doesn't sound good. Holy shit. I'm like, I'm like working here and this guy's showing me- Coming up here. Captain Cuck. Wow, thank you, chat. That's very clever. How- you knew. And you knew that if you said Captain Cuck, that would be funny. Vinny, did you find the video of you and the Labor Day guy? I haven't uploaded it. Sorry, chat. You have to wait another day. How is he doing? He's doing well. He, he put on a show. I talked about it a little bit. He put on a whole comedy show. It was a very Italian, like, stand-up night. Lots of Italians. Um, too many fucking Italians, to be honest. But, uh, you know, that's fine. And uh, he had, he was giving out mozzarella and cannolis. It was weird. And, and it was like three stand-up comedians that were... Italian and then they did like skits and they did um, you know, he's he's a busy guy He he really puts a lot of work into his craft. He's he's got a podcast. He, he's he does stand up in LA like he He does the circuit He's an entertainer. I can 
guess what that something is. If the marker's active... Shit. The crew deck is locked down, but the deck supervisor might have an override key. The last location I have for her is the gym. How long will it take to install the Singularity Core on that shuttle? Not long. If no one tries to stop me. Hurry. We can't leave the marker in their hands. Someone's gonna try to stop me. Were the cannolis good? They were good. But yeah, he's doing very well, um, and he's very talented, and we went to the place we used to drink at in Chinatown, and it was like, it brought me back 10 years instantly. I like time traveled, and it was amazing. You're free now. This is normal behavior, I think, for space people, right? This is all real normal and chill and nice. Everyone here hanging and dying and candles, and burgers. Glasses are just like instantly shattering. They're instantly shattering. But, come on chat, let me have it. Well, I have the clearance. I did all the side quests. Well, I did the main side quest, so now I reap the benefits of one extra item every now and then. I'd like to be... Skibbity. Entering zero gravity. Z ball. I heard meat noises. Oh, there's a fucking enemy in here with me. Ah! These little babies don't die! Get the high score for a prize. Wait a minute, I got a high score already. I'm the high score. This seems like a relatively easy game. You just shoot it in the glowing things. Did I hear someone say Dead Isaac? In a horror game? No. They would never. Chad, this is so fucking mindless. What am I doing? Gormlet? What the fuck is that word? I like it. How'd you invent that? Gormlet. I mean, this isn't as good as Blitzball from Final Fantasy X, but it's all right. Oh my god. Chat, when does it end? Suffering is eternal. Dude, eternal. All levels complete, chat. I did it. I now just have to play for another 40 seconds. I'm, I'm brain dead from playing this. I like Robocop 2 a little bit, by the way. It's not a great movie, but it's fun. It's um, nowhere near as layered a, a movie as the first one. And even though there's still some satire for sure, it, it just turns into like schlock by the end of it, like action schlock. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's an okay movie. It's worth watching. I'm glad I saw it at least once. And it's funny, there's a couple really funny moments, but it's it's still not anywhere near the same level as Robert Cop 1. I got 280, chat. Hell yeah, chat. I did it. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I heard Ro Robert Cop 3 is terrible. I will never watch that. Like, I don't like Robert Cop enough as a character to want to watch, like, a PG version of Robert Cop, where he's got a jetpack, like, the Tuable Man. All right, well, it was it was worth it, chat. Look at that. I got some good rewards. It was worth it. Different actor playing Robert. Yeah, that's a shame. And also, uh, there was a cartoon. Because what I've learned is that the success of RoboCop was was very unexpected. It was, it, it was a huge movie. I was only two when it came out, so I don't really know. But um, it, the problem is the character itself looked like a kid's toy. Never mind the, the fucking satire on, like, corporations and, like, you know, the, the whole police institution, which is in the movie as much as it is also a fun movie to watch action. You know, kids are gonna watch and be like, I like Robert Cop. 
He's got a costume. I love that costume. I want to be that costume for Halloween. I don't want to be that Halloween. Halloween costume. Robo <clears throat> Robocop. So that's why it ends up being, you know, they made a cartoon out of it. There was like Halloween costumes. There were toys. Then you watch the movie and it's just people getting fucking pulped. Like, I know I'm saying that during Dead Space. Actual, like, pulpage. Like, human pulp. Like, me they, they turn into gravy. People turn into gravy. Dude gets pulped by a car. That's that's a really uh, fun scene. So yeah, I, what Robocop 2 at least retains some of that, and there's some actually genuinely funny moments, and it's it feels like Irving Kirshner, who directed Empire Strikes Back, tried to imitate the Verhoeven thing a little bit. It, it is more of the same, and I don't like that they reset the character arc from Murphy. But anyway, point is, it's it's a good it's a good time waster of a film. But I would still recommend, you know, watch the first one. The second one is only if you're really into the first one, and it's not it's like kind of non-essential, I think. Guys, jiggling, jiggling, we got jiggling. Oh my god. Chat, I don't remember the stasis button. Try C. It's C. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Did they just turn into a meat people? Whoa! Chat, I need to waste a little bit more stasis. Give me a second here. I, it's something really disturbing happened. I need to see if it happens again. Yep, they just turn into jelly. And the meat literally rots off their fucking bones. I know why. It's because I have an upgrade that does electrify. We degrade, Douglas! The flesh begins to rot! I built your shit. It didn't work. You're not gonna hurt anyone else. I'd say your usefulness is run out. Mercer! Still alive, Mr. Clark. I'm still denied convergence thanks to this ingrate. Mercer, wait! Tell me, I want to understand, what is Convergence? But you already know. Dead or living, we all feel the markers to the purpose. Don't you want to be reunited with the people you lost? Aye. Yes. Then why not? Mr. Temple has fused, but we are so close. Everything that has happened on the Shamora is just the beginning. Are his eyes not frozen? When like, is he going to follow Mercer around? You and your marker can go to hell. Shame. Yeah, get ready for some death here. Now I wish I had stasis. Shit. Ah! Run. Run, motherfucker. Run, motherfucker. Uh. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Are there more? Are there more? Are there- are there more? I think there's gotta be more, but I can't fucking see them at the moment. I'm looking, Chad! I'm looking! I don't know which- which meat is moist! I see glowy meats, but I don't know which one is- is- is shootable! They're all glowy! No, Chad, I'm being serious. I- I do not see which ones I have to shoot. 
there is a door you can go through. Oh, good, because I'm out of ammo. Don't see the door, Chad. I don't see it. What's going on? Oh, that door? I thought that's where I, like, entered from. I, I was assuming that was the entry. This is why I don't believe in ghosts sometimes. Only sometimes. Because, you know, like, everywhere in the world, people have died. Like, under under your feet right now, someone has probably died in the past. Maybe. Why don't you hear them? Why aren't they haunting you? Like, it could just be someone from, like, a million years ago. Maybe not a million. You know, 2,000. Whatever. But ghosts can time travel. Chad, this is this is a fucking problem. These enemies. Meanwhile, the corpses are the corpses are trying to talk to Isaac. It's like, dude, I don't want to talk to you. Stop. Yeah, like I don't want to know what's going on. Like, oh, how, how is it? How's being dead? Oh, it's awesome, bro. Yeah, we can, like, go through walls. All right, sick. And then, or you could be like Dan Aykroyd and get ghost jobs. People don't know about Dan Aykroyd's uh, ghost job, do they? All right. Do I have to tell you about everything, chat? I mean, he put it in Ghostbusters based on a true story. But yeah, Dan Aykroyd claimed he got a hand job from a ghost in a haunted hotel. And that helped inspire the film. Bustin', 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 make them you. Something is wrong with that guy? Yeah, a couple things. A little bit. I gotta be honest, though, if I too had a nocturnal emission caused by a ghost, I, I too might write a movie about it. Jolly should write a movie about Birdo. You know, write what you know. That's what I learned. My whole life, I learned about it. Cool new suit, by the way. Have a productive day. Vinny, it's 11-11. Make a wish. I wish for world pizza. I wish for David Cronenberg monsters to be all over planet Earth. Amen. I wish everyone gets free boobs. Amen. Was that too many wishes? I'm not gonna hog all the, you know, the benefits of this for myself. I'm gonna say everyone. I'm not gonna say, I hope I get free boobs, or I get, uh, Cronenberg monsters, or I get, uh, free pizza. No, it's for all of us. That's what being kind is all about, chat. Yeah, a little bit of monsters. You can have as many Cronenberg monsters as you want. They're free. They're fine. You can have them. Just a blob of flesh on the table. It's a blob of flesh pizza with with nipples. That's basically that's like <laughs> that's like an episode of like um the Twilight Zone, but the wishes go wrong and the genie's an asshole, so that's the wish. It's like you have three wishes. Okay, I want those three things, and it's just that's just on the, the table and it's like steaming. Chat, would you rather have pizza anytime you want, at any moment, a moment's notice, you can just go like that and get pizza, or you never have to drink water ever again? Pe people are saying they love water? Okay. What if water tasted good? Okay, free pizza anytime you want, whenever you want, or water tasted really, like, good. Water is good. Alright, this is a bad hypothetical. I gotta come up. Okay, pizza anytime, or you never get diarrhea ever again. Still pizza. What the fuck? Diarrhea good? No! I'm having a really hard time. Free pizza anytime you want, or you can get one video game, your dream video game made. The one that you've always wanted, exactly the way you want it. And it'll be a 10 out of 10 game. Oh, we got a couple takers. We got a couple takers. Okay, free pizza whenever you want, or infinite J.O. chamber like the Hollow Deck. Okay, people are still choosing pizza. All right. Then you are lost! Truly, Anakin! Can I sell the pizza and fund my own game? You cannot sell the pizza. You cannot sell the pizza. That's that's the... You know, people sometimes do that with hypotheticals. We're like, oh, I'll I'll get an infant, infinite supply... Infant supply of baby food and then sell it. No, you have to eat the baby food. Okay, that brings me to another one. You get an infinite supply of baby food that you cannot sell, or once a week, 
you have to cluck like a chicken in public. Chicken for sure. Why? Why wouldn't you want free baby food? You could just have it. You could stockpile it and give it to friends. Or if you have your own baby, or you can eat it. It's, it's sustenance. It might not taste great, but it'll keep you alive. You get a bunch of baby food. What's negative about the baby food? You can't get rid of it. Meaning you have now clutter. It just keeps adding up. If you don't use it or giving it to people that need it, then it just like clutters. But you, if you cluck like a chicken, then people think that you're, you know, a chicken and that sucks. Anyway, good chat, good conversation. Glad I streamed tonight. How about that? I don't even know what happened. Chat, would you rather grow a sock or you would have uh, a, 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 a penicular appendage that you have to maintain once a year on your face? All right, cool. All right, we're, we don't need to do hypotheticals anymore. I'm, I'm good. I hope they're dead. <clears throat> Where would I grow a sock? Random. Random. Jesus. Ah! Okay, chat, one more. Infinite supply of goldfish, the snack, or infinite supply of goldfish, the fish? I'm sorry, I cannot read the chat. I don't know what choices they are selecting because I am a little busy here. All right, chat, you either poop out your butt or once a year someone slaps you in the face. What was the question again? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, God. Chat, your hypotheticals are way worse than mine. At least mine has some thought put into them. Jesus. All right, you can resurrect Jesus Christ or you could have your own real skibbity toilet. Like, like a dude will come out of the toilet and sing for you. Skibbity Christ. <laughs> Skibbity Christ! Isn't that funny? Chad, we've got a bit of a problem here. Tango Niner. This battery doesn't want to go through the door. Chat, what, what's going on here? Oh, this isn't where I'm supposed to bring it, I don't think. That that is actually protecting me from myself, I think. Well where the fuck do I bring this? Is it here? Here I am thinking that's a glitch. That's the designers realizing the game developers thinking, alright, we gotta Vinny proof this. Every food you eat is very spicy or you lose your taste buds. Oh I don't really like spicy food all that much, so I'm gonna Oh man. Well you know what? I don't mind if I had to lose my taste buds. I see a very spicy would kill will kill that and chat i'm gonna be real with you that would lead to some really bad stomach pain for me because i do not have a stomach for spicy or alcohol anymore so that would be just pain that would really be pain and terrible and it would lead to other complications i'm gonna say bland food with no taste buds because that way at the very least i can eat like protein shake or like bland healthy food and just like be eating healthy all the time. I could just eat food pellets and then I'm good. I have my nutrition. I'm not overeating. You'd be so sad though. I know. I would be because I love food, but also I would rather that than stomach problems from the spicy. And I wouldn't enjoy it if it was overly spicy. So that's a good question actually. I like that question. But it's it is sad. And I I think food is amazing, but there's other things that can make you happy in life too, right? So it's it's doable. Chat, would you rather live through a dead space or a silent hill? Silent Hill. Oh, the hell of your own making. That sounds like a fun time. All the worst things that haunt you all come to life in some shitty, rusty town. You're gonna have to get a fucking t tetanus shot after you're done there. It ah! I don't know what I would choose. I oh god, oh, both of them. Both of them suck. Because, at least in Dead Space, you can get the suit and you can shoot. Isaac strikes me as someone without a lot of combat training, and he's, like, doing just fine. So, I mean, well, now he's doing fine. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on that's terrible here, but uh, at the very least, the guy's keeping it together. Isaac is mind-fucked forever, though. Silent Hill is gonna mind-fuck you just as hard, if not more, because that's, that's all psychological. So, both of those are awful. Uh, I wouldn't want to do either, but oh my god, that's... 
Thomas. Bad, very bad. Find the shuttle. You need to install the singularity core. Isaac! Harry Mason came out just fine. How fine was Harry? Was he, like, really fine? Or was he, like, I'm, you know, I'm keeping it together for my daughter. You know what I mean? Silent Hill shows you it's possible to overcome your traumas. That's a good point. I mean, I don't, listen, I don't really like to spoil old games and movies, even though the excuse of, like, it's, you know, yeah, if something's, like, 20, 25 year, years old, how could you spoil it? But there's a part of me that likes the idea of someone discovering something that I really enjoyed from that time and experiencing it fresh. Um, so I don't want to necessarily spoil the end of Silent Hill 2, but when you say that, you're right. That, it, I mean, again, who knows how... They're video game characters, but who knows how fucked up they are in their everyday lives, like how much trauma they then have in their lives regularly. Like, for example, waking up in the middle of the night and remembering Pyramid Head, or worse, remembering one of the Silent Hill games from the Xbox 360 PS3 era. Oh, spooky! But yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. That's a tough question. I don't think I would want to go through Dead Space either, so that, that, that question truly sucks. That's just the type of game this is, chat. Very large caliber. 80 cal. That was an 80 cal pistol. 80 cal is insanely huge. I mean, you saw what happened. Yeah. Fucking die! love that it's seriously like yeah you can spend all your ammo or you can use one one long boy one long tube oh no hey nick also chat you've seen um abiotic factor the the half-life inspired co-op game mono you were talking about that i've been interested in that for a while it, it does look cool yeah it's like um indie co-op game with a very, very Half-Life. Like, you play as, like, oh, God. Yes, oh, hello, Gordon. You play as those people. Scientist bitches, they're called, I believe. So I've been following that game. Not closely, but I remember seeing a couple screenshots, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that, that's my kind of game. I want to check that out. Hope it's good. Not good. There was an open play test. Yeah, that's, that's why I brought it up. Isaac. Sorry, late shift. How are you? I, um... My mother, she's, um... Octavia? How's she doing? How's she doing? She's dead, Nicole. They both are. She killed my dad, then herself. Oh. Yeah. The church... They, uh, took the bodies before I could, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, Isaac, I'm... so sorry. Fucking oh, told you Stop, washing. stop it. Just stop talking. You said she was herself again. You said she would be better at home. Trusted you. God. You might as well have killed him yourself. She was better. You told me to leave for the Ishimura. You, you pushed me to... You know what? Go to hell, Isaac. Nicole. Nicole! Truly the scariest thing of all. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. She wanted to talk. I didn't. I'm sorry. I can make it right. I'm sorry. I can save us both. How about I can fix her. I can fix myself too. All right, chat. We're gonna be taking anatomy lessons. 
anatomy. This is the kidney. This is the liver. This is the uh, didney. This is the the sliver. All right. Now you know. Retrieved. Is it recording? Can't miss anything. Chat. Would you rather be able to live without a kidney or a liver? All right. I'm never mind. I'm kidding. I was deciphering how the marker signal affects the brain and. How Oh my god. Ah, Dr. Brenner. Let me guess. Terence Kine let you in. Shame he's not here. He didn't understand how this tragedy represents a chance to cure death. Go on. These creatures. Reanimated tissue. Cellular immortality. I, I know we've never seen eye to eye, but I understand now. There's so many I should have saved. So you came to me? Because you've learned how to communicate with the marker. I'm so close. I, I thought it must have the secrets that I need. You are a woman of science. Good man. Nice man. These are your autopsy notes. Very thorough. You'll leave them peer reviewed, of course. And poor Terence isn't here to help you. Yes. There's only one man I trust now. God damn. Very thorough indeed. And useful for Mr. Harris's research. We did it. All side quests complete. Destroy Tendril in Deluxe Quarters. Deluxe McCheeseburg. You could only eat Deluxe Cheeseburg, but it's made from not... It's made from meat rat. Or you can eat owl at no expense to yourself. Anyway, um, speaking of owl, did you see, I've, I've talked about this in a pre-record, I think, but I have a current, one of my hobbies at the moment, not a hobby, but just something I've been keeping, it, you know, up with a little, is uh, Flaco the owl, the owl that escaped from the Central Park Zoo earlier this year and was living in um, Central Park. And uh, they were keeping an eye out because people, you know, they tried to bring the owl back, but because they were worried it wouldn't be able to survive. Uh, on its own out in the wild, especially in New York City, considering it was like pretty much raised in captivity. But they determined that Flaco was able to hunt and fly better after a couple months, and you know, he was doing okay. Cheese, big cheeseburg to luck right there. Um, but the problem is now Flaco is looking for a mate, but there's no other owl of that species. So Flaco is unfortunately getting a little horny, and uh, he, he's just flying around the East Village, he's flying around in the city, he's on buildings. Every day, some people take pictures of him. He's like really famous, this owl. But I find that to be incredibly sad. He's looking for a mate and he's like so famous and everyone wants to like help him, but he's, he's alone. And everyone is like, what must I do? Sorry, they say, what must I do? No, there's no punchline to that. I just really like that owl. He's very nice and I, I wish him the best of luck in finding happiness, health, and rats. I worry about him eating rats, though, because, you know, New York City rats, I don't know what they got in those things. So I hope Flaco finds, finds some good food and happiness. What was that? Oh god, it disappeared. Was that a sanity thing? People's feet getting cut off. The rats chose the unlimited pizza. I, to be fair, unlimited pizza anytime sounds great, but could you imagine? Like that, the carbs, the amount of carbs you'd be eating just like you're hungry, like I don't have a, I don't have the time or the will or the effort to want to make food. I'm gonna have that free pizza right now. Listen, I, at my age, I have to consider that. I'm sorry, Chad. I just, I have to consider the amount of pizza I consume. I think about it. It what keeps guiding me back here. I don't know what to do, Chad. I'm, uh, the button that solves my problems and and makes me um figure out what to do is is now 
not working. Oh, that. I didn't realize I was already where I needed to be. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Oh my god. Can you sell the pizza you make up here? No, you cannot sell the pizza. When I do hypotheticals, you cannot sell the thing that you acquire. That That's my one rule for most of these. Like, infinite, like, dicks. You cannot sell the dicks. They have to be somewhere near you when they appear. Can we share it with a food bank? Yeah, you can do that, but you get warts if you do that. That's my other rule. Why? I don't know. It's my world, baby. I do what I want. Yeah, you get warts and also your farts are smellier than usual. <laughs> yeah, fart humor. We're doing fart jokes now. It's fine. Um, let's see what we got here. I'm blessed to report the Vested have authorized premium stasis capsule for you aboard the church's holy fleet. Your generous donations over the years have already covered all post-mortem stasis and cryopreservation fees. While I cannot guarantee which arc will safeguard your physical body, all fleet vessels are designed for centuries of deep space operation and equipped with state-of-the-art defense technology, ensuring the convergence will proceed without interference when the holy hour approaches. I must reiterate that this birth is conditional upon the successful completion of your pilgrimage. Once the marker is safely delivered into church hands, all electronic records have been appropriately amended. I will be pleased to finalize your resting, resting place amongst the church's most blessed, including Altman himself. Praised be the marker. It's information leads to excommunication and is forbidden. Now, okay, so they're using like stasis and, and like cryogenics so that when they do discover the secret of immortality, thanks to this fucking marker here, they can resurrect these people. That's a little weird. Also, the last episode of How To with John Wilson goes into cryogenics and it is... Okay, so for those that don't know, I'm just going to go ahead and do it one more time. One of my favorite recent shows is How To With John Wilson, which, if you haven't seen it, is like that Nathan Fielder show, Nathan For You. It reminds me of that. Nathan Executive produced it. It's a show that's very stream of conscience. I, You know what? Mike and Gears and Zot's, you know, thing. I don't know who came up with that name. It's a really good name, but I think of stream of conscience now. I, I get it confused with stream of consciousness. Like, that happens to me once in a while since then. Um, but it's it's a really good stream of consciousness show where just one thing goes to the next thing to the next thing. Anyway, the last episode's about cryogenics, and there's a dude that is shockingly sad. And the whole idea of cryogenics is fascinating to me. And, like, the people who are holding on to the faintest of hopes that one day they'll be brought back. Okay, so there's personnel there, and I believe they're part of the church. I think is what I read. I, I don't know. My brain is, is not working, but I think cryogenics to me is not a great concept because then you're brought back in a completely unfamiliar world. I mean, let alone that really, really um, extensive cold creates icicles in your blood and actually destroys like your cells from what I understand, which is a problem they're just hoping they can fix in the future. But it just seems like a sad existence to be brought back and everyone you've ever loved is gone. And it's just the people you went into the cold with. Like, I get why people do it. It's it's a very... Death is a very... Oh, God! Death is a skibbity toilet. Um, it's scary, but I, I don't think I would do cryogenics. That's all I wanted to say. And like, then, like, what's money gonna be like at that point? Are you gonna have any? It's mental. Yeah, but with inflation, even rich people that go into, like, stasis are gonna... There's a chance that they'll come out of stasis and be in an existence where they don't have any, like... They're not gonna be able to afford anything. I don't know. No, it just seems... That, to me, just seems silly, is, like, doing this and then possibly having a future that doesn't care about you. We're already in a present that doesn't care about us. Why would you want to be in the future for that? And yes, I know I'm getting a little existential during my game where I kill undead enemies. If not now, then when, really? But this game is all about... That's that's the subtext of the game. Well, that's, that's the text of the game, is the, the quest for immortality at any cost. Even if it turns you into a monster man. See Souls, Games, and Sekiro. That's true. Yeah, that, that also deals with that. 
would you become immortal if it meant living as a toilet? Now that would be a good game or a good web series. But no, I, I think um, immortality at all costs is a foolish concept, which is what this game is all about. So did you finish RoboDoc? I did. Very, very, very good. Is this what you hoped for when you signed your lives away to the church? Does this carnage look like transcendence? I don't know what lies beyond death. Not anymore. But I do know our lives are more than just fuel for convergence. If we work together, we can fight this evil. It's not too late. Please. Um, uploading some kind of virtual version of yourself? That's not you anymore. The way I see it is this. If you are able to upload all of your memories into a computer, into some kind of, like, neural robotic exterior, it's not like you close your eyes and then you wake up as the robot. Like, I don't... I personally don't believe consciousness is transferred. I just think that's just a copy of you then. I mean, yeah, now we're getting into, like, cyberpunk where, you know... Uh, we, this is also Star Trek, the transporter, which actually people have theorized in that lore that the transporter kills you and makes a copy. Vinny just answered the toilet question. <sighs> yes. Wasn't there a TNG episode that disproved that theory? It, it kind of does, yeah. And then th it's also, the I think it's the Barkley episode, Realm of Fear. But yeah, it's an interesting... It, Soma definitely dealt with this, which is why Soma stuck with me, even though I barely remember it now. But Soma is an amazing video game. I'd recommend that if you're into this kind of topic. And also just a good, like, scare game. Soma fucked me up bad, says several chat members in a row. Yep. But topics like this, I'm glad we can discuss this. Like, I know we talk about the skibbities and, and all the weird stuff, but it's really nice that I also have a chat room where we can, like, just talk about random topics like this. Someone a moment ago, I knew it was going to come up, someone was asking if they thought I believed we had a soul. And I have no way to prove that or quantify that in any way that's meaningful, so I don't know how to answer that question. I'm generally agnostic, so my answer would be, I, I you know, I tend to believe in stuff that's a little bit more than what we can see sometimes. And I've had some some instances where I felt like maybe there is more than just the meat flesh. So I'm I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just gonna say maybe. I don't know. I feel something about that. Like like I said before, you know, transferring your brain data to a machine. Like I don't think you wake up as that thing. So that's why I'm. And and weirdly, RoboCop also goes into this. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I just I, it's hard to say, Chad. There's there's. Just, who the fuck knows, really? And anyone who claims they know for sure, I, you know, how the fuck do you know for sure? Come on. But I like, I, I, I also don't want to say I don't know for sure because, or rather that I, I know for sure there isn't. But I, you know, there's always some, some weird component to life that makes it hard to just think we're, we're driving in our cars to our jobs to make the stocks go up. Uh, I feel like there's a little more to it than that. Whether or not that's a soul, that's a different story. But I do, I do quite like to, think that some of my 
creativity has come from outside of myself. So that's, I, you know, that's, that's where I'm going to go with that. Your muse? No, I don't have a muse or anything like that. I'm just saying that um, sometimes I get melodies and lyrics and ideas from... Like, where do you get your ideas from? I don't fucking know. Sometimes I don't feel like it's... Like, I can take credit for it. I'm just like, oh, I woke up with that. Okay, where'd that come from? Subconscious is obviously one way to put it, but... You know, it's weird. It's it's a nutty thing. It's, creativity is kind of strange, isn't it? Your neural connections, even if it's subconscious. Sure, it could be that. And it could be... Go fuck yourself. No, it could be 100% just neurons. Um, which is a little depressing, or maybe it's freeing for some people to just think that we're all just meat, and that's it. We go back into the ground, that's fine. But I, I don't know, there's a part of me that doesn't want to think it's just meat. His muse is clearly Birdo getting plunged into the toilet. Yeah. Nexus Orgasm. She was only a voice at first, but now she is my constant companion again. I had forgotten how much her presence soothes, soothes me. And as always, she sees to the, uh, the heart of the problem. The marker must be returned. Perhaps there's some kind of accident? Some severance? The marker and the hive mind always coordinate. Can the hive mind slip the marker's influence somehow? Regardless, if this theory is correct, if the two are now at odds, the marker can quell the hive mind. It would cut the puppeteer's strings at a stroke seems obvious in retrospect. These necromorphs have no intelligence. How could they? If there's clear, if rudimentary, purpose behind their actions. Especially the gathering of corpses. They're clearly following some drive to kill living organisms and gather biomass. But where does this drive come from? How does it command them? Do all necromorphs converted by a marker share this bond? Pack instinct? Or is the hive mind de demonstrating a genuine telepathic communication, perhaps the first ever observed? How painful to admit that the Marker's horrors still hold a fascination for me. Now I think I understand my predecessors, those who first studied the Black Marker rather better. The road to hell begins with unprincipled curiosity. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I should have known sabotaging the engines was the only was only a stopgap. Returning to Earth? Is the Marker falling back into the Church's hands? Yes, Amelia. There are always alternate solutions. Always. Yeah, uh, it says Nexus Organism. Awooga! Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, get out of there, get out of there. Whoa! Well, there it is. We've retrieved the marker, kind of. I like the text is, is getting all... Eldritch and shit. Ah, you have it. Now install the singularity core on the shuttle. I'll come help you load the marker. Damn, mercy stop, hurry! He thinks you banned someone? Oh no. My, uh, for me, I, I know it's a silly thing, and, and I'll say one more thing that I find interesting about life is, um, there have been countless times where I have had a dream about someone, and then they call me that day, or I see them randomly. Someone maybe I haven't thought of in years. Now, I'm not saying, oh, we're, you know, there's a, all the spiritual stuff is real, man, because I had some weird dreams, but I, that, those are, like, moments where I say to myself, that, that, I don't know how that could happen. Um, is it, is it superpowers, or maybe electron meat has activated between two meatuses across space and time? So I find that to be rather interesting, and sure, it could be all coincidence. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. But those are the those are the moments in life that really kind of make you thunk. But yeah, I'm not an overly spiritual person. I have meditated. There were times where I meditated more, and there were times that I I um, I wanted to believe in something more. My meditation when I did that was more just to like find some peace of mind, and just to like when I was going through like some bad anxiety in my life, just to meditate and like try to deep breaths. It's okay. Things are gonna be okay. That kind of thing, and not like God, where are you? <laughs> like, I need you here, buddy. I, I don't have a kill streak in Call of Duty. Can you get me one? God, what must I do? But yeah, meditation has been good for me in the past. It's it helped in a number of circumstances, even if it is just clearing my brain. Um, I would like to engage further. I know chat is, is there are many chat members sharing their own personal insights and knowledge on, you know, what happens in their lives and such. If the chat wasn't so big and I wasn't playing a, a violent video game, perhaps I could engage further in chat activity. It's time to kill the hunter. Ch 
chat, I don't know how to turn on the engines. I mean, maybe I do. Hang on. No, I don't. Oh, I gotta go back in here. Okay, hang on, hang on. Ah. Well, that was easy. I, that was so lucky, though, chat. That was th the height of luck, because I, I took his limbs off, and I stasis him, and he just took a long-ass time to regenerate. Oh, God. Ceremonious death for an asshole. I don't remember how this played out in the original, but that, that whole sequence was amazing. Mr. Clark! Mr. Clark, come in! Fuck this shit. You're alive. Help me be. Kendra? Yes. But every alert on the Ishimura is screaming. Critical damage to internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind. Pilot the shuttle to the hangar. I'm going after the marker. Of course. Amelia, quickly. Wait, Dr. Kine. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He says returning it to the planet is the only way to end this. We've got to try. I'm heading to Cargo. You ping Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker, we're all getting out of here. Um, okay, so from here, chat, I, I need to uh, ask you all a question if you know the answer is... How, uh, how, how much is left? Two more chapters? About like two hours? Okay, good, good. Okay, that, that's a whole stream. Mr. Clark, we're approaching the hangar bay. We'll meet you there so I'll do a little bit more, play like another 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll, uh, I'll just next week, I'll finish it up. We'll send the hive mind back into the darkness. So glad you gave that guy our only escape shuttle. Uh. Shit, Isaac. Those things you've killed, their biomass is pulled down in the cargo bay. It's recombined itself into... Well, it's something huge, and the marker's embedded right in the middle. How the hell do we do this? I've got the Ishimura's cargo cranes. They can move half a bay of mining gear, no problem. If whatever's down there wants to wrestle for the marker, I'm in. <laughs> Override the safeties and... <laughs> wow, okay. But hurry, we're losing critical systems fast. Yeah, Isaac is is just like, he's done with this shit. He's like, I'll do it. Whatever needs to be done, what must I do? This is a lovely room of death. I hate these enemies so much. Oh, they're the worst. Emergency. Internal hull breaches detected. What do you want me to do about it? I'm, I'm only one guy. Yep, it was pregnant. Was pregnant. Regante. I gotta keep the microphone a little bit away from my mouth because I keep the, uh, you know. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it's all right now. There's no pop filter on this microphone because it's it picks up. You're supposed to not have it face your 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 mouth. Did you disable the compressor? No, 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 no. I still have a compressor on. It's just it's lighter. 
my compressor was way too heavy for years. I, I think it just was too much compression. What kind of microphone do I use? I use the um, Audio Technica Stream Set. It's called. I don't. Uh, I forget the actual. It's it's their most popular headset. Their most popular headphones with with a microphone attached. This whole sequence is, is fucking insane. There's, there's just so much going on. Yeah, eat shit! Access bridge is obstructing transfer. Obstructing transfer. Right, then, whatever you say, low. Oh, okay. I, I see what they're doing here. That was a mistake. Oh, God, was that a mistake? Shit. I wanted to shoot the laser and make it cool, but it won't let me make it cool! Wasn't cool anymore. God damn it. Apparently staying near the marker actually slows them down. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You played yourself. Congratulations. Well, I have to do this again, so that sucks. Was there there's another one over here somewhere. Or did maybe that didn't grow yet? Her, her, why are you guys still talking about funny ways to say pregnant? I look over in chat. That that's been like done for at least five minutes now, and and there and people are like pergert. How did you survive that? Really eating my ammo, huh? It wasn't a direct hit. Son of a bitch. Come on, Isaac. Live. Do this. Why is it not coming up? Vinny, you ever watch pimple popping videos? No, actually, I hate them. Yes, I've seen them. Like, more or less everything pimple popping I've ever seen has been against my will, and I don't understand why people like it. It's really weird. It's not that I don't understand, like, when a thing is satisfying, but that's a weird thing to watch other people do. I just am not. I don't, I don't know. Man, we, we humans are strange, aren't we? Man, we are weird. Earwax removal. No. No, I haven't watched that either. Nope. Can't say I would watch that. I, I really don't want to. Thank you. Just more strange human shit. But again, I can't even blame the chat member for being weird about it, because it's not. It's just, it's a huge thing. People love that stuff. They love to watch it. It's really, it's a, it's its own genre of thing. And I, I personally find it to be quite, quite strange. Really nailing them laser shots. Love that. Whoa, still alive? This is, this is fucking crazy. This, whole, th this is crazy! Please don't do that. Please do not do that. My god, chat. My god. <laughs> To the bay. I got it, I think. Marker. All right. Good work, Mr. Clark. On our way. Kine, your flight path goes by airlock 19. 
I can get there from the computer core. The pickup? Yes, we'll be there. Can you make it to the airlock alone? No movement on the cameras. I I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. Alright, I need a save point. I think that's where we'll stop this tonight. Um, really, just a great game. Still really good. I mean, I might have burned myself out on a little bit because I was trying to finish it before Halloween, but playing it today, I just realized how fun this is and how insanely um, detailed the gore is. But there's actually some genuinely inventive and really well done set pieces. Welcome to Dead Space. I think we can finish this game tonight. We're, we're pretty close to the end of it. Alright. Alright, I got a little bit of a... of a neck problem right now, chat. I think I slept on it a little wrong. So, it's one of those moments where I'm just kind of like... I'm a little, uh, creaky. I'm a little creaky. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I'm, I'm good. I just wanted to let you know, because Misery loves company. A little creaky. Crikey. It's probably because of the weather. I have, yeah, weather's not been good to me so far, chat. But we're here to have, have a good time together. You're not here to listen to me complain. And I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy you're here, because I love streaming, and I love being a part of the, uh, the world of gaming. <laughs> but no, I, I do love doing this, and, and it, uh, it's, it's always, it's always nice because it's a break from, you know, reality a little bit. Fuck, it's my brother. On the monitor, he's right by the airlock. Don't let this place get to you. Kendra, we're out of time. I... Out of reality and into a worse one in Dead Space. Is this a rerun episode of Vine Sauce? Oh, it's anti-fun. I remember you. You made a comment and I said your name was anti-fun. What's up, chat member? He remembers our names. I remember that one. No, anti-fun's all right. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. You here to have fun? I played a game called Abiotic Factor, which is in an open playtest, which is basically Project Zomboid meets Half-Life. And I recorded a little uh, co-op session today. Really, really cool game. You'll see it on the Full Sauce channel soon. But first, I must kill. Oh, eat shit! Oh, I love it! I swear I heard the pipe. The famous pipe. I'm really bad at video game. No, I'm really bad at that laser. That laser in particular, I can never get a good one. The what lasers are insane if you upgrade it to have three of them. You can put on a piece of clutter and pick it up and use it like a weapon. Oh. But, uh, yeah, just, just to mention the Abiotic Factor game again, I've been looking forward to it for a while, and I didn't realize it was going to be more, like, slightly immersive sim and more like Zomboid than I thought, and yet... It's got like, ah, Gordon Freeman kind of scientist in it that you play as and you try to survive in what is, it's like an underground research facility and you like unlock progress and like you build things to help you. It's, it's actually surprisingly good. It'll be out next year and I can't wait for it now. Mark, your colleague's safely on board. My name is Kendra Daniels. Stand by Isaac. He's bringing the shuttle in now. We made it everybody. Finally, we're getting off of this fucking ship. God, we can just nuke it from orbit now. I think we can't run the automated loading controls. Must be the damage to the ship. We're losing time. The hive mind is down there. Kind, relax. I'll turn off the gravity in the hangar, then I can load the marker by hand. All right. No, don't worry, Amelia. They understand. <sighs> Jesus. Vinny, what do you think is the scariest game of all time? The game of life. Goodbye, Volcano High. That's the scare. What? Who said that in chat? Who said that? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't have a good answer. I'm sorry to say. Silent Hill 2. I wouldn't say is the scariest game of all time, but it's probably my. Oh my god, it might be my fate. One of my favorites, if not my favorite, of that type of game. But scary, just pure scares. That's a little more difficult to quantify because scary. In recent memory, Amnesia: The Bunker scared the shit out of me plenty of times. Three was pretty scary, to, yeah, for Silent Hill, but, um, not, they didn't, like, I'm also probably at a point in my life where, where horror games don't do as much for me, 
and I say I don't get scared at games and then I scream. I know that, but the first time I ever played Phasmophobia in VR was maybe one of the most frightening experiences I had in video gaming. There was a moment I had to take the headset off because it was like a little overwhelming. But also that's because it was still kind of new to me. Like VR at that time was still a sensory overload. Subnautica was pretty good. Uh, Half-Life Alex, yeah, the Jeff sequence is pretty good. There's a lot of answers, but the, I don't really know for sure if I can give you a number one most scary game. It's, it's making weird noises, chat. The marker. Shoot at it. I think it's affecting my sanity a little bit. I like it. I should we should hang out here a little more. Resilient. Oh my god. Get in there. Did you hear the Beatles track that was made by AI? Oh boy. There it is. I really wish McCartney didn't mention that. The safeties are still on. I need to restore gravity before we can load it. Hurry, please. You know, we used AI to clean up John's voice from a dodgy bit of tape. It wasn't made by, by AI. It was just like they separated the, the piano and the vocals from an old demo. No, the song wasn't AI. It wasn't AI. Moist Critical said he hadn't listened to it because he isn't interested in AI music. Whoa, a lot of, lot of stuff to unpack there, because I know Charlie's smart, so that is just one of those things where a thing is said and is carried online, and then it sticks regardless of whether or not it's true. Exiting zero gravity. It's on board. Come, quickly. Go open the hatch for him. Well, my thoughts on it are, you know, I, I have uh, two videos on it on the, on the Extra Sauce channel, and, uh, I like the melody a lot, and I, it really grew on me. It's not a top 10 Beatles song or anything like that, but I think it's it's a touching thing for John John's song to be worked on by his friend, and the rest of you know the, the band is on there. It's nice. It's it's a nice little song, um, and I'm glad it exists, even if it didn't blow me away. I'm I'm happy it happened. Whoa. Oh, you motherfucker. Sorry, Isaac. I couldn't trust him with the marker. Kendra, what are you doing? What my department sent me here to do. Even if the Valor couldn't help me out like I wanted. Department? Who are you? I work for EarthGov, cleaning up a very, very old mess. I told you and Hammond that Aegis 7 was off limits. The planet was one big government experiment. The marker, this divine artifact, it was built by human hands. That's impossible. It's an alien world. The miners dug up the fucking thing. After it was planted here a few hundred years ago. Even kind didn't pick up on that. Wait, is that true? They found the first marker in some crater on Earth. That one. That was real. Alien. Enough to inspire unitology. Our people studied it and reverse engineered this red marker. But they needed somewhere to test it. Aegis 7. You've seen the result. The stuff of nightmares. I thought the old reports were just hysteria. Until I saw what I saw. They sealed off the whole system, buried the records nice and clean. Until CEC got greedy. Those idiots tore each of seven apart and woke up with the old research team left behind. So Earth Gulf sent you to sweep them all under the rug. Damn it, we have to return the marker. If anyone else stumbles across each of seven. It was disappeared once. We can do it again. I've seen how the marker fucks with your head. It must be contained. For 
for what it's worth. We made a great team. You'll find another way off the Ishimura. I mean, you're one hell of an engineer. Your experiment's gonna kill us all! Daniels! We're doomed! It was all for nothing. I almost I forgot about the whole Nicole cool. subplot. In the flight control room. The USS Ishimura sign says, us is you? For us, but we don't have much time. Oh, make us whole again. Oh, that's interesting. Bravo, Vince. Baba is you. Oh, did anyone see the uh, Indie World Direct today? Wasn't much to it. There's some Lost Shantae game that they're finishing. Um, there was Silk Song, um, Outer Wild Worlds. Uh, you know. No, there was no Silk Song. I watched uh, most of it, and I just caught up on some highlights. And yeah, there really wasn't a whole lot that uh, I was blown away by. Um, Outer Worlds on Switch is going to be probably the worst way to play it. I guess it's nice that more people get to experience it, because it is now in my top 25 of all time. But it's, you know, Outer Wilds. See, I did it. I, I japed myself into believing it was Outer Worlds. Holy shit. It's Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Anyway. There you are. Thank God you're here. The ship's coming apart. I saw what you've been through. Your investigation, Mercer. What happened with us? We don't have to talk about it. I need you to know I'm sorry about everything. It's okay, Isaac. You know I forgive you. I love you. Well, good, but... I still hope. You can recall the shuttle and remote pilot from here. Bring back the marker and we can return it to Aegis 7. You can make us whole again. Yeah, I maybe, just want to make things right. Maybe you could stop saying that. That's a little well, let's weird. Do it together. It's, it's kind of cultish. Uh, those ominous strings playing, in, in, you know, in the in the score while you're speaking doesn't give me any confidence either. Like, damn girl. Recalling shuttle USG 09 prepping remote docking procedures. Damn it, Isaac! You don't know what you're doing! I know! I'm finally doing the smart thing! You fucking kidding me? Shit! Warning! Escape pod launch detected from shuttle USG-09. Escape pod. Damn! We lost her. It doesn't matter. She can't escape her fate. But who can? Yeah, you... Sound an awful uh, weird at the moment. Um, what do you mean, fate? What are, you, what are you talking about? You know, I've known you a long time. I've never heard you say shit like that. Isaac? I know. Shimura's finished. If we get on that show, we shall go on back. Leave no regrets. Go. I'll reprogram the shuttle with our flight path to Aegis 7 and join you on board. Don't nice. Waiting. Nice Isn't of the right? game. Oh. Yeah, no, she's saying words too, like real weird. I, I don't know, maybe she's the zombies. I was gonna say, it's nice of the game to tell us there's a point of no return coming up without, like, actually saying it. Like, it just, you know, you know, I mean, they say it. But it, it fits the in-game thing. Without a giant pop-up. That's, that is, no, she says it, but it makes sense for this game because this ship is fucked. But it doesn't have like a big pop-up on the screen, I guess, yeah. If, Chad, I was thinking about writing, oh, there it is. I was thinking about writing a novel, like an, uh, a fiction novel. And um, it's about how it, there's a, you know, some strange occurrences happening in like a sleepy, a sleepy town. Like somewhere that that's like dark and, and you know cold and foggy, and there's like weird unexplained lights in the sky, and uh, and like strange occurrences and strange happenings within the town, and so they they look for, you know, they they're looking around for like an investigator to come to the town, and the main character shows up. His name, by the way, is Glint McConaughey, and he. That's that's all. That's the whole. That's the all I've got so far, actually. I was thinking about like, yeah, that that was just a cool name that came to mind earlier, and I was like, boy, that that sounds like the lead character of a novel, Glint McConaughey. Yeah, 
Does he talk to his childhood self? Yeah, why not? Vinny, please do it. I would genuinely read it. I'm not actually writing a book. You know, I, I would like, I would tell you if that was real. It's not. I should just call the book Glint McConaughey. <laughs> Commit to the bit, write a whole book. Who wants to be my Shatner-esque ghostwriter? Like what William Shatner does for his books? Listen, <clears throat> it starts with a great character name. Once you got the great character name, the book writes itself. And there is actually a pop-up, never mind. I, I take back every good thing I've ever said about this game. Gee, that, that's weird that you were behind me like that the whole time. We're together again. Nothing can stop us now. Yeah, I think probably an asteroid could stop us. Um, this isn't how I imagined saying goodbye to the Ashura. Probably like engine failure could stop us. Why are you making Marvel quips? Says the chat member. This all began in the core of the Well, planet. shit. Daniel said EarthGov built the marker. Some experiment they abandoned hundreds of years ago. If you're not ready, a miracle must be as terrifying as a nightmare. Yeah, what are you talking about, though? That's why I'm making Marvel quips, because she's saying weird shit. But we have the marker. We'll put things back the way they were. We will be whole again. Yo, are none of these red flags? Her red flags are big, but red is my favorite color, says chat member. Hi. Now's our chance. Nicole? You can upload the marker from the console. Come on. Track leads directly to the excavation site. The high line will obey. You know, you've been acting real weird since the Ishimura, Luigi. more really cool and normal things happening here. Cool and normal things. Isaac, we don't have time for this. I'm busy crafting. You don't understand, this is important. Luigi, you've been saying strange stuff about- Look at how every save point looks exactly the same in this game. Okay, a couple look a little different. But yeah, for the most part, those those images don't really help a whole lot, do they? I mean, some of them are the same, same save point at the, at the least. So that's okay. At the least. Fucking things are here too. We combined us, but there's a dead space in that signal around the marker. Dead itself. space. The eye of the star. They can't stay in it for long. I've seen it with this pedestal. Why there? It amplifies. The marker's pulse will be felt Chief Vincent. The planet. The dead will sleep, and the living will see what can't be forgotten. At least it wasn't dead space like as in outer space, but dead space is in the space around the marker. So that's something a little bit different. Retrieve victims of Union Square mass suicide from ages 7. Bodies are to be transported to the USG Ishimura morgue with security escort. Notified doctors G. Domus and T. Kine upon arrival. Gabe. Yeah, I know. It's casket duty. But I think you'll like this one. I hear a buddy of yours is down on ages 7. I 
kitty assignment like this should leave time for a meetup. Don't scare the rookie. Uh, no. Do you think this remake has justified its, its existence? I'm gonna say yes. I would say if this wasn't such a stacked year for video games, I don't know if this was nominated for anything by Jeff, Jeffrey Keeley, but if it wasn't such a stacked year, I think this could have been in the conversation. Maybe not like best of the year, but you know, nominated for a couple things, perhaps. Who would win in a battle? Gordon Freeman at Half-Life 1 versus Isaac Clark DS1. I wanted to say Isaac because I feel like the suit could handle more of a beating, but that HEV suit is pretty fucking intense. And uh, Gordon has, he can carry a ton of different types of weapons at the same time. He's faster. The suit administers morphine, that's true. Um, Gordon has rocket launchers. He has a Ghostbuster gun, kind of. I mean, the dude has got a stacked fucking inventory. The only thing he can't do is heal himself. Isaac can. Well, morphine is administered, but Isaac has actual, like, healing items that he can stockpile. Isaac can stop time. Yeah, that's true. Gordon can jump. Someone said, are we power scaling traumatized survivors? I mean, people do it on social media all the time. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah. No respect, no respect. Finally, a good lasering. That was my best laser of the entire game. Hmm. Friends. Oh, wonderful. Um, great. Someone said, I wish the new Animal Crossing had this saw blade. I feel you, homie. I know I've said this before, but man, it tickles me to think of a comedian getting up on stage and doing all his shitty jokes and ending all of them with no respect, no respect. Like just stealing someone else's act, but doing it ten times worse. I wonder if, if in the hands of a skilled comedian, could it be like anti-humor in a way that's funny? I think you could probably get away with five minutes of that, maybe four minutes. And that that's probably as much as you can do. Tim Heidecker has a character kind of like that. I believe it. He's that kind of guy. He does he does the things that are, you know who, it, also Mitch Hedberg, well, maybe not him. Never mind. That's, that's a totally different kind of comedian. Never mind. Leather jacket guy. That's a genre of comedian. Leather jacket comedians. Yeah. Just like there's cat skills comedians. For those that don't know, the Catskills are mountains up in New York, and there's a lot of resorts up there for old people. And in the 60s, 70s, 50s, there were a, a genre of comedians called the Catskills comics, and they would go up to these casino slash vacation resorts and do stand-up com comedy. But, like, most of their stand-up comedy would be crowd work for old people. Like, where you from, honey? Where you from, puts? Huh? Oh, that's your husband. You mean the old ball and chain? Give him a good whack across the mouth, huh, honey? For me! Peter Griffin voice? Yeah, kinda. What kind of comedian are you? I'm not a comedian. I'm not. If I were, I would be probably more sarcastic. Or an impressionist. Or a sarcastic impressionist. That's what you are, though? Oh. Yeah, I don't have any material, though. I would bomb if I was on stage. I would bomb. It takes many, many years to write good material. Isaac, there's no power in this section. The marker won't move. We're losing time. It's okay. Hit test connection. What's it say? Power failure detected. Tether generator. Gravity control. One of the ground side gravity tethers. Maybe a busted power line. I'm on it. Please hurry. We can't fail now. Someone said you think the diaper chief wouldn't do well in a public setting. Probably, probably would do all right. The fire was burning in the wall, like behind that enemy, and it still it still worked. What about Gray Leno? Do you think you'd be able to open or close with that one? I would, um, that would be the close of my stand-up comedy career.
Chat, why is there a skibbity tentacle up there? Skibbity should be in the dic dictionary. Yeah. It's a mind virus. Make no mistake, it is a mind virus. Just the word itself. Man, just the word itself. Got this shit. Got this shit. Arr. We'll be restarting the generator. Janet Isaac, power is slowing again. Come back to the marker quickly. The excavation site's just up ahead. Make us whole. Whoa. Really? Yeah, how about that? Oh god, Vinny is playing Scorn again. I would love for the Scorn developers to try again. I really would. You know, to be fair, this is probably the scorniest game since I've played Scorn. Chad, I watched a very interesting and kind of fucked up video about how Big Bird was almost on the Challenger. You know, the space shuttle that fucking blew up. That wasn't delayed, even though there were problems, because there was an allegedly, uh, you know, per perhaps a State of the Union address that R Ronald Reagan was hoping to, um, you know, call up the space shuttle to talk to Big Bird. Yep, Reagan again. He comes up a lot here on the stream. He married a throat goat. Well, I don't remember the name of the channel, but regardless, uh, it, <laughs> it, listen, it goes over the history of the Muppets a little bit, and why Big Bird was very heavily considered to go into space. And it turns out, it was a very, very close decision. Alternate History Hub is the name of the channel, and they did a video on it. I find it very interesting, and it just... It's less comedic, like, haha -ha funny video than you think it is. It's actually much more like the research actually broke the person. I don't know, I don't... I've only seen, like, maybe two videos from that channel, so I don't know what they usually do, other than possibly alternate history. Maybe I've seen a couple back in the day. It might have been that channel, yeah. Anyway, I think the video is very interesting because I had no idea Big Bird was almost in space. And that would have been a fucking disaster. Alt History Hub is kind of cringe, don't get into it. Chat member, you could say the same for every... Every person could say the same for every channel. Many have said the same of me. This is the world we live in. But yeah, it was, it was, um, it was a disaster, but it actually was, um... Big Bird would have been there as well. But that whole thing, that whole thing could have been avoided. Ah, oh, shit, man. Oh, fuck. All right. I wonder if it would have been the original Big Bird actor in the suit, Carol Spinney? Yes, that's actually his name. Um, um, I don't know. It would have been Reagan in the suit. Well, I can't really see very well out of this, but then again, I can't really see very well in general, so I'll get in the suit. Sir, we need you for the State of the Union address. Well, I very much would like to go into space dressed as a big bird. Sir, we really recommend against it. Well, no. Reagan is my favorite Vine Sauce character. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, he's known primarily as being a Vine Sauce character. It's true. He was a, you know, I didn't know that as a kid, because I lived through three, a couple years as, uh, of Reagan. I didn't know, and I still, like, you know, because it's not my main topic of interest in this world, but I, you know, you you kind of have no choice sometimes. But, um, I had no idea. Oh, wow, three nodes were in there. Shit. Um, I had no idea that he was a cowboy actor before he was president. I, I didn't know that for many, many years. That's probably a good chunk of why he was able to, you know, do so well with so many people. I think we should elect Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, donkey by the pool. We need to change this country with to have more donkey by the pool. A great orator he is. Yeah, we need to have cookies for everybody. Yes. I know he can't, but I just... I like the idea of that voice being the voice of America. Sminoi smoky stogies by the pool with the donkey. He turned into Nandor at the end. Yeah. Mr. Gorbachev, put that cookie down! Remember that person who was like, Vinny, will there be- will there be testicle in this game? There have been many. Vinny, did you see that video about Robocop's cookies? I can't believe how- Ah! You motherfucker. Did a lot of damage to me. I can't believe how many people have been asking me if I've seen that. That truly has gone around. The Robocop Oreo thing. 
Robo wants an Oreo. He does, yeah. Robo wants an Oreo. And you know, chat, I would say that's one of many insane stories from that fucking documentary. There were plenty of other, maybe not as audacious as that one, but there were, like, plenty of really bizarre moments from the filming of that movie, and like, whether it be squibs injuring people, the I'll buy that for a dollar guy was in the documentary, yeah. Yeah, they, it, it, he's a very strange fellow. Ronnie Cox is still alive, by the way. Guy who played Jellico on Star Trek, and also he was, um, what's his name? In Robocop. The guy who gets thrown out the window. Jellico Cats, that's him. He's like 85, and you have to see him give an interview. Dick Jones, that's him. He's really good. Like, the dude is playing guitar, he's touring, um, he's very well-spoken, he's with it completely. Peter Weller was also on Star Trek. It's the Robocop to Star Trek, uh, pipeline. Because there was a bunch of people. There was that kid from Robocop 2, who was in an episode of Star Trek. There was Jellico. Peter Weller was in Into Darkness. There was someone else in Robocop 1 that was in a Star Trek. I don't remember who exactly. Oh god, fuck, no, fuck this thing. Burn. Kurtwood Smith, there you go, Kurtwood Smith, yep. Man, I don't care what Tarantino or anyone says, the 80s had great movies. Sure, they were, like, much more schlocky at times than the 70s. But man, the 80s had some of my favorite movies of all time. I love the 80s when it comes to movies. Schlock is fun, camp is fun, I agree. Tarantino thinks the 80s didn't have good movies. I don't think he said that specifically, but like compared to the 70s and the 90s, I think he felt like that decade was sanitized. Someone said the 90s were the best. I don't know if I would disagree with you, but also that's my generation of movies, so, you know, I grew up with those films. Well, now makes the 80s look like the 70s. <laughs> I'm just messing around, chat. I don't know. I don't know, man. My brain. My brain, bro. Well, there's a little movie called The Rock in the 90s, maybe you've seen it. Someone said, honestly, as someone who's born in the 90s, I sometimes feel like the 80s are held up as a golden age of media. I, I feel that, I feel that, because I disagree that the 80s are a golden age of media. There's great stuff, and there's some great music here and there, it's fun. I think people see the 80s as fun, and not the coke-addled, like, overconsumption. But there's a lot of really great stuff in there, and like, you know, people romanticize that era of like, the neon, and, and uh, the Lost Boys film and the big hair and the and the the bright fashion and it's fun it's just the 80s are a lot of fun and i like a lot of it i wouldn't consider it to be the best though but i mean you know that's subjective i don't i don't know specifically which generation had the best of things but i you know i like the 90s because i grew up with them ah you fuck I'm still, like, fighting my instinct to click heads in this game. Someone said, under the bridge. Under the bridge, that up! You knew it, right? There's no way I couldn't. This is where I drew some blood! Everyone knows the chili peppers are the golden age of media. Skip, top, skibby. Skibby, did, bubby, did. Blop, dop, dibby, dip, dop, dibby. It's my favorite chili pepper song. It's called Sklop, Dop, Dibby. Why don't you ever give any re respect to the Red Hot, Vinny? I, I like them well enough. It's Cadence's voice that gives me a little pause on that band, but I, I do... I love Prashanti and his solo work in particular, and I think him and Flea are great, like, uh, rhythm... They, they do amazing work together. Chad Smith is incredible, like, that's the, the rhythm section's incredible. Um, there's, there's just, there's great songs in that discography. Specifically, all the ones about California are my least favorite ones, usually. Still saying exceedingly weird shit, I see. Someone said, am I wrong, or was one of them not even born in California? That's like saying the Beach Boys don't all live on the beach right now. The only one that actually surfed in the Beach Boys was De the drummer, Dennis Wilson. It's a true story. One guy. A mop top skibbity is a beetle coming out of a toilet. Wow, good, doing really good there. there. Now with the pedestal. I, I can't believe how much ammo I wasted for the, the uh, pulse rifle chat. I mean, it's completely my fault, because I alt-fired several times at nothing. Oh, man. I was hoping there would be another upgrade station. So I have some nodes.
It's weird that she's immune to all this. Just walking right on up to it like it's no problem. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. Nicole. We're whole again. We are whole. Isaac, has it sunk in yet? That's weird that your voice is now echoing. It sounds somewhat evil. Oh, look at her face. Look at her face. Why can't I see you again, Isaac? I loved you. I always loved you. What'd she put in there? Oh, death juice. Wait, that's no. not- that's new! That- what? That- wait, what? She can't be. What the hell did you do? You did this to yourself. Nicole's been dead this whole time. You just couldn't handle it, could you? Because if she's gone... At least now it'll be in safe hands. The marker won't turn anyone else into its puppet. Give me the loader remote. They twisted the twist, yeah. I think I was cool with that scene. I mean, I, I'm not the biggest Dead Space fan that I'm like, Oh no, how dare you do that? 
like I don't really I don't mind because I don't I've only played the game once a couple of years ago. But that was kind of creepy, I guess. I liked it. Nicole was doing stuff that an imagination couldn't. Oh, okay. Well, oh, she was already dead in the, um, in the original? Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So she was already dead, but then her- the- uh, your imagination was inventing it, but weird stuff was still happening as if she was doing the things. So now this explains why the things were happening. Read the first letter of every chapter. It's Nicole is dead. That's the spelling of it. It also explains why a character showed up for a single chapter and then disappears without a trace. Well, shit. Vinny, look up in the sky for Majora's Mask. Hang on. Gotta get some meat off the bone real quick. Oh, yeah. gonna be just fine. Oh wait, you're not in a suit like mine. Never mind. No, you're- you're probably fucked. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I didn't equip the, uh, the, the fucking contact beam chat. It's got a face a very specific way, chat. I can't- I can't do it. I've got like 72 of these fucking things, chat. I may as well use them. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to fight enemies, too. It's a good thing I didn't use all of it. Flesh freaks. Trying to chop them up real good for you, chat. I want to make us whole again. I want to make them whole. I want to give them a new hole, is what I'm trying to say. Uh. Oh, God. I shot a laser in there. I don't really think it did anything. It's. Well, it's active, weirdly. Pretty amazing animations on this creature. We just take it for granted because every, like so many video games look amazing, but it's a pretty fucking amazing looking fight. Ah! Shit! This. Fucking puke stays up way longer than I thought it would. I need that. I need that. One more, chat. One more. We are biling it up right now. My god. This plant- this entire planet smells like all of this now. Whatever this smells like. Rotten meat? Oh, I'm out of healing. 
fuck! Why did I use that weapon? Why? Oh, it just puked up healing for me. Thanks, game. Oh my god. I missed so many of those shots in a row. We're leaving. Fuck this planet, fuck this ship, yep. That's mean. Game is over. You're doing that? Yeah, I'm glad they kept that too. There's a new alternate ending. Oh, new game plus. Name one person who worked on this game. Um, Shinji Pons. If you put all these people in a stadium, like for most like modern AAA game development, you could just put like this is if you were a band playing to all these people, that would be a great venue. Now imagine 5K chat in a stadium. I can. Because, uh, because Forest Hills Stadium in Queens, uh, I saw Arctic Monkeys and Queens of the Stone Age there this year. And I think it was something like 14,000 people. 13,000 people. There was a Sunday stream. Not, oh, not, you, you know what I'm going to say. It's crazy. It's it, a lot of chat members. There's a lot of chat members. But yeah, you can do a new game plus. You get a new suit, some new dialogue. That's cool. I think I'm, I'm done though. Um, what was the um, chat? What? I was gonna say, what is the new ending worth looking up, or is it just kind of a little different? It's very different. Okay, fine. Dead Space Remake Alternate Ending. Secret Ending 4K. It's not gonna be 4K. It's actually 720p. It's only like two minutes. Cool suit, by the way. Wait, what's that weapon? Oh, that's the pulse rifle. I, I couldn't tell for a second. Some weapons get visual differences when upgrading. I, I see. Well, I'm happy Isaac made it off the planet, and then he went on to Dead Space 2, and was never the same ever again.
he's simultaneously going to have the best and worst sleep of his entire life. Yeah. We were lucky to see her in her prime. What the hell? Are we going home, Isaac? There's so much work to do. Soon, I promise. Got to build a little something first. Uh-oh. For me? What is it? It's a surprise, sweetie. But I think you're gonna like it. Oh, man. It's a nice, happy ending. Yeah, he's just embracing the insanity. Oh, man. Ah, oh, fuck, that sucks. Well, at least that wasn't the real ending. The other, the real ending is him just getting frightened and then having to live through man-made horrors beyond that comprehension yet again. If you forgot the marker from Dead Space 2, Isaac built that. I don't remember. Oh, right. Based on the start of 2, this ending seems more real. Yeah, there's, there's kind of a lot I don't remember about m many things, but especially not Dead Space or Dead Space 2. Well, damn. All right. Hopefully they remake it. That would be... That would be fun. Okay, chat. That was that was a really good game. Uh, I started it about a month ago, a little over a month ago, whatever it was, uh, and I tried to finish it before Halloween and failed spectacularly at that goal. But the game was just so good. I'm glad that I played it. In you know a year with a Resident Evil Four remake that was also amazing. This one lived up to that, as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't say it was better than Resident Evil Four remake, but in some areas it is. It's a little bit more faithful and. The gameplay is great. The visuals are amazing. The soundtrack, all everything is perfect for this type of game. So I'm happy it exists, especially considering we thought Dead Space was dead. Space. Vinny, EA rewarded them for doing a good remake by making them work on an Iron Man game. <sighs> well, maybe they'll do that and they'll do a good job because, you know, guy in a suit. Everything's Peter. Everything's Peter Griffin. But no, you, can't you see it? Guy in a suit. This team must be good at making games with guys in a suit. Perfect. EA is really, really smart and, and cool and good. Excellent work. And thank you for watching Dead Space. I loved it. Nice legs would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Does that hurt the monsters? <laughs> no, they're, they're, they love it. They, they come from a pain dimension. So anytime they can get a little extra pain, it's like drugs to them. It's like crack. They love it. I didn't... Really keep it to me nice and hard, make it like it make it work, so fight this magic world, and I'm your leader. I'm putting bars, we are not the sheep, we were made to rule. No, we are not the sheep, we were made to rule. We like to watch, we like to die. Play. Your question. That's a uh, thirteenth. made me from a get noise coming home I'm just coming up Get. 
Shang Tsung. What? The set with the. Many more gum. I mean the fourth. Very special feat. So much dead air today. Like, I do have to take care of Because I always get me the walls. Where is he? Definitely a, a good shot is that, but uh, to come back, Isaac. Good game, seeing released. You son of a bitch. Probably. We like the taste. Are you job? Um, and we, because I like hey. thing to now it's reach out at the heart. But no, he has into his. It's. Fucking. I That cross students. Ace. Let's. Go. <laughs> Finish it. Never mind. How? Star Trek. I. I know. I wait the uh, strike bolt chat. <laughs>